Mario puts on his Tanuki suit and sets off to save Princess Peach as we play through the full game of Super Mario 3D Land. Throughout today's video, we'll be exploring every single world, taking on all of the boss fights, and finding each collectible. Let's get started. Oh, it's a dark and stormy night in front of Peach's castle. This is a weird looking tree. Oh, look at all the Tanuki leaves falling off of it. That's cool. I think this game is very inspired by Mario 3, why was that Bowser's laugh? Well, what did he do, did he cause a storm? Oh man, this doesn't even have a single leaf on it anymore, the poor tree! Oh, look, there's Mario and a couple of toads. Oh my, the poor Tanooki tree. Oh, what did you guys find? Oh, it's a letter! Oh no! You guys didn't notice that Princess Peach wasn't in the castle? Bowser stole her and a bunch of leaves too! Oh boy, that's the worst way to find out your princess was stolen, via postcard. Who sent that, Princess Peach or Bowser? I would only hope it had to be Princess Peach, that'd be weird if it was Bowser. Anyways, let's get to it! It looks like we got ourselves a princess to save, and we're in world one. So this game is so stinking cool, I can't wait to show it to you guys. I'm pretty bad at it the last time I remember, but I'll do what I can. So as you can see, it just, oh my gosh, you can see the castle in the background. You can actually even see the the Tanuki tree in the background too, I never noticed that. But while you can walk in 360 degrees, this game has a more similar level design to some of the 2D Marios, where there's sort of like a point A to point B you're trying to get to. But yeah, we'll do what we can. We got some Goombas and a Cheap Cheap to take on. Please don't take damage on the first enemy, thank you. I wanna get the, the coins as much as I can. So yeah, I don't know, I don't really remember being very good at this game, so I'm gonna try my absolute best to sort of start off well as much as I can. Oh, and here's our first star coin. So these things, of course, just like in the new Super Mario games, are pretty important. We wanna be sure we get as many of these as possible. But just like in Super Mario Bros. 3, you can jump in the air and sort of hover a little bit with the Tanuki costume, which is always good. And that's sort of the main power-up you'll see throughout this one, which is pretty similar to uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2, which is also on the 3DS. And what is going on down here? Not too much, that's where the other side of the rope is. All right then, and what about down this way? Just sort of exploring around, because I am sort of trying to remember where everything is. Ooh, this seems to be, ooh, nice, a one-up and everything. Get rid of that Goomba and get a couple more coins. This is great, I'm having a lot of fun already. So I don't think I actually need to use this platform if I don't want to, but I'm, I'm going to. There we go. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a really long time, so I definitely have to warm up to it. It's gonna take a lot of exploring if we wanna find all of the, 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 the star metal, star coins, I don't know what exactly they're called in this game, but there's a pipe up here. I'm just sort of exploring around. I don't know if, okay, yeah, I definitely have found this before. So this is where it does get a little bit weird, is that this is a functionality that's much easier to use if you have a 3DS. I have a 2DS, so I can't actually th see these. They're so, supposed to be like little 3D illusions, where it's like, it looks like the blocks are one way, but they're actually another, and if you turn on 3D, you can see it a lot more clearly. But I can't do that for my recording and for the 2DS itself, so we're just gonna have to do without. It's not too big of a deal. We can still make it work. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this checkpoint. Very good and get as many coins as I can now. Also, I can hold the, the spin button and run a little bit faster. Gotta keep that in mind. But yeah, like I said before, I definitely, oh, look at this Goomba, also has it. Oh, and he drops it as well. But yeah, I wanna hear if you guys have ever played this game before. But I guess I get a second Tanooki Leaf on the bottom screen. I don't plan on including the bottom screen for this one just because I don't think I need to. Not really too much going on down there. And grab all these coins. We're looking for one more star coin. I do have to be careful, we are running out of time. Oh, speaking of which, here's the clock. Cool. So where could that last dark one be? Oh, I see it, I see it, okay, that's good. And what is this? We got like a little pair of goggles. What's up? Oh, there's a, there's a toad, hi toad! What's up? He wants our attention. He's going up here and he's gonna try to get on the flagpole, finish the level for us. You got it, come on, big jump! Ah, oh, not much of a jumper. That's okay, we'll try it out ourselves a little bit. All right, thank you, Toad. What's weird is if we leave this, he's not there anymore, he's disappeared. He only exists in the goggle realm or something. That's a big Goomba in the background, wow, wait. Have to be careful of that. Okay, so we jumped off all those music blocks so that we can get over here, and boing, pretty cool. And grab this, another Tanooki Leaf that I don't quite need, but I'll take it. Gives me some extra coins, which is nice. This game doesn't actually have points, so whenever you do anything extra, you get more coins for it. So yeah, let me bounce on this Goomba. Gives us a couple of extra coins as well. And like I said, I'm trying to be as diligent as I can with the extra coins. 
so that we don't have to worry about it later on when we have to get lives and stuff. And this is actually one of those games where getting, oh, no, that's bad. I think getting the, the full flagpole at the top actually counts for a level of completion. So I might already have to go back into level one. Whoopsies, but even the, the clock here gives us some extra coins, that's good. But I'm pretty sure I was supposed to do that. I sort of messed it up. So save complete, that's pretty cool. But yeah, let me go back into that real fast, recomplete the level and see if I can't get the golden flagpole. Okay, for real this time, go for the jump and easy. There we go. I don't know why I messed up with, up with that before, but we'll find out now. There is a little golden M that happens up there. So I, th I think that actually means that we got it. So that's good. Don't have to worry about it that time. But that, that can be a bit painful. You get to the end of a level and then boom. Oh no, I missed a flagpole. I'm gonna have to go back and get it. That always stinks. But we'll just try to do our best and hopefully everything will turn out okay. It doesn't say anywhere though that I got it. So I don't know, who knows? We'll find out later on. Um, or does it? Yeah, I don't think it does. Anyways, let's go into world one, two. Looks like it's some kind of underground level. This will be fun. But yeah, these ones are just sort of nice little contained levels. It's sort of a 3D version of New Super Mario Bros, which is pretty interesting. So I do believe there is a secret exit in this level that we'll have to watch out for. Ooh, got him, nice. But yeah, I'm not as familiar with this one as I am some of the other Mario games. I've only played it through once, but I did really enjoy every second of that playthrough. It was really fun. And there we go, very cool. So we had the Fire Flower now, which the Fire Flower, you know, sort of works the way you would expect one to in a 3D Mario game. It sort of bounces all over the place. It goes for much farther than your average fireball would for like a 2D game, I'm pretty sure. And we just gotta wait right here and we should be able to grab this. Perfect, got it. So I'm gonna quickly run over here. Got it. Get this stuff as well. I wanna jump on top of these, I think. Wait, that didn't work? Huh. I thought that would do a little crouch jump. Oh, you know what? I think you need to charge it in this game. Yeah, it's a little bit different. There we go. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? I don't think there's anything up there then. Get rid of these Goombas. Perfect. And while I do have, oh yeah, you know what? You can do the little crouch walk, right? We should be able to get under this. Got it. There we go. There's a couple of coins for us. Awesome. <laughs> We're doing pretty well then. Can I wall jump up this? I can, but sort of a dead end. There's roof up there. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Of course, as always, I plan on 100% completing this game as I do with most of our Mario walkthroughs. Oh, look at all these coins. Give them to me. Oh, what's up there? Gotta be something, right? Oh, or maybe not. It's a roof. Okay, never mind. With that being said, don't know where exactly. Ooh, we got a star. I might have to come back though. Oh, can we get these? Oh, that was cool. Let's get a couple more. That might be star coin number two. I just wanted to destroy these while I had the chance. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. Oh, I missed out. That's fine. Whoa, no, I jumped too far. Oh, <laughs> darn it. The, the piranha plant gooped my screen. I couldn't see. Uh, well, luckily we got a bunch of extra lives for it. So it was totally worth it. But that was funny. That was really funny. I was doing so well and then I messed it up. We could probably get all those lives again. I won't rush it as much this time. Let's see, well, give me an it will give me another star. How awesome is that? Okay, so grab all this, couple of extra one-ups, run over here, get that, grab that star coin, get some extra time. There we go, 10 extra seconds. Because I like being able to walk through these, but this is where we gotta be careful. What? Ah, oh, man, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I meant the long jump. You know, we gotta play it safe. I don't know why I'm rushing so much. We don't need to do that. Let's get a couple more coins. I don't know why I find a way to mess up on the easiest levels, because I get so confident because they're easy. All right, there's a fire flower. That will be helpful. Grab some of this stuff. Oh, they're giving me power-ups. Now, I can't take the power-up, but they're giving me the power because they feel bad. I've died so many times on such an easy level. There we go. So now that I've done that, it's super duper easy. All I gotta do is run across, and then dodge all the, whoa! Okay, that was my circle pad being weird. I still gotta get used to that. I don't know, 3D platformers on the 3DS are a bit weird. That was my fault, though. Oh no, I got across, and then I got hit. That's a shame. It's fine, though. I can go ahead and land on this piranha plant, and we should be good. I'll be trying to dodge these guys, though, because I don't know how far they move over. There we go, we got all three star coins, so we should be good with that one. And here we are. So now that I actually have one on the bottom screen, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Tanuki Leaf and maybe that'll help us out a little bit. I would hope so. Can we get onto these walls? I wonder if it'd be easier if we were to get on from that side. I don't know. Either way, this worked just fine, so there's another golden flagpole for us, and yeah, course clear. So that's pretty gosh darn good if you ask me. Get ourselves another couple, you know, 
coins there. And before we move on to the next level, we are actually gonna hop back into that level because there should be a secret exit. So I definitely wanna find that. Oh, it does tell you in the bottom right of the screen here. There it is. Must have not have seen that before. Or maybe I missed it again, didn't even realize. I don't know. So I'll be right back because I gotta go find that secret exit. So if I remember correctly, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoopsies, but that got us a bunch of coins. Very cool. Uh, yeah, we didn't get to try that last time. But I think what we need to do is charge up or jump and then super jump up here. And yep, that's exactly what we need to do. Up here, there's like this whole little secret area, sort of referencing the first Super Mario Bros. game. And inside of this orange pipe, where may it lead? I guess we'll have to find out. Ah, world two. Pretty cool little warp there. So if you wanted to rush from world one to world two, you could do exactly that. Not something I'm too interested in, but it's gonna save the game for us nonetheless. And save complete. So let's move back to world one, where I still have plenty left to do. Plenty of levels to get done. The, the worlds are a little bit shorter in this game though. We got world one box. All right, well, let's go into the box. <laughs> What's going on here? Welcome to the mystery box. Clear the room and get the item before time runs out. You might even find a star coin. The clock is ticking. Oh, so this can be a little bit scary. So what we gotta do, I mean, I say scary, it's just intense. There we go, we gotta get rid of all the Goombas, and that's it. <laughs> okay, this one was easy, but they do get more difficult later on. And boom, we got all the coins as well. Pretty gosh darn cool. Did you get the silver star medal? That's what they call them. Mystery boxes you play will be sent with your me to other players from now on if you're using Street Pass, which we're not. You might also receive new mystery boxes from them through Street Pass. That's it for now. See you in the next mystery box. All right, very cool. So there is that one done. And now we're moving on to world lo one, level three, right to our right, after we save the game apparently. Okay, so I did wanna check. It's on the bottom right that tells you you got the golden flag. I don't know how I missed that before. I'm missing all kinds of details today. This level should be fun. I think I wanna use a tanuki leaf for it, but we already have one, so we should be able to figure something out here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. Oh, I do remember these levels, they're really fun. So what is going on here? Is there a toad that needs my attention somewhere? Oh, oh, hey, here you are. What are you doing up there? Ooh, good thing I did that or I wouldn't have been able to find that star metal. Interesting. we are gonna move it over there. You can both move it by moving the 2DS or by using the circle pad. So there is one of the star metals. I don't see any other, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for more. And in the meantime, go ahead and beat up some piranha plants nice and good. I do not wanna get that because I already have a, uh, Fire flower. I, I like to keep my tanuki leaf for as long as possible. Oh, I thought for a second I could pick that up. I guess not. Oh, that got us some takedowns over there against those bitty buds. Got it. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so this is another weird mystery box thing. This might actually bring us to another star coin. What is this gonna be? Uh, oh, we gotta, I guess, get all these collected. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! I don't know if I did that right. Did I miss out on a star coin or a star medal? I sure hope not. Hmm, weird. And what about on top of you guys? Oh no, ooh, oh I made it, I made it, I made it. And then land on top of you, and then you, and then you, and then, ah, oh, I messed that one up. It was bound to happen sooner or later, right? I was trying to see if we couldn't get a one up by jumping off all of them. I don't know if that happens in this game. And here's the halfway point. So still new, no more star medals popping up. Oh, leave me alone, sir. And what do these have in them? Oh, there we go, I'll take that, thank you. So we're back to being powered up, that's always good. And what about over this way? First off, getting rid of you, buddy. I see the end of the level over there already. That's a bit concerning. Got a couple extra coins. What about in here? Is that something? Ooh, what is this? I don't know if I've ever seen this before. We get a one up, cool. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I've ever seen that before. Pretty cool, finding little secrets like that. Whoa, watch it. Oh, here we go, this is definitely something, and I do see another star metal off that way, but I think what we need to do for this is hold on tight, get that star power. This is good, and keep walking in a straight line, which honestly can be a little bit more difficult than you think with the circle pad. There we go, get some extra time, perfect. Get a one up, and boom, star metal for us! There it is. These first few levels, you know, even though I'm playing them badly, usually aren't that difficult. They're just good fun, you know? And I really enjoy that. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, we did it. There's all three of them. Watch out for this bitty bud. Oh, boom. <laughs> Maybe I overdid it a little bit there. Well, okay, so I guess we could get a couple of things here. Not too interested. I just want to make my way down this way. 
And... Uh, yeah, we made it. A little scary aligning that up, but we made it work and we get ourselves another golden flagpole. Yeah, course clear. So there is world one level three done. And we get almost another 100 coins. So that'll be another level up. Or, I mean, level up? Yeah, I guess. One up, that's what they're called. I don't know why I forgot that. Let's keep moving. This is one for, uh-oh. Don't know what that was about. Oh, I see. So if you don't collect enough star medals, you might actually miss out on a couple levels here. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on, turn back, turn back. We got this one. So if you didn't collect three star medals by this level, then you might not be able to do it. Luckily, we're collecting all the star medals, so there shouldn't be any level blocked off for us. So let's enter world one four and see. Ooh, this looks like it could be tricky. Whole roller coaster thing going on here. Let's go figure it out. World one four, 32 lives already. Like we're doing pretty good on lives. I mean, I know I died in that one spot a lot, so that helped in the second level. So I know these levels are really stressful because you can walk on this pad and sort of change which directions you're going, which can just be scary because you're 100% at control at all times. And boom. Oh, there's another one. Actually, I do want to grab that. We can always get another fire flower later. I'd rather have a second Tanuki leaf in my bottom screen for now because I think I might need it for later in this level. I know I can probably hit these guys with my tail, but that can also be a bit tough to time and sort of judge the distance between you and the Goombas, so I'd rather just keep with this. Oh my. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh, oh, was that correct? Oh, that was correct. The water sort of spurts up and you either have to go up or down, whichever one you choose. And whoa, watch it. Get some of those. That was good, that was good. And then, I don't know about this one. I guess I'll just jump over. I guess I could have ducked under it as well. That was pretty good, actually. Not quite done the level, but that'll definitely help. So let's get this checkpoint. And there's definitely gonna be something up here, right? I definitely can get up there. I just need to do it just right. It's not easy to do. Hold on. Got it, no. I know I can do it, hold on. One, two, uh, <laughs> jumping is really hard, okay? <laughs> oh, it's really weird. I don't know if there's something wrong with my 2DS or what. It just sometimes hard to press the jump button a lot on a portable device like this. Ah, oh, man, I can't make it. I'm pretty sure you can get up there though. I don't know what's up there. There we go, we did it. Uh, there's nothing up here. <laughs> I swear that there was. I guess not. Well, at least we could say we did it. Let's land right here. Oh, I do see a star metal over there. So what we need to do is as soon as we land, go backwards. Okay, we didn't we didn't start falling yet. Now we can go backwards. Watch out for that! Oh no! And boom, got him. No, no, not too far, not too far. If we go too far, we'll fall off the edge. Of nowhere else to go, we'll fall down to our doom. Okay, so I gotta jump from one to the other. This is where it's really important to pay attention to Mario's shadow. It basically tells you where you really are the entire time, and that can be very helpful. Okay, so what do we gotta do here? I gotta get that, there's a Tanuki leaf. I don't care about that too much, because I already have a couple. Just trying to get as many coins as possible. Oh, was that it? So I guess there wasn't actually a, a star medal to get in that. A little surprising, but okay. And that's it. Okay then, let's keep moving. Looking for star medal number three. Oh, there it is. Get rid of that guy. And then we need to turn this around at just the right time then. Just like that. Oh no. Oh, I see. So there we go, we did it. <laughs> it's gotta be approaching it from the other angle. And I got it. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, and we're falling again, that's fine. And if we launch up, this might actually just bring us, well, we got some extra time over here, which might be helpful. And then we need to be a bit careful about this. If we can land on here, that'd be perfect. Ah, oh, not quite. So what we need to do then is I guess just wait here, which is weird. Like that's sort of the scary part is when you have to do that because you sort of have to jump back and forth between them to sort of stay in one place. You can get nerve wracking, but look at this. Oh God, it's a big drop. Ah, get all the coins. We did it. Okay, good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I don't trust it. Oh, that must hurt. There's no hydraulics on this thing and go for it, perfect. So, if I wait here, and then I do another little flip up there, I wonder what we can find. Come on, if I wasn't super bad at wall jumping, this would actually be easy. This honestly isn't difficult. I'm just messing it up. Oh, wow. Wait, oh, no, there we go. And there's not much more than coins. But you gotta know, right? You gotta go and experience. Unless you try for yourself, you never know. So let's go ahead and go into this platform. And this one's a little bit scary, I think, because it's really hard to tell if I'm like in front of it, behind it, anything. So we got it. 
Very good, and we definitely have enough time to get ourselves a one-up here. Course clear. Very awesome. And there we go. Very nice indeed. So there is yet another level completed. And that means we actually get to go to this little mushroom hut over this way, and maybe get ourselves a couple extra power-ups if we need it, or something. I mean, I don't exactly need one right now. Welcome to the Toad House. There's a present here for you. I wonder what's inside. Well, let's find out together. Oh, can we walk around? Look at this, isn't this super fun? I love being able to walk around this thing. Can we get on top of it? I don't think so. It would be really cool if we could. Let's go inside. So what is this present? Can I talk to you? Not really. It is a fire flower, so I guess I'll take it. Why not? I mean, I already have a snooky leaf in the bottom screen, so. Awesome. Let's keep moving. I don't really know what other power-ups are in this game. I think it's mostly just Tanooki Leaf and Fire Flower, so I don't know if I should really use those every chance I get. I might avoid them sometimes just so that I can use them later. But anyways, we got the castle for this world. And as you can see, like I said before, the worlds are really short in this game, but there's a lot of them, so that sort of makes up for it. Oh boy, super cool. We're just hopping into action. Who are we gonna find in this first castle? I guess we'll find out. I don't think the Koopalings are in this game, so it's a bit of a mystery for now. It'd be really cool if the Koopalings were in this game. But the Koopalings aren't in many 3D Mario games. It'd be super cool to see the Koopalings in like a Super Mario Galaxy game. I'm pretty sure they're not. Oh, here's our first star medal. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, there we go. Now, I think this is just like uh, any other 2D Mario game, where if we hit the lava once, it's an instant takedown, which is sort of uncommon for 3D Mario games because in 3D Mario games, it usually just does damage to you a little bit. So what's going on around here? We got some lava bringing up this platform. Dodge that a little bit. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, oh, we got a hammer, bro. Dodge it, and got him. That was good, watch it. I don't know if that's a one hit takedown or not, so I just gotta be real careful for now. And we're good, there's star medal number two. No, it went too far. Oh, it's so hard to tell. Luckily, we just got the midway point though. So, I mean, I guess I'll get this fire flower. I don't know if that's exactly worth it, but we'll go ahead and just get this again the normal way, pace ourselves a little bit. So star medal number two. And I think that star medal number three might be closer than it appears. If I remember correctly. We might just want to, ah, uh, forget the backflipping is a little bit different in this one. Oh, I already see where it is. So what we gotta do is wait for this thwomp to do his thwompy thing. Get up this way, and boom, star medal number three. That was actually quite easy. <laughs> what's with the fake one-ups? That's sort of weird. And what's going on with this? Uh, oh, hello, there's our goal. How are we getting way up this big tower? Guess we'll have to find out as we go along. Hmm. All right, then let's get to it. Whoa, whoa, why'd I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that was very silly of me. Okay, let's fall back down here normally this time. Hopefully we can find a power up before it's too late because I am all out of them now. That's a bit scary. Oh no, oh, it's Bowser. All right, we're dealing with Bowser right away. Maybe, maybe this game's quicker than I thought. 20 minutes long. I hope not. Okay, ready, get across here. Got it. I mean, that is assuming that we even beat Bowser. Maybe he's stronger than ever. Watch it. There we go, we did good. And I'm going to try to avoid him as much as possible. I don't have any power up, so I'll be pretty impressed if I can beat him. Hey, hey, no. No, I jumped the wrong way. It is so tough. I am so used to playing platformers, especially 3D platformers on a controller. So definitely, please give me some time to get used to the, the DS circle pad. It's a, a lot different. Okay, I'll get back over there. Okay, so we're back over here. Bowser's ready and waiting. And I might just be able to walk, ow. That didn't work out very well. Come on, keep running, keep running. Oh no, whoa, we can really jump far. That's okay, that's okay. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Dodge all those, and he's jumping. Ah, oh, scary. Come on, press the button. Yeah, we did it. Oh my gosh, see you, Bowser. <laughs> Falls for it every time. Oh, his poor butt's burnt. Oh, it was just a Goomba the whole time. Well, what do you know? Well, there we have it. I guess we did. We, we beat the Goomba Bowser. Hello. Are you happy that you're saved? I didn't even know you were trapped in here, but I guess you were. So we, we did it all to save a toad, a noble cause. But I guess Bowser's still out there and he still has Princess Peach, so we can't quite rest yet. And this is where I get a bit nervous because if I mess up this jump, I'm going to have to do this all again. So let me just try to 
Long jump. Yes, we got it. Not a problem then. I am definitely going to have to get some more power-ups in the next world, but for right now, we got world one done 100%. No problems at all as far as I know. I mean, there might be another secret exit or something, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. Yeah, there's not. Okay, so another one up for us, which is awesome. And there we have it. World one of Super Mario 3D Land is completed. We already got our sneak peek of world two and we got the secret exit of level two. So I'm sure that we'll further explore that later on. And now we're marching on over to world two where hopefully everything continues to turn out okay. Oh, what's happening? All the flowers are dancing, it's nighttime and there's another postcard. Last time we got one of these, we found out Princess Peach was stolen. What's happening now? Oh, he's sending all the troops. So. There was a Bowser that was actually a Goomba in disguise. I guess more of them are getting suited up for war or battle or whatever they're really doing right now. <laughs> so that, that gets Mario excited, he's going. All right, Mario, we're right along with you. Let's go into World 2-1. Oh, this is cool, it's like a little castle. I like this one. It sort of looks like, like an N64 castle or something. I like it. <laughs> so let us go ahead and check out this little thing. Oh, I see you way up there. I hope you're not afraid of heights. What's up? Oh, there's the star metal. And where is that one going? Way down there. So I'm really gonna need a couple power-ups. If you guys didn't see last episode, I got my butt kicked and I'd rather it not happen again. That was a cool jump though. Oh, there we go. Get this, get this quickly. No, wait. Oh no, 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 it was a trick. It was a trap. No. I tried so hard to get it. Oh wait, a normal size Mario now. Maybe that was worthwhile then. Okay, we gotta be very careful not to get hit. Okay, be careful. There's another mushroom, which I guess we'll just put in our little thing. And now we got ourselves a Tanooki leaf. We got two Goombas on top of each other going right for us. Get out of here, and you do. And then, whoop, whoop, got it. That's pretty cool. I think we can, yeah, dip under here. <laughs> Is this a fake Goomba? Just trying to trip me up. I'm not letting that happen, that's for sure. Wait, do we need to, we might actually have to go look through the goggles again at the, go, at the not the Goomba, the Toad, to make extra sure that the star metal is where it's supposed to be. I don't wanna make that mistake, that'd be a little silly. Yeah, we do, ooh, good to keep in mind then. All right, there we go, throw, throw the thing. We already saw this, so we'll just get over there and check it out now. All right, well, very interesting for sure. And boop, we get another mushroom, don't need that one. Hmm, which one is the real Goomba? Probably the one running right for me. Bounce off of that. There's even fake pipes too. Who set up all this fake stuff? Just a full Mario along the way. And got it, that was pretty cool. So what else is going on along here? I mean, I can bounce off of you and then, oh, if I do this right, I might be able to get a one up. There it is, that was really cool. And then these are all fake. Hmm, peculiar. So we got star metal number one. Can we go down this pipe? You bet we can. There's another one. Now I'm guessing that's not just right here. Instead, it is, yeah, over there. So maybe if I wall jump like that, I mean, oh no, <laughs> if I ever get confused, yeah, I can just sort of stand on this little eyeball block. It gives me a little bit better of an idea of what's going on. So I sort of did that right. There we go. And let's head back down this pipe. Alley -oop. Pretty cool. If you guys didn't see last episode, I said that uh, there's a 3D feature that I don't have because I'm playing on the 2DS, which just takes the 3D feature out of everything. Which, honestly, a lot of the newer 3DS games don't even have it, like any 3D stuff, so can't really see those properly. But they seem to allow options for that anyways. And there we go, we got quite a few one-ups out of that. Now we're just sort of climbing up this castle looking for star coin number three. Oh, there it is. A little bit of a scary jump, but we made it. Oh, I guess we were supposed to do that the other way. <laughs> I sort of did backwards, which is just sort of my way of doing things, isn't it? What is going on with this? It feels like a, there might be something up that wall. I'm not sure though. For right now though, boink, get out, get over him. Oh, he dropped another one? Let me go ahead and grab that. Thank you. And it might just be easier to go like that. Not quite, if I had a little bit more height to my jump. But we have all three of the medals, so as long as we can get, oh, over here, I guess. We should be good. Oh, these platforms are very stressful because they eventually start unfolding. There's lots of cool stuff going on around here. But all I really have to worry about is this right here. So more of them. More of these unfolding platforms. Got it? Got it. And then bounce. Oh boy, I can't see where Mario is. No, I didn't get it. I couldn't see him. Ah, oh, that stinks off the replay through the level. Just like with world one level one, I messed that one up too. I messed this one up as well. Darn. Okay, so I'll hop back in there and try to get that flagpole. 
And then once we do that, we should be good. And got it, there we go. Now that is a golden flagpole. You sort of gotta get it so that you can see Mario's shadow on top of it, but obviously that's hard to do when Mario is literally off screen. But we made it work, no problem. So with that done, we're gonna move on over to the second level. Oh, is it another underground level? I think so, I already see the purple goop of doom. I love the little preview of the levels, how it's like a little diorama. That's always super cool. And let's get to it. I don't know what's with this like little spotlight we have on us, but I already see a star coin laying in wait. Got it, and can I make it to this platform? No, I can't. Where does this pipe lead then? I'm not sure. Uh, ooh, 3D, I don't have that feature. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I'll try to get as many of these as I can. Even though I'm not as worried about coins and lives as I was last episode, because I, you know, that's sort of the weird thing about Mario games, is it almost starts out more difficult than it continues to be afterwards, because you only start with five lives, but in as you get later, you get more lives, so, oh yeah, I guess this is how we were supposed to get the star coin. I did it my own way. But the more lives you get, the more you don't have to worry about, you know, falling and dying and stuff. It's like, okay, I'll just, you know, give it another shot. Okay, that was just some coins. Got it. And I have my eyes peeled for uh, star coin number two. Is it over here? Not looking like it. We do get a fire flower for better or for worse. Hmm. Oh, where is it actually expect me to go here? Uh, that was a little bit weird. I guess I just had more than one option. Oh, look at all these coins. Yeah, I'm not as worried about it as I was in the first level or the first episode because of the fact that I only had a couple of lives. And where is, oh, look at this, secret, secret. It is star star metal number two, not star coin. We have an extra 100 seconds as well. So what do we got here? Ooh, this is fancy. We're going outside of the barrier of the level almost. Oh boy, maybe I shouldn't do that, a little risky. Oh, we got another Tanuki Leaf, which I honestly sort of prefer. Now we gotta start moving, this foldable platform's gonna start falling apart. I don't trust this one bit. I don't know where that question block is going, but I'm sort of curious to see if I can't get it. Ready? Got it. Okay, it was just an extra coin. Nothing up there, okay. Actually, do not think there's any, oh, here we go. Good thing I grabbed that Tanuki Leaf, because inside of here, we got ourselves a third star medal. But yeah, I don't think there's actually any secret exits in this world. Um, this actually has a lot less secret exits than your average Mario game. Usually a lot of them have a lot of exits, or secret exits like that. Not so much this one. Oh, we gotta run quick. Gotta run quick, and yeah, we got it. Pretty gosh darn good. So with that, we did it, course clear. That's already level two done. And now that we're, I'm sort of starting to warm up, I feel like I'm getting my way through these levels at least a little bit quicker, quicker than I did world one, which is, you know, both good and bad because it means we're gonna be getting through these worlds real fast, which means we have less time to enjoy them. But I'll still try to enjoy myself, so that's always good. So I have another one of these mystery block things. It probably would be good to switch to the, the fire flower. Oh, they took each other out. <laughs> what do you know? Interesting. Grab all these and I am one coin away from an extra life. But hey, as long as we get the star medal, that's all that really matters. And now moving on to the third level of world two. I don't know what's going on in that preview, but it looks very interesting. Ah, oh, that looks super cool. You got all these different colored blocks. Hmm. I'm used to new Super Mario Bros. U. Oh, it's Mario! Oh, that's super cool. I'm used to new Super Mario Bros. U where it's all, um, all the levels have a name to them. But there we go, that made a little M. This is a cool level. Oh, you know what? How much you wanna bet? This is something. Oh, it is. We're flying away on Mario's foot as Mario. This is weird. Where is this bringing us? It just keeps going. Goodbye. Oh, now it's Luigi. And there's a star medal here. Okay, this is pretty cool. And what is this gonna be? Oh, coins everywhere. You know what, I need to charge up or jump. And that still wasn't enough. How do you get way up there? I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> well, the coin sorta kinda made an L, which is awesome. But, oh wait, let me get this clock. And then we should be good to just plop back down. And just like this. Gotta be careful, oh boy. And, land, oh, I messed. <laughs> land on it. And this makes another M of coins. Got it, and got it. So we found the first sneaky star medal. Oh, I love these things. So they're like little propeller blocks instead of propeller caps. 
and they just do basically what the propeller cap does in the new Super Mario Bros. game, so that's always nice. You can get up here, and then same thing over this way. Got him. Crowd goes wild. And what is with this? We get some extra coins like that. Okay. And there's lots of stuff to see here. Oh, we got all the music notes. Let's try to do this. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love that. No, wait, my one up. No. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I'm missing out on this golden ring as well. I wasn't expecting the one up, so it just got away from me. And we have another one if we needed it. It'd be so funny if we could like stack them up and do like two propellers. I want to make too much sense, but hey, who cares about that? Can I get to that Goomba or not? Oh, you know what I might have to do is break that block again and see if that brings us up. All right, going up this way. Oh my, going back down. This is this is pretty cool though. I really like this level. This might be my favorite one so far. And then going up this way. There we go. Okay, let's try this out a little bit. Yep, this can go up. So we're still looking for star metal number two, wherever it may be. Right now we got red coins, which I think this is our first. Oh no, I don't have too much time to get back over there. Hold on. No wait, bring me up too. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time. Oh no, yeah, I ran out of time. Oh well, I think you only need to get five red coins too, so it's a little bit different. Can we slam on these? Oh, we can, cool. There we go. Where's star metal number two? I'm getting a little worried. That could have been it down there. I think I saw something. Yeah, but is that star metal number two? Or did I miss one and that's star metal number three? Let me land on this block. Once again, paying attention to Mario's shadow is super important. What I really want to be able to do here is get rid of that Goomba. Because he's sort of in a tough spot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I couldn't do it. Or at least I couldn't get rid of the Goomba. But we were still able to make something work there. And then we're going to get across to here. I think this is a giant uh, Princess Peach. And, oh no, I missed him. <laughs> Watch out. Got him. That was pretty good. And then there's another block here. And this is gonna bring us up. Hold on. There we go, we got him. Another set of red coins, maybe? Not quite. Oh, but it is the final, wait. Star medal. I guess these little golden rings give us five coins each. That's pretty good. Another propeller block if we needed it. And, oh, look at this. We get a little star power. And a little heart of, of coins. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of these guys. These guys drop a ton of coins, which is always good to get. Get all of these. I don't know if there's gonna be too many enemies, so I just might as well get what I can. And there we go. Very cool. Oh, look at this, it's all classic. So I can get that. Oh, that one actually works too. I thought it wasn't going to, because I thought it was just a part of the wall. And this should be super easy, right? I sure hope so. If I find a way to mess this one up, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. There we go. Shows you how much uh, Mario's abilities have improved since the first game. Very, very cool. Mario did it. He beat a level. <laughs> As per usual, because it's not all that impressive nowadays. Okay, so very cool. That was a fun one. That might be my favorite one so far. And yeah, with that done, we're gonna be moving to level two, four, which has a lot less colorful wooden blocks. These are just wooden blocks. All right, well, let's try to figure out what we got going on around here. Um, hmm, interesting. Oh, these are from, I remember these from Mario Galaxy. They're the little Switch, panels. What they do is that every time you jump, it switches from red to blue. So you just gotta sort of keep a rhythm, keep in mind what's going on, or you might just jump to your doom. <laughs> you gotta be real careful with it. It can be a little bit confusing. Oh no, bees. More stuff from Mario Galaxy, right? I mean, I don't know if there's these specific bee type enemies, but there's definitely bee related things going on in Mario Galaxy. There we go, we got it. And oh, this thing just creates Goombas. Let's get over here, and then whoop. Oh, I was gonna make him fall to his doom. No, oh boy, gotta be careful. It gets so confusing. We made it. Got it. Oh, and it's another one of these rainbow ones. So what we gotta do here is just bounce and we fly off. Oh, so it wants me to do 3D again. I'm not gonna, but interesting though that we could. Oh, the perspective is super duper weird. You can definitely tell you're supposed to be looking at it in 3D. Got it. No, oh no, oh no, 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 no. That's bad. I think there's a star metal I need to get there. Oh, maybe I could try again. I really hope I can try again. Where are we? We need to back it up. No, it's gone. I think I might actually have to die then because I think there's a star metal at the end of all that. What a bummer. Okay, let's try to be super extra careful this time because it's so hard to see where the uh, clouds might actually end up being. I might just uh, just try to play it safe. Only jump on the ones that seem super clear. 
where I can land on them, just like that, because the star metal was right here. Oh, I almost missed it again. That would have been awful. And there I go, now I can get that. Cool. So now that we've gotten that, what is going on over here? Ooh, if this block can raise, and we get a one up. Give me that one before it falls off the stage, for sure. And then if we long jump, we gotta be real careful about this. Oh, I do see that though. What we have to do, oh my gosh, is jump for it. And there's star metal number three. So we did it, <laughs> we made it through, but we still have more level to survive. I don't think this level had a halfway point whatsoever. It's a short one, but a tough one. And let's go, 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 go. Did we get it? I think we did, we got the one up, so we had to. And there it is, very cool, yeah. So there is another level complete for us. I think there's two more left to do. That was two four, right? I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out. I mean, it does say that there's an airship. Hmm. Okay, so maybe there's only one more level left. We got another mushroom hunt here. I might take a skip on this one, just because. I mean, I can go ahead and try it. I just don't wanna miss out on these if I can get power-ups later on, you know? I'll just go ahead and see if this one's any different. Out of curiosity, if not anything else. Also, it has like a little red blip on the map and I want all of them to be blue to signify I've completed them. So I don't even know. Yeah, that's just gonna give me some coins. Oh well, extra coins can be helpful. I mean, to be honest with you, it's not that hard to earn up power-ups in this game, especially since there aren't any, there aren't many specific power-ups. Like I said, this isn't like some of the other Mario games where there's like, you know, um, propeller cap, penguin suit, ice flower, you know, Fire Mario. It really is just Fire Mario and Tanuki Leaf. So you don't really need to grind up too many powers. And if you do, just go back to either World 1-1 or World 1-2. And here we are, we're in the airship, the first airship of the game. Once again, a lot like Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES. So yeah, oh, and it's auto-scrolling just like the airships from before. So this is bound to be difficult. There's flaming torches everywhere. There's tightrope walking, there's bullet bills. What's an airship level without bullet bills, you know? Gotta be careful. And I don't know if we're supposed to go in there just yet. I'm gonna wait for the screen to scroll a little bit. Is it gonna stop scrolling? Oh, it's not gonna stop scrolling. So I'm gonna go through here real fast. Okay, I didn't know which way I was supposed to go there. I wanna go the not correct way so that we can get the star coin, star metal. And that's a mushroom I don't need. So I'm just gonna leave it be and we'll go through here. This is so intense. I love it, it's super cool. So I'm going back over here on the top of this ship. And it's not just one airship, it's like a whole fleet of them. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. And boop, that was pretty good. And then there's another star metal waiting for us up that way. Best way to get that, I suppose, is just to grab it like that. Oh, these are Tanuki bullet pills, so they're trying to swat away at me. Gotta be careful of that. And hold on, before I go down that pipe, whoa, almost slammed in my doom there. We got star metal number three. So once again, a very short, but very challenging level. I feel like that's sort of a big description for this game in general. Very short levels, but they're all very tough. Which can make it really fun, because you know, even if you die, it only takes you a couple seconds or a minute or two to get back to where you were. And let's get to it. Who are we fighting in this airship? It is Boom Boom. We're seeing a lot of this guy lately. We just, you know, we've been seeing him a lot in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and now we're seeing him here, so I beat him up pretty good there. And he is not happy about that one. I wanna try to stay in the air for as long as possible while he bounces around. Because, you know, I just don't wanna deal with him when he's like that. And, oh, I just barely missed him. It, it can be tough to tell if we're right over him or not. This is a little bit scarier now because I can't just float away from my problems. I'm gonna have to time my jumps and everything, which is a bit more difficult to do, and, oh, I missed him. Ah, and I missed him again. I am the worst. Come on, don't let him get you. Don't let him get you. Yeah, there it is. Very cool, so we took out Boom Boom. That was great. Let's pick up all these coins before they disappear. And we'll be good. We've defeated the fleet of airships and Boom Boom heading them all, or captaining, I guess. He's manning the ship. And we'll get this so that I can get this flagpole nice and easy. I won't have to redo the boss fight because that would stink. Oh, if I remember this correctly. Very risky one up. <laughs> you don't want to fall down now, do you? After beating the boss and everything, so you gotta be careful there. Ow, <laughs> sorry Mario. Come on, come on. Yeah, we did it. Very cool, so we beat the boss. That's a really big flag too. And we get the golden flagpole. Yahoo. Good job, Mario. So that actually is really good. We got world two done. I, th I think that's gonna wrap it up. I know there's no secret exits for this world. 
And there goes the pathway to world three. I mean, yeah, I can see on the bottom screen there's a little star next to world two now. Let me just make sure that we got all the golden flagpoles though. Walking through it, it looks like we have. So that is very, very awesome. Had a lot of fun with this world. Very cool levels, especially two, three, I think was my favorite. I would love to hear which one your favorite was though. We are moving on over to world three after defeating world two in the last episode, an airship with boom, boom on it. But now it is still nighttime and we got ourselves another postcard. I don't even wanna know what this one's gonna say. Uh-oh. Oh, they were on an airship too. Probably on the same airship we were. What a coincidence. Poor Princess Peach. Whoa. Whoa, it's all wiggling. Oh, because I'm moving the 2DS. I didn't know that was a thing. That's pretty cool. Okay, Mario, we got no time to waste. She's just somewhere up in the sky. We gotta catch up. Ah, <laughs> oh, the poor guy. I said, get all these updates just on postcard. I guess I don't have cell phones in the Mushroom Kingdom. All right, so World 3-1, it looks like we got ourselves our first ever desert level in the game. And if I remember this one, correctly, it's quite tricky, a little bit of a maze. But what's fun about it is that there's sort of this little open world area in the first part of it. There's like this full desert you can explore, which honestly sort of brings me back to the to the uh, Sand Kingdom in Mario Odyssey, which is pretty cool. So we'll be looking all over the place for secrets and for star coins and everything. And I will try to dodge that Pokey because he's not looking so nice right now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, watch it. I love this song now. This is a Super Mario World song. Come on, I'm almost there. Get me back over there. I don't know what these things are in the sand are chasing us. And there we go, we get a one up. And right over here, what is this about? Oh, look at this, star medal number two. Okay, so I missed something. I'm gonna have to start looking around for it. Maybe it's on the side of this building. And if it's not, that's fine, because I sort of want to loop back around anyways. But that is tricky. I don't even know where the first star coin could be. Hmm, well, for right now, let's get ourselves a good couple of coins. And this dude, wow, leave me alone. He's rude. He's like those fish that chase you in the new Super Mario Bros. games, but they're in the sand. I bet these guys are a lot less worrisome now. Where could it be? Like, before I get into this cannon and move forward with the level, I definitely wanna see if I can't find the first star coin. I don't know if it's around here or not. But I don't know if there's any way to go in first person mode in this game. No, that's just pausing it. Okay, never mind. So we'll go ahead and try to go into the cannon. I mean, maybe it's somewhere around there. And like, maybe you can just get it with the cannon. We'll have to find out. Alrighty though, pretty tricky start to world three. There's a one-up over this way. Well, actually this looks like a fake one-up. What a trick. All right, well. Oh, and there's a one-up hidden in there though. So you know what, if you explore hard enough, you can definitely find something. So let's get back out there. There has to be something related to this cannon that's gonna get us this first star coin. I'd have to imagine, right? For now, we'll go ahead and go through that. Oh, oh, maybe that's it. I mean, that also might not be the first star coin, but the third one. Let me try to time my jump just right. It's gonna be a bit tricky, but I know we can do it. Got it? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, that was the first one. Very good. So it seems like we're doing pretty well. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that block had eyes, that was weird. I don't know what that was about. There we go. And look at this dude, he's trying to get in my way. Not happening today, buddy. Can I hit these guys from the back? I guess I can. I don't know why I remember being able to. Oh, you tricked me. I wasn't expecting you to do that, I'm out of here. You're scary. I was waiting for him so we could attack him from underneath, but didn't really work out that way. Okay, so I wanna wall jump off these dudes. Is there anything going on up here? I suppose not. I mean, there's another level up there, but I believe we get there by going through the, oh no, I didn't even see him. I got squished. That's not good. Okay, dodge these guys before they hurt me again. I'm not really doing so well in power-ups right now, so I do gotta be very careful. I don't have any power-ups on our second screen or anything. Usually the bosses leave me hurting in this game. They're sort of pretty tough, surprisingly. Ooh, what is that down there? This is something, that's for sure. We're out here with a fake Goomba. Get out of here. That doesn't work. I can't beat it. It's, it's inv or invincible. Not invincible. What does that mean? Oh boy. So this is what this little block with the eyes was. It has its own Tanuki tail. Well, that's cool and everything, but where in the world is my star coin? <laughs> Ain't in here. All right, let's go back through the store. Because I think that maybe with a well-timed enough jump, I think actually you can if you know what you're doing, which I usually am not knowing what I'm doing. But you can jump off these corners like that, and it's pretty cool. But I messed it up. And now I'm back here. Darn. 
That's fine. No, it's not fine. That's not fine. No, come on. I just got that. You stinker. Oh, I'm the worst. Ay, ay, ay. Let's go through again. Come on. Gotta dodge this dude. No, how? I'm all the. Ah, come on. This is a really tough level so far. Well, now Mario's all super small and stuff. I got it. Like, the whole reason I went to that room was, you know, to get a power up in the end of the day. I, I got less than that. Okay, well, maybe these red coins will help. If I can get them quick enough, that is. Got it. And then this is the last one right here, right? No, we got one more. There we go. And I get a Tanooki leaf back. No, give me that. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, wait, I didn't want to go through the door again. Oh my gosh. This is insanity. There we go. What a weird level. What a tough level. Come on now. Got it. I'm gonna wait here. Pretty good. Pretty good. And we're good. So hopefully we can find that third star coin soon. I'm getting worried that we might have missed it though. How crazy weird this has been. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Can I just stand on top of them? I guess I can. Oh, wait, no, no, that might have been it. That might have been it right over here. Oh, it totally is. It's up there. There it is, there it is. Okay, so we gotta jump and then wall jump and we got it. Let's also get this extra time, cause why not? Oh gosh, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. It's okay. And ooh, what is going on up here? I think we're at the top of the little like tower. And this might be the end of the level. Oh, it is, so let's get over here. This game is so pretty. Like I know the 3DS games sometimes get a bad rap for not being the prettiest, but at the same time, I feel like they do what they can with the hardware. And that this looked really good for the time. And boom, we even get the flagpole at the tippity top. This is the first time that we started a world with the flagpole gotten correctly. World one and two, we didn't get so much luck. All right, very cool. I'm happy now. It was a tough level, but a very rewarding one. And it looks like we're following up with a tough desert level into a water level. I don't know if that's all that much better, but we'll give it our best shot. Tap the world tabs on the touch screen to go back to worlds you visited before. Don't forget to take a break before you feel tired. That's always a good piece of advice. But luckily, I've been taking breaks between episodes, so I'm A-OK -okay to keep going on. World three, two, we have 57 lives. Oh, this is pretty cool. I love the song. It's like super relaxing, which is very necessary for how stressful these underwater levels can be. And let's go down. Because it's weird, the underwater levels sometimes have like weird camera angles. You gotta get used to it. I don't know what's going on with this right here. Guess it doesn't seem to be much. Hard to see where all these cheap cheeps are. I'm just trying to avoid them for now. I don't want them getting me. What could be up here though? Anything? Eh, I suppose not. Alrighty then, into the pipe we go. Deeper into the water, I presume. Oh, <laughs> never mind. We're out of the water. Hmm. We got a little P switch. I'm gonna jump on this. That has a couple coins for me. Wants me to dive in. Well, you got it. Oh no. Can I dodge you? Will you attack me? I guess not. Ooh, that might be helpful. Usually fireflies are really helpful for underwater levels because you can dodge incoming things without it being right next to you. Because that's sort of the one weakness to the Tanooki Leaf is that you can really only attack things that are right in, in your face. So this will help with that. So hopefully we can make our way through okay. Hmm. I do see that blooper. And bloopers are usually really tough. There we go, we got rid of you though. Don't have to worry about it. We can get these red coins, it'll likely, oh, there's our first star medal. It'll likely just give us a one-up, and that's fine with me. So before we do too much more then, let me get rid of these cheap cheeps that may end up getting in our way. Okay, well I missed one of them. That's fine, because I think I'm supposed to go into here. Aha, looks like it. Boom, star medal number one. I haven't missed anything, that's a good sign. Get back up this way. Whoa, okay, I guess touching the top of their heads doesn't hurt us, that's new. Usually that does. Okay, and boop, not bad. I feel like this game, they do tone down the difficulty in some ways, just because simply it's harder to play a platformer game on a 3DS. But I'm fine with it. Oh no, we just talked about you in the last level with the sand version of these guys. Oh, luckily they only take one fire flower hit. That's also a little bit easier. They take like three. No, 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 no. These guys only take one in even the new Super Mario Bros. games. It's the other fish that swallow you whole. Now, can we get rid of these dudes? I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep hitting you and see what ends up happening. I don't know, it seems like you take a lot of hits for somebody who could get taken out. Oh, look at that! Okay, I was right. <laughs> what do you know? I didn't actually think that was gonna be the case. And what's down this way? Ooh, a little secret. I like it. So where is this gonna lead? 
Oh, it's a star medal number two, hopefully. Star medal number two, sweet. I'm gonna grab as many coins as I can. Not really too worried about it, though. Oh, I missed one. I, I can't just leave one, you know? If I'm gonna get that many, I gotta get them all. And boom. So we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna float up this way if I can. And we got a couple more gold rings to get through. And should I? Maybe I should get rid of this guy as well. You never know what secrets might be hiding around here. I feel so bad. He's just like, ow, stop, please. He takes so many hits though, it's crazy. Is there anything secret up here? Oh, there is. Definitely worth checking then. This is star medal number three. Okay, I had to do it then. It was sort of necessary. So I don't feel as bad anymore. <laughs> All right, we got it done. And now we are here. So I guess, yeah, we would have, wouldn't even been even able to get the third star coin. Huh. I meant the third star coin, the gold flag, well obviously not the third star coin. It would have started us off over there, so we would have had to use like the Tilky Leaf or something. But very cool, we got everything we needed in that level, which is absolutely beautiful. And now what do we got going on over here? This looks different a little bit. It's a blue toad house. Huh, weird. All right, well, let's hop in. I don't know what this is gonna be, but it looks like there's like a toad with little cards. Welcome to the toad house. We've got an album here, why not take a look? Sure. <laughs> um, oh, this place looks super cool. It's like shrouded in trees. It's supposed to be like a mystery. Okay. What exactly is this? Oh, I get it. So this is where we can see all of our postcards so far. So we should get back here at the end of the game and take a little look at everything once we get it all. That's pretty cool, I like it. So with that done, I'm gonna move back out of here and we're gonna continue with world three. That's a nice little diversion from the action now. Just be able to admire everything so far. So, world three, three. What do we got going on with this one? Hopefully something cool. We got 61 lives from Mario. And this is actually pretty cool. It's all like bubbly and dreamy. Like a bubble bath or something. I love how that there is sort of like a bit of a diversion with the levels with this one too. Is like some of the levels are very like sort of, I wouldn't say re realistic, but they're like sort of based in reality. Like there's a world around you and it makes sense where these enemies are coming from. And then there's some that are like this, where you're just in this weird bubble world realm. Where is this bringing me, by the way? Oh, to a pipe. Which probably means a cool star coin in like a 3D area. Maybe. Uh, sort of? It looks like there might be a star coin up there. Star metal, excuse me. There we go. That looks to be everything. I'm sure I could break every single one of these blocks and maybe look for a power up somewhere. I don't know if there's gonna be any. But now that I've started, I can't stop. <laughs> Come on, almost, almost. Yeah, there was nothing. I mean, I know I used to do that in the very original Super Mario Bros. NES game. You would wanna break every single block you possibly could because it was so hard to get lives in that game. You wanted to get as many as possible. This is the first time I'm seeing Chain Chop. Can we ground pound this? Oh, we can! See ya, buddy! That was awesome. And we get a star. So run quick, Mario. Get rid of this bee. We got a couple more bees to get rid of. Got him. Jump. Go. Go. Jump. No, that was okay. We didn't get any one-ups for it, unfortunately. But that's fine. We might be able to get a one-up for this if we make it all the way through. And we did. There's a one-up for us as well. And, oh, good stuff. The only thing I'm worried about now is it feels like we've gone on for a while to not find the second star medal. So hopefully it shows up soon. Oh, it's probably over there because that looks like much more of a difficult jump. So we got some extra time that I'm missing. <laughs> there we go. And there we go, star medal number two. Star medal number two. So we gotta be careful of this dude. Um, that is not being careful. That was the opposite of careful. Go ahead and dive at me. And then, oh wait, that didn't work, that didn't work. Wait, oh, I was trying to get rid of him. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, we got another one of these. Hi there, Toad. What's going on, buddy? There it is, final star medal going way over there. That's actually not too bad. We should be able to make that jump. I mean, it would help if I had the Tanooki leaf. Now I don't. I'm actually a little bit nervous. Oh yeah, we did it! That was actually really cool. So there we go, all three of the star medals. Now we just gotta run for it, right? Before all these platforms fall. Go! Yeah, we did it! We're doing really well with the levels today. I'm super excited about it. This episode's gonna be super short. That's sort of the fun of the game. Because it's portable, I guess I wanted to make super quick and enjoyable levels that you could get done in just like a minute or two. 
So you know what? I'm having a good time. Hopefully you are too. We're experiencing all sorts of different elements in today's episode. We had the sandy desert, we had the underwater beach level, and now we got the nice and cold uh, snowy levels. This is a lot more like what it is outside for me right now. It has been like one degree outside. It's been like between one and five degrees. It's been super chilly. So you know what? I can relate with this level a lot right now. Uh, let's grab some of these coins and watch it! Ow, that hurt. <laughs> you know what, let me go ahead and get this power up before I make a silly mistake. Because I might be able to find something else around here. I know that sometimes these little stumps can have tanuki leaves in them, so I'm definitely going to check. And a coin. Not exactly what I was looking for, unfortunately. What about up here? Oh, this, this has to be something. There it is, I will gladly take it. And what are these? Well, this is weird. Okay, so these blocks go up more and more the more I hit them. Well, is, oh yeah, there is gonna be a star metal right out of my view. Oh gosh, I can't see where I'm going. Dodge the giant chain ball at the least. Okay, just barely hit him. Actually, before we go down there, what is this about? A couple more coins, nothing crazy. Okie doke, then get up here and get up there. Doing pretty well. So one thing is that I, you know, of course you play the game with the analog stick. I haven't really mentioned that you can use the directional pad to look left and right a little bit. Oh, here we go. This is definitely something. So I need to land on top of this block. I mean, I might not even need to. No, I need to. Okay. Boing. And then he's gonna press jump at just the right time. And hopefully, if we do this correct, this might lead to our second star medal. Just gotta run quickly and try not to make any silly mistakes. Got it. Keep going, keep going, maybe we can get a one-up or two. Got it, there we go, we got that one-up. And star medal number two, awesome. Very cool, so we're actually doing pretty well through this level. I feel like I remember this one being really tough. But hey, whatever way works, right? Actually, I think we just passed the beginning of the level just down there, that was pretty cool. I'll go ahead and get a second Tanuki Leaf, put it over our Fire Flower. That might be a good idea. I mean, it also might not be. There we go, we got that Goomba, got that one, and boom. So I'm trying to be very careful for star metal number three. I don't think we've gotten a checkpoint. I mean, we may have. Hmm. Go ahead and grab this a little bit. Oh, don't get hit by the, the spiny. No, they're not, they're, they're, they're not spinies, they're fuzzies, right? Something like that. I'd get that mushroom, but it's a little bit too risky. What is down here? Oh, oh, here we go. Grab these music notes quickly. Don't let the Goomba get you though. There we go. Oh, gotta be careful. Oh, that is really risky. We did it. Awesome. Oh, I remember this. This is why this level is tough. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, go back, go back. Oh, scary. We need to land on that block without hitting it because if we hit the, the bottom of it, you know, like we do with normal question blocks, it will um, just stop moving. It'll go to brown. We don't want that. We wanna be able to stand on top of that thing whenever it comes back. Does it come back? Okay, here it comes. I was a little worried. And then once we stand on top of it, just don't move. Just do not move. I remember this being so tough. I don't know why I had such a hard time with it though. And there it is. Come on, come on. Ah, yeah, we did it. Awesome, and we get teleported right to the end of the level. We even get to skip some of the other hard stuff, so that's pretty cool. For now though, I'm gonna go ahead and boing. And then, oh no, you know what? Maybe I should land on this and then go like, whoa, it almost threw me off. What the heck was that? Okay, I just don't trust this. Get it like that then, perfect. And got it. So hard to tell, but I was able to figure it out where the golden like the golden little ball is. Awesome, so that is yet another level we got done 100% on the first try, super duper glad to say. So there we go. And with that one done, we get another level unlocked. We're saving up and save complete. What is going on with this one? We need 15 star medals to unlock it. I think we have much more than that. We have 44. Man, it's crazy to think we've already gotten 44 of these things. I don't even remember it being that many. And look at this, this is level two, five. Looking pretty intense. Is this supposed to be like cookies? I think these, this, this platform is supposed to be little cookies. Hard to tell. Oh, it is, definitely is. All right, well, let me try to get deal, deal with these little bitty buds. I think they're technically para bitty buds because they have wings. Oh no, oh no, I can't see. Oh, that was really weird. Not a good start. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. I got another one. If I just quickly grab it, 
and just try to stay on top of the platforms this time, instead of trying to jump on everything, with all the enemies and stuff. Where am I? What happened? I was just going to the right and I let go, and I just totally disappeared. What? Well, there I go, both of my tanuki leaves. That was the worst. What? I honestly don't know what happened there. Oh no, oh man. I am so bad at this game. So bad, I'm so sorry. Okay, there's a mushroom. I will gladly grab that. And then I don't know what's supposed to be in these brown blocks, but I guess I can't know for now. But I do see this and I wanna be able to get it. It's so weird because we got auto scrolling platforms and oh my gosh, we have platforms that are moving the opposite direction of the scroll. And that's just really intimidating. Okay. Oh no, I know exactly what I gotta do for this one. I need to, boing! Oh, we did it! Oh, that was super cool! Just keep going, keep going. And with this one, I am definitely getting this halfway point. I do not wanna mess up any good thing I have going for me here. Gotta be honest. Okay, I hope these, did these platforms start falling? I don't trust it, I have a feeling they do. Okay, we can at least get a couple extra coins. No, why'd I do that? <laughs> That was just funny. That was just really funny. Okay, try again. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. And... Boing. Boing. That was pretty good. Get a couple of these. Try to be a bit more careful with these little wafer platforms. I think these are supposed to be little wafers. There it is, there's the star coin. So I need to go onto this platform and just sort of let it bring me over. Perfect. And then long jump over. Long jumping is really tough on the 2DS because of just how the little, the trigger buttons are just a little hard to press, to be honest with you. The L and R. All right then, so go for it. Yeah, we did it. So I did die a couple of times, but I feel like we still did relatively well for how tough that level was. And we got everything, all three star medals and the golden flagpole. Could you really ask for anything more? I don't think so, unless there's a secret exit, then I guess we could ask for that, but there isn't. So save complete, and now we have the final level of the world. It is the airship of World 3. So we only had one castle and then two airships. A little weird. We'll go ahead and try to figure this out. Help us out there, Toad. Launch us. Yeah, we, goodbye. <laughs> He's waving at us, that's pretty cool. Oh, what's this way? Oh, a mushroom, I'll gladly take that. Oh, and we have these giant drills and bob bombs. Whoa. I wanna try to dodge these guys while I can. Don't explode me, leave me alone, you big bully. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Hmm. Oh, I see the first star medal. So I'm gonna have to get over there. What, did that Did that work? Yeah, it did, kick him over there. Hope he doesn't explode the donut platform, he does not, good. So I wanna get over here real quick and see if any of these are power-ups. They aren't, oh, ooh, I almost long jumped too soon there, that was scary. I hope this platform doesn't fall. Just keep going for now. Got it. And wait right here. And then we gotta go quick, gotta go quick, gotta go quick. Ah, uh, we made it. That was actually pretty cool. Cool, we're destroying all these blocks. or not blocks, they're boxes. Okay, so far so good. Just gotta be careful of all this, try to make sure none of these land on us. Whoa, okay, watch it, buddy. This is really scary. Let's get this halfway point and take a look at where Toad might be. Toad, buddy. Where are you? Maybe Toad's not here. Maybe this is just sort of a preview. I do see a star medal right there, but I don't know if that is the second star medal. I think that might be the third. So we need to be very careful as we move through this because I'm still looking for another one. I might as well be in one of these boxes. Okay, yeah, just put that over there. That didn't get me a star medal. I mean, a star medal, I don't know if it would even fit in one of these boxes, but you never know, right? You gotta be careful. Maybe one of these is hiding like a warp rainbow block or something, you never know. So I'm just gonna wait for him to explode for me. And hey, at least I got a fire flower out of it, can't complain about that. That's pretty good. Wait, what is that over there? Hold on. Is that where we just were? Or is this somewhere else? Oh no, this is just where we were. So I guess we could have shortcutted all of that by just going over here. <laughs> None of that was necessary, ow, and also, that was very unnecessary. Keep running, keep running. Oh no, oh no, wait right here, perfect. Whoa, I know these effects look really cool in 3D. So here's that star coin. I guess we'll get to find out. No, we won't. That was really awkward. I was really trying to just go straight to the right. It's just really difficult to do. Oh, let's get back over there. I think I'll be fine with, with doing it real fast. Got it. And 
wait right. Oh, 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 that was close. I didn't know that was actually gonna work out. And then go this way. Fall down here. Oh, well, that was my fault. <laughs> okay, let's do this correctly this time. And that's star metal number two. Okay, lucky me. I don't have to backtrack through the level or anything. So with that done, gotta keep running to the right until we find where star coin number three might be. I have a feeling it's nearby. So let's not run off into this pipe so quickly. Anything in here? We get another mushroom. I'll take it, but it has me very concerned. Yeah, this is the boss fight. I mean, it could be after the boss fight. I just don't remember that. All right, boom, boom. This is actually really tough. Ooh, I tried the jump and the platform moved me. That's exactly what I was worried about. Let's grab this other mushroom. And I don't know if we can land on the shell as it's bouncing at us, but I'd rather not find out right now because I just need to focus on surviving. Okay, boom, boom. Ooh. Come on over and boom, got him without him getting me. That's very good news. So now we just gotta land on his head one more time. Oh gosh, leave me alone. Uh, come on, go, come on. Get him, get him, Mario. I can't see, I can't see. Oh gosh, oh he's dizzy. I didn't know he'd get dizzy. There we go, that was so close. Man, oh man. But we made it, we got all the star coins. Or not the star coins, all the, no we did not. I don't know why I was saying that. I gotta get all these normal coins though. Come on. Please let us find where this last star metal could be. I mean, it could be absolutely anywhere. I mean, I might actually just be at the end of here. Aha! Be careful, ooh, be very careful. Hi, ay, ay. That is all kinds of scary. So can we even make this jump as mini Mario? Let's hope, yes we can! Awesome! Everything is going our way today, relatively. I mean, obviously we didn't do everything perfect, but overall, there wasn't too much of a bad issue, so I will gladly take that. 92 coins, 66 lives, all three star coins, and a gold medal pole, or golden flag pole, whatever it's called, and world three completed. So what is in world four? It'll be a bit of a mystery until next episode. The save is complete, so yeah. We are moving on to world number four, where hopefully everything turns out okay. We're probably getting ourselves another postcard after a day of defeating enemies and getting star medals. What is it gonna be? Uh-oh. Oh, well that's not too scared, it's just, she's just thinking of Mario. Oh. Oh, he's determined now, he's not as scared, he's just like, I'm going to get her. Oh, <laughs> you see the little Monty Mole, like, where's he going? I don't know, guess we'll find out together as we head into level four one. Oh, this one looks super cool. I love the little spiral tree, that's really cool, I like that. So let's get to it. Oh, this is amazing looking already. I love these kind of levels in this game, they sort of have like this open beginning. Oh, this is really cool. I don't know if there's too much for us to find around here, but it's just sort of fun to explore. Honestly, I'm really glad that that idea was more fully realized in Super Mario Odyssey. So what's going on up here? Is that a toad? You better bet that's a toad. Oh, you gave us a one-up. That's nice, thanks. Is there anything else to get around here? I suppose not. So let me go ahead and quickly get this before I get taken out by a piranha plant or something. And what's over here? Anything of interest? Oh, a little bit of a shortcut, which is good. But not what I'm looking for. What I'm really looking for is any kind of power up. So yeah, the propeller cap is a pretty good one to have. And I gotta be careful, I still don't know where the piranha plant is, he's right here. That was really lucky. Oh, and Koopas, hi Koopas. Really just trying to dodge people as much as I can for right now. Oh, okay. So this might be a bit weird, because I don't know if we can pick up, can we pick up Koopa shells? I suppose we can. So I don't know how we're gonna get into there. I mean, we got a one-up, which is pretty cool. Is there something up here? I think there is. Here, let me wall jump up. I feel like there is something up there, but I can't get into there because I don't have a tanuki leaf. This is actually gonna be a bit of a problem then. I might have to come back. Huh, for right now, let's just go ahead and try to play as carefully as we can. Try to get a couple power-ups along the way. That would be great. Oh no, hold on. Maybe getting up from here would be a little bit better. Boing, and you know what, when I'm over here, I guess there isn't any kind of little thing over there. I really am gonna have to come back, that sort of stinks. There's like no power-ups around here for some reason. Anyways, in the meantime, let's bounce here and get the second star medal. That is so weird, isn't it? And I think the propeller suit will be very helpful for this one, so that's good. Bounce off of that, that way if we get, in ourselves, or get ourselves into any kind of like sticky predicaments, we should be fine with getting out of them, I can only hope. 
Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Uh, I can only hope. Anyways, get all these. I can only hope there's also a star coin at the end of this. Or star metal. Okay, there we go. Bounce off of that and then keep fluttering. Oh boy, I don't know where we are right now. Or if we're over it. Oh, we were not. That could have been really bad. So I know that's Star Metal 2. We're still looking for the first one. I know where I know it's in that block. The problem is I don't have any power-ups to get it. I think, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that isn't it. Maybe there's something in this pipe or cabin. I don't know, I'm sort of remembering this. Yeah, being right here. Okay. And I got it. No, no, that was the third one. So I did miss something. All right, well, then I definitely think it's behind that block. Oh, come on. All right, let me get these quick. Please, please, please. Oh, that was a fire flower. That's great and everything. I'm not complaining, but I need a tanuki leaf. <laughs> the only time that gives me a fire flower when I need a tanuki leaf. How ridiculous is that? Come on, got it. Good. Get rid of this one as well. This dude, got him. And I have some coins. Can you just not get a tanuki leaf from this level? How baloney would that be? Like, it's cool to explore all this and get all this extra stuff, but if it's not a tanuki leaf, I'm not too interested. Gotta be honest. I mean, that has to be where it was. I didn't see any other place for it. This is gonna be the most obvious little secret for it. Come on. Got it. Getting rid of all these dudes as much as I can. I don't wanna take any damage I don't need to. Get a little bit of extra time we can grab. I really might just have to come back once we get a tanuki leaf. That is so weird. Oh well, that's fine. It happens. Well, I'm not giving up hope just yet. What is this? Hold on. Oh, come on. Every time, I'm like excitedly waiting. Oh no, this might be tough to do also. Come on. Come on, ready? Boing, and boing, and oh no, we got it. That was actually pretty cool then. Awesome stuff. So I just gotta go through this level again at some point in the future, uh, probably later in today's episode if I can. As soon as I get a Tanuki Leaf, really. I might actually go back to the first ever level now, get a Tanuki Leaf and come back here, because I want to get that done as soon as possible. Okay, well we're saving, and then we'll have the option to go to that mystery box afterwards. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we're back in this, hopefully I don't get hit right away, because if so, that would stink. Um, I gotta just sort of avoid all of you guys for right now. That's all I want to do. Awesome, and let's see if I was right. Is the star coin in here? Because if not, I'll feel very silly. It is, awesome. So there we go, all I needed to do is that. So I'm gonna finish this level really fast and then we will move on to the mix mystery box and that'll be pretty cool. Okie doke, so now that we've done that, let's go into this mystery box and hopefully everything will turn out okay. We'll find out together. And there's a fire flower for us, which I don't even know if it was exactly necessary to deal with all these Goombas, but you better bet I'm gonna use it if I need to. And star metal, now let's grab the rest of the coins. Very good. <laughs> These are usually very, very easy. They have a version of these in Super Mario 3D World, which uh, are a lot more difficult, so we'll be getting to those eventually, because I do plan on eventually playing that one as well. A lot of people have been asking me that recently too, is if I ever plan on playing 3D World. I do, but I'm hoping they'll port it to the Switch, so I plan on playing it if it does. If not, I'll wait a little bit and we'll play it then. We'll, we'll find out, but right now, let's go into level four too. I do believe this one also has a secret exit, one of the few levels in this game that does. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, ooh, this is actually a bit tricky, isn't it? I remember this level being a little bit tricky. Oh, guys, it's got the goop on me now. I can't see. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we're getting up there in lives. We're currently at 73 lives. I don't know if this game has a maximum out of 100 or not. I guess we'll find out soon enough in the next couple of episodes for sure. So I wanna keep grabbing coins and get up there as much as we can. I think that's a star coin spinning around there. There it is. A little bit of a secret spot, I like it. And what is this about? That's pretty cool. Oh, they're timed, so we gotta go quick. What's interesting is you don't really need them too much. I mean, especially if you have a Tanooki Leaf. Okay, I definitely don't want that. And what is going on? Okay, that was that was silly of me. Yeah, I wanna try to avoid that so that I can keep my Tanooki Leaf. I might even change out from the Fire Flower into the Tanooki Leaf in a moment. Well, look at all these Goombas, though. They're begging to be stopped. There it is, that was super cool. Awesome, and then I'm up here. And before we continue up this way then, I want to check this out. Because I think, yeah, there's a star coin right here. Don't exactly know how to get to it though. I might have to come back later. Like there might be something higher up that we can get to. Hold on. Whoa. There we go. Got a couple more coins there. And what is this about? Okay, quickly get this guy. Don't make my screen all messy, you jerk. I gotta clean that. 
And what about this one? Does this just make a platform across? Indeed it does. Whoa, get rid of these Goombas. Ooh, I see it. Little secret little area right here, and boom. Give me that star coin. Very cool. Get 100 extra seconds there as well. And there's another fire flower, don't grab that. And what is up here? Still missing that third star coin, of course. So I am looking all over for it. That was a little scary. Hmm. Actually, you know what? This looks like the way I'm supposed to go. So what's going on over this way? Go to these Goombas. Oh, this is definitely it. Has to be. Yep, hold on. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Very good, very good. I love the look of this level though. I like all just like, you know, the flat colors and stuff with the, all the other things going around. I don't know, just, this game has such a fun artistic style to it. There we go. Wait, oh, you know what? That's where the secret exit is, is up there to the left. We'll leave that for after, like, you know, the next completion of this level we'll do, which will be right after this one. For now, go ahead and grab that. Get a couple of those. And we should be able to make it. Got it? Yeah, okay, very cool. So there is another golden flagpole for us and all three star medals. So that level is complete. So we're doing pretty well so far. I mean, we've made a couple of silly mistakes and some of it wasn't too much our fault. You know, like the beginning of today's episode with that one star coin. But you know what, we're doing what we can no matter what. So the save is complete, very good. Let's hop back into that level and find that secret exit. All right, so all we gotta do here is sort of balance ourselves out. And then I think for this one, yeah, we need to bounce like that. There we go. Come on, I think we're getting it, I think we're getting it. There we go. And somewhere around up here, as you can see, there is another mystery pipe. Just like in the second level of the first world, there aren't many of these, so it's always fun to check it out. Which world will this bring us to? Of course, right over to the next world, world five. So we get a tiny bit of a sneak peek. We wanted to see that. I don't really need to, but it's cool to know that we got that. All right, save complete. Let's move back to world four and move on to our next level, which is going to be level four, three. That'll be cool. So, ooh, we could actually skip it if we wanted to, but of course we don't. We wanna go in, it just requires 30 star coins which we have, and then after we get the three star medals after you know this level of 60 in total, which is pretty cool. That looks like it could be tough. Uh, I'm a little nervous now, but we'll give it our best shot as we head into World 4-3. We have 77 lives, so we have a lot of chances. Wait, what's to the left? Nothing? Okay, had a little opening. It made me think, like, maybe there is. Oh, okay, here's the first star coin. That was actually pretty easy. Now, this level seems like something that'd be much more difficult without the Tanuki Leaf, so I'm glad we have it, and let's get another one. I can always get a Fire Flower from some other places. Oh, I saw that little block. And I'm gonna be as diligent as we can be about you know finding all these secrets and stuff. Oh, here we go. This so far seems like it could be a really short level if this is already the second star coin. Hold on, let me get up there. Boing, there we go. And let's check this out, it has to be. Here's a star coin, or not the star coin, the star that we're gonna use to get the star coin, or the star metal, or whatever you wanna call it. Oh no, we have more than one path to go here. That's actually a little scary. Come on, one up. Yeah, just barely got it there, very cool. So two star medals down, one left to go. And excuse me, sir. There we go. Can you give us some of your coins? Oh, he takes more than one hit. He takes a lot of hits. Wow, okay, weird. And what'll that do for me? That'll just get me over there. All right, well, I might as well check it out. Ooh, okay, get the halfway point before we make any silly mistakes, and take a look around. Oh, hello, Toad, you have a star medal for us? Yes, you do, definitely worth it then, because this won't show up without, you know, looking at Toad. And it's right in front of us, okay, easy enough, right? Let me, get those, this jump is still really scary, but we can make it work, got it. Bounce off of you, oh boy. Get all these red coins. Oh, ah, actually not so bad. No, okay, gotta be careful. Not worth risking a life to get a one-up. That just leaves me back with the same amount of lives I had. Okay, this is scary with all these paragoombas all over the place. Got it. And I think we're almost there, so we gotta be careful. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, we did it. Awesome, very cool, so. There is another level completed on the very first try, no less, so that is good. That was a tough one for sure. And there we go, another one up there. So with that done, we got two more levels left to go before the airship, it seems, and one of them is a haunted ghost mansion. Ooh, our first ghost mansion of Super Mario 3D Land. Some of these levels can be real tough. 
Definitely in other Mario games, some of the toughest levels are ghost houses. I can't imagine it'll be any different here. Can we? Yeah, you know, we can't destroy booze, but we can at least, you know, scare them away for a second with the Tanuki spin. Okay. Oh, this is scary, because you never know where you're going until it's right in front of you. I guess over that way. All right, let's get to it. Perfect. And we're going over here. Does that platform keep going now? It doesn't. All right, oh, but what is that? That's gotta be something. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I was one step ahead of the game there. That was weird. <laughs> I thought that maybe that was some kind of cool secret, but no. It was just actually where the exit of that war, or war block was. Well, watch it, booze. I don't wanna deal with you right now. Leave me alone. I'm facing you, I'm facing you, I'm facing you. What was that? Okay, where does this go? Oh, here. Oh, that way. I'm trying my best not to miss any star coins. But it can be real tough. What do we do? Oh, here we go. Grab this star. I'm having a very hard time grabbing the star. And get rid of all these booze. Got him. Got him and got him. Hooray! That got me another Tanuki, which I didn't even really need, but I'll gladly take. Is there more than one? Oh, whoa, whoa, that was lucky. Oh, there's more than one path. Sort of. That one leads nowhere. Or, oh, what, did that actually hit me? Oh darn, ooh. Oh, that's it? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Here then, I'm gonna quickly, oh, that almost fell off the edge, that would've stunk. Oh, okay, there was a pipe under that. Sneaky. And let's take a look at this one, uh, just like that, ah. I know that I'm like solving the puzzle right away when I do that, but it can be a little tough to tell, like I've said before. I don't got the I don't have the privilege of using the 3D function on the 2DS. Okay, so Oh gosh, let's dodge all of that and make extra sure before I leave. It looks like everything is good. Yeah, go through the box. Oh, there's that star coin. This might be a bad idea. Whoa! It might have been, but we made it work. Where are we going? Where? Okay, go back this way then. Um, what? I don't like this. It's really scary. Oh, there's a big boo. Leave me alone, big boo. I'll face ya. But you can't move forward to towards me anymore. We can go this way. Come on, keep going. To the left. And, oh gosh. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, these platforms are moving. Gotta be careful. And what about down here? Oh, look at another star. What are we gonna need this for? I have a feeling that there'll be something on the other side of the store, or not. Is it just gonna be the end? It is, okay. It's a weird placement for a star. I can tell you that much. And then, oh no, hold on, let's try that again. I wanna make sure we make these jumps just right. They only pop up when you're right over them. And there we go. So there we go, there is the ghost mansion done. Definitely not as tricky as some of the other ones, but definitely not easy either, you know? So. We got it, and almost another life right there. So one more level left to tackle. Oh, I can already see it to the right. There are some of uh, those folding platforms that are ever so difficult to work with. We'll see if this turns out okay, but I don't know. World four or five, going in with 84 lives. Let's hope so. And there we go. It would be really cool if this game got somehow like a, like a sequel on the Switch, now that I'm thinking about it. I know I was mentioning before, that I do want to play Super Mario 3D World, but I want to do it once I have, like, or once it gets released on the Switch, because a ton of Wii U games have been really released on the Switch. You know, recently new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Oh, it's a Hammer Bro, not Hammer Bro. Boomerang Bro, there we go, we got him. And let's go in here. But I, I honestly th think that that game will be, I don't think this one will. Oh, what do we do here? Uh, I guess the idea is just to get as many of these as possible. So this doesn't have a star coin? Okay, that's a bit concerning because I haven't seen a single one yet. I hope I haven't missed anything. I don't know. Hmm. Well, for now we can do this. I'm always worried I'm gonna miss something super obvious. But that's why I have a strong feeling that eventually, whoa, Super Mario 3D World will be brought to the Switch. And I'm excited for that. I don't think they'll bring this one to the Switch, which is a shame. Just because, you know, it'd be a lot more work, I think, with how Porting something from a DS or 3DS to the Switch would be, I'd have to imagine. I mean, it's not impossible, but probably not be as easy. But you never know. I think what they would more likely do is sort of make a sequel to this one, or maybe even a sequel to sort of both of them. Because 3D World is sort of a sequel to 3D Land, but they do feel very different. 
you know? Because, you know, 3D Land is designed only for really single player, while 3D World is designed all about multiplayer, you know? There's another Tanuki Leaf, which I'd really like to grab, so that's good. So we've only got one star coin in this level so far. Oh, I do see the second one. We have to jump over the warp box. That's a bit menacing, but we did it, we did it. Got it. Good stuff. And there we go. So where is star metal number three? Maybe beyond this boomerang? Oh, you stinker. Get out of here. Okay, well, there's a lot of different platforms going all over the place. Let's try these two. Okay, these are definitely leading to like some other. Ooh. Oh, I see. And then we get up here and boom, we got it. So now I can go back and activate all of these for better or for worse. I don't know where they lead, what they'll get me or anything like that. This one was just time. And then, oh, I gotta be quick now. Gotta be quick. Ah, uh, we did it. Awesome. And that's it. Okay, pretty cool. But we do have to be careful. This is where all of our movements matter. Go for it. Yeah, very good job, Mario. So that is the fifth level of this world done and the last level before the airship. And we did it okay. So we're making some good time with all of this, that's for sure. 71 coins and finished. So one last level left to tackle. It is the airship right after we're done saving. Okay, so this is our third airship so far, I think. That's weird, I don't remember there being this many airships. It's weird, for sure. Because I remember, you know, there's sometimes castles, sometimes airships. We've had one castle, three airships. I love the sky in the background. It's a very beautiful color. Oh, this one has like a little Bowser in the front of it and everything. And we have the switch platforms. That is very dangerous. Gotta pay attention. I gotta go over here, jump again, and get it. It's so nerve wracking. Land on this Monty Mole, and we're good. Keep going, keep going. Boop, bop, and there we go. That'll be good for our second screen. I think that, I might be wrong. Oh, I might be wrong. The, the, the screen is trying to scroll. I thought that maybe there was a metal, or star metal up on top of the ship there. I guess I was wrong. Um, and what could this be? Just some extra coins, I suppose. Oh, that's a bob -omb. Ow, that was so rude. We're not re reacting that, to that in time, I guess. Oh, this is scary. I feel like I should go change to my Tanuki Leaf, but I also want to hold on to it just in case I die. Whoa, there it is. Oh, no, you stinker. Oh, oh, got it. Okay, now I have to survive. Oh, oh, ah, oh. Okay, be careful, be careful. I'm activating this, got it. And then I think before we go down there, we can go down here. Ooh, I was right. What do we got? We got a one up. Is that it? I believe so. It would have been great to get a second power up, but I guess this is all I have to work with, so we'll have to try our best not to get hurt by Boom Boom as we go through this. Huh, this is a different room. Oh, that's not Boom Boom, that's Pom Pom. Nice, I think this is actually the first game that Pom Pom was in. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. She's really cool though, I like her. She's a cool alternative to Boom Boom every once in a while. Oh, I landed on her shell there. Oh gosh, oh, I keep landing on it. Okay, she's a little dizzy. And then, whoa, whoa, okay, be careful. So there's an easier way to dodge her shell, I think, and that's just going to be running. <laughs> running as fast as we can. Keep going, Mario, just don't stop. As long as we don't stop, we should be fine. And then as soon as she throws that, oh no, just barely missed, that stinks. But we got her. So it ain't too big of a deal. Got a bunch of coins as well. So that actually turned out pretty well. Got to deal with Pom Pom instead of Boom Boom for once. And Pom Pom was just recently in our first ever Mario Party game, which was a uh, Super Mario Party for the Nintendo Switch. We played that one released. What is this? Just one coin? How much you wanna bet? I'm not gonna do it, but if you stand on that coin block, you could probably get something else out of a block above it. I'm not gonna risk it, because I'm already bad enough at this game as it is. I don't wanna mess anything up, but uh, luckily we got that. That was our 89th life, so if we can really get to 99 lives or above, we'll find out in 11 more lives. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So cool. Okay, so with that done, we get quite a lot of coins and we're done with world four. So technically we're halfway through. I mean, on the bottom screen, I can see worlds one through worlds eight. So you would think, halfway done, really quick game so far. 
Unless there's more, I guess we'll have to find out. But yeah, we got the flagpole and all three star medals for every single level in World 4, and it was a ton of fun. We are moving into World 5, past the halfway point of the game, it looks like. I mean, there's eight worlds, we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. And look at this, there's yet another level. I like all the, or not level, what am I talking about? There's yet another uh, letter. <laughs> I like all the constellations in the background, and oh no. <laughs> Princess Peach is being attacked by stacks of Goombas. This is not good, we gotta move quicker. We're going too slow, come on, keep moving, Mario. Dodge those little Monty Moles. All right, so yeah, let's move into World 5, which looks to be sort of a desert world. We got four, World 5-1 here, got some kind of mountain to climb, looks like fun. Okay, we have so many lives already. I don't know if the maximum is 99, but we'll find out soon enough at this rate. So I haven't played in a couple days, so I might be a little bit rusty, but I will try my best. Go ahead and throw that. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, these are all pokies that we can take care of. With the boomerang outfit, which I'm pretty sure this is new as of this episode, right? Yeah, the boomerang outfit is definitely new. I like this one a lot, it's pretty cool because it's sort of like the fire flower, but it always comes back to you, it gets thrown out in a straight line, so that's always useful. Is this the way I'm supposed to go, or is this a secret? I wanna guess this is a secret, so let's hop in. And, ooh, okay. Oh, I already see it up there. Oh, hold on, ooh, I thought I was gonna go right back down the pipe. That what I wanted. We gotta go up this way. There it is, and, go oh wait, I missed. <laughs> there it is, awesome. And do any of these have coins in them? Oh, this one does. You bet, okay, cool. Go back through the pipe, and things are going pretty well, okay. So we got a couple of Goombas, ooh, wait a minute, where were we before? I think we were just down here. I sorta of wanna backtrack, just in case. Also, if I could beat these up, they give me some free coins. I'm really gonna try to get to that. Uh, yeah, we were right down this way. Sorry for backtracking, but I just wanna make sure we don't miss any of the star medals, if I can help it. What are you doing? Yeah, get out of here! That was awesome, and he drops another boomerang power up that we'll just use, uh, or at least keep it in our bottom screen. Same thing with these Goombas. Ooh, that just barely got him, that was scary. Real scary. So we could go up there, but first, there's a little P switch. Oh, got the music notes. Okay, we're doing pretty well so far. Keep going, keep going. Whoa, where are you coming from? Was not expecting that. Yeah, we did it, and that got me a one up. Cool, we're at 90 lives now. The thing I'm worried about, though, is where is star metal number two? This is a little wonky, we made it. Oh my gosh, pretty stressful level so far. Ooh, how much you wanna bet? There's probably one on top of this guy or something. Oh, I already see the shadow for it, so you know what? I think that we can actually hit star medals with our boomerang and that will count, but also, no, I missed. <laughs> I'm definitely still used to the Tanuki leaf. And go for it, there it is. So that was uh, star medal number two. Oh no, not these guys again. You know, yeah, pop out of there. I'm gonna hit you with the boomerang. That's enough to take you down. You two, yeah, okay. We're actually doing pretty well so far though. Haven't taken any hits. Camera's a little weird around this area. Just trying to get a good look around. And I think we can go into this part of the mountain. Let's go ahead and get that checkpoint for sure. Oh no, 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 no. Be careful. So, oh, okay, this is a little bit of a gauntlet. We gotta be careful. I, I can only assume, I'm pretty sure I I do remember this. I've played this a little bit before, like, like I've said before. And I think, yeah, as we go up this little elevator of doom, just more and more things start dropping on it. I mean, it would make sense. It'd be weird if we're just like a vacant elevator. Got it. And coins. There we go, there's 91 lives. We really, really, it looks like, unless we have a really hard time with the level somewhere, probably should be able to reach 99 lives. Whoa, no, wait! Ah! <laughs> well, now I'm back to 90. Okay, so I'm back here now. I felt so silly doing that. Let's get some red coins. And what's weird about this game is that instead of having to get, oh gosh, eight red coins, all you have to do is get five of them. I can't, cannot believe I dodged that, and here it is. Whoa, whoa, wall jump Mario, wall jump Mario. Oh no, oh no, get back up there, no! Darn it, I probably should've just thrown the boomerang at it. I don't know why I'm being such a dingus. <laughs> I don't know, it's just my style, I guess. Okay, so I'm ready for this one, ready? There it is, yep, you can just hit it with the boomerang. Makes it much easier when you know that, so definitely good to keep in mind. I don't think that the fire flower fireballs do that at all, so it's really just a boomerang that has that feature. So yep, definitely good to keep in mind. I think if we were to throw like a projectile, maybe like a Koopa shell, maybe that would do it too. Oh gosh, we got the big one. Oh, I ran the wrong way. I thought it was gonna be a little bit slower than that, to be honest with you. Oh my, oh my. Oh, we gotta get out of here. We only have 197 seconds. Uh, I think that might be plenty of time. We have all three star medals as well, so I should be okay, excuse me, pardon me. I do have another boomerang, but I would like to keep it just in case I get hit again. 
And let's go into here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, this is tough. Right here. Oh no, yeah, we got it. Okay, awesome. <laughs> really worried I'd have to do that level again to get that, that uh, top of the flagpole, but luckily, that's not the case. So, as you can see, we're doing pretty well. I mean, we, I mean, I did get caught up in that one spot, but it's fine, it's fine. First level world five is completed. We get a little star, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I guess you guys can't see the bottom screen, but uh, tap the world tabs on the touch screen to go back to worlds you visited before. Yep, but we don't have to worry about that. Over this way, we have world five too. Um, looks like a labyrinth kind of level. That shouldn't be so bad. Well, I guess we'll find out. Hopefully I don't lose on 92 of my lives. Ooh, this one's like top down. Okay, very cool. Can I go on top of them? Uh, sometimes slide jumping, you know what? It's because I'm not running. There it is. Yeah, you can go on top of them, cool. So let me go ahead now and use the boomerang. I think that'd be a good idea. I don't trust these guys, uh, but I'll try it. There it is, it goes through both of them too, so that's pretty cool. So we got that going on. Hmm. Whoa, watch it, buddy. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Oh, I missed a coin, oh well. Which way do we wanna go? Looks like there's more than one way. Can we get up here? Ooh, look at that, star coin number one, hidden up there, that's pretty cool. And boop. Oh, I see, so this door is locked. I, I'm guessing that you have to light up these torches. So we need to find a fire flower. Don't know where we're gonna get that. Hopefully somewhere around here. I'm gonna be a little bummed out there isn't a fire flower in the level. I've hit all the question blocks so far. Haven't gotten much of anything yet, except for coins, but. That is a bit concerning. Uh, for now, let's bounce off of this thing, wee! Whoa! Okay, I made it over there just fine. Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna get hit. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Whoops, I'm not doing so well here. Where in the world might I be able to get? Oh, I see, I definitely need to get up here. I don't like the look of that question block, though, because that means I'm gonna be teleported away. I don't know if that's going to be where I'm supposed to go or if that's where the prize is, or at least you know, like a star medal. I think this is probably the secret. Whoa, what is over this way? I feel like I'm just being brought all over the place. It really is like a labyrinth. Can I kick this into you? Oh, I went right over your head. There's gotta be something, oh gosh, coming up, and I didn't mean the lava, okay? Where are we going? Was this the right way the entire time? This one's like a maze. No way, I'm at the end of the level. That's not what I wanted. Can I go back? I can, I don't know how well that's gonna work for me. No, 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 be careful. Ooh, these guys are chasing me, I don't like it. Ah, no, no. This level's really tough. I might really lose all 91 of my lives. So I'll try this really quick and see where this brings me. I mean, hopefully somewhere good then. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is a little challenge then. Oh, I see. Um, well, this is interesting, but I don't think it's gonna get me a star medal. Okay, weird. So I know which way to go to end the level, but I do not know which way to go to get a fire flower. It will really stink. Oh, here we go. This wasn't here before, though. Can I get a fire flower? I can't even get under it. Nope, I get a mushroom. That sort of stinks. Not what I'm looking for. There we go. Just trying to time this well. Oh, there we go. There's star coin number three, but once again, no fire flower. I might have to leave the level and come back, which would be a definitely, definitely a pain in the butt, but I don't really have too many other options at the moment now, do I? Let's check this out. Nope, that's just a coin. And nothing in that one, yikes. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that didn't have a, have a fire flower in it. I probably didn't, but you never know. Okay, so this part's really tough because just as one is raising, the other is lowering, and then these spines are chasing us onto it. Oh no, maybe they can't get on. Ooh, move it, move it, watch it. Let's try this again. Will it actually hit him? Nope, <laughs> it missed again. So unfortunately, no fire flower for us. I'll have to go and find one and come back, which is a really tough situation. All right. Oh, oh and that didn't even get it. Oh no. So I gotta do a bunch of stuff over there. This might be the first really tough level of the game so far. It's a bit concerning. Well, at least we're out here. Uh. <laughs> So that's gonna lead to level three, which I won't quite hop into just yet. I will hop back in there, there, into there and see if I can't find a way to get that star coin. 
Okay, so I have a fire flower now. I have to, oh, I was about to land on that fire. I gotta be very careful not to get hit now, because if I get hit, I'm gonna have to go and do it again, because I only got one of them. I really don't like levels. Now, I've talked about this in my new Super Mario Bros. series. Oh gosh, oh gosh, be careful. Ooh, no. Ooh. Is that I really don't like levels that have a star coin or a star metal, where you have to get a power up that is not in that level to actually activate it. To me, that's total baloney. I don't think it really should work that way, but it seems that it does. Okay, got that, and got it. Okay, not bad. Ooh, and it makes a little Zelda jingle. Interesting. And we get some extra time, and more importantly, we get that second star medal. So now I need to complete the level and also get myself the, what's it called? I need to be able to get myself the golden flagpole, so hopefully that ends up working out. For now, we can get this checkpoint, and I'm gonna dodge most things, whatever I can, really, because I just wanna be able to deal with getting out of this level. We've done everything else, all I really should have to worry about is leaving. So that was a bit of a tough one. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Whoop. And then jump over, go to the right, and things are looking a little bit better now. And I can take care of these spinies, which will make this level not as much of a stretch, at least this area of the level, because I can wait for this lava, and then let that one come over, and then move again. Got it, and got it, not bad. Okay, so we're doing pretty well. So let's hope that we can figure this out. So I think I actually have to do a normal jump? No, you don't. So long jumping doesn't work there, normal jumping doesn't work there. Does that mean I have to go into this level a third time with a Tanuki leaf? Really? <laughs> It's not exactly necessary, I don't think so. But we did end the level with uh, the clock being at 366, which means we should be able to get an item here because both the second digits were the same number. Well, sometimes that happens. I guess we just get balloons here and new Super Mario Bros to get a free item. So I gotta do it again with the Tanuki leave because we're both long jumping and other thing wasn't working, so I guess I need one. That totally stinks. I feel like there was a world where maybe I had a mushroom hut I didn't go in, but I'm not finding it, so I guess not. I feel like maybe I didn't run when I did my normal jump, so maybe that was the problem, and maybe I don't need a Tanuki leaf, but I'm gonna use one anyways. Boom, there we go. It's easy, and that was actually our 99th life, because I got some extra lives earning up those power-ups again. So that was pretty cool. As you can see, our course is clear. And along with it, we get some extra coins there, and there's another one up, so we're gonna see if we go over 100 lives or not, I don't really know, so this will definitely be a learning experience for the both of us. What happens? We're at 100, okay, so that means we have plenty more lives to gain as we head into this mystery level. Ooh, need 40 star medals to do it. We have 75, so it's no problemo for us. Oh my, that looks difficult. <laughs> Okay, I'm a bit concerned, but we're going into World 5-3. It's been a tough episode so far. These levels have not been easy. So let's see if these 100 lives come to you or come into use here. Let's go ahead and, yeah, land on his backside. I feel like that'll be a little bit more easy to take him out that way instead of the spiky side. This is already really stressful. We got all these moving platforms and these donut platforms that'll disappear if you stand on them for too long. Whoa! Okay, is there anything over this way though? Will this launch me up? I guess not! Whoa! Okay, be careful. Be very careful. Oh, okay, just hitting with the Tanuki tail also works. So that's good. Can I get a power up out of this one? Oh, I get the boomerang. That might be useful. I mean, I feel like I would rather t the Tanuki because it's a little bit more useful in that way. It's just like you can just float in the air, and that's really nice, and I think that we'll probably end up needing that. I'm looking around for our first star medal. I'm not really seeing it. Hmm, that has me concerned. I mean, I'm looking around a lot. I don't like the sign of that. Maybe I did miss the first one. Could it possibly be up here? Because I know it's possible to I don't know, it's not easy for me to do because I'm really bad with the 2DS, but I don't know. I'm still mastering the art of, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, that was the first Star Metal, surprise, surprise. Um, I'm still mastering the, mastering the art of playing with the 2DS, but also looking at the screen, so I sort of you know have to play DS games a little bit differently than you might expect because of, the, no, wait, I don't want that, I don't want that. I'm sorry, I love the Fire Flower, but it's just not gonna work with what I currently have set up. I really wanna keep what I have, so I don't think there's anything down there. Anyways. When it comes to playing a normal DS game, it, you know, it makes simple sense. Just look at the DS and play. But when I'm recording it, I have it connected to my computer. It's like this very, you know, complicated thing. 
and it's actually just playing on my monitor. So I'm playing the DS, but I'm looking at the monitor, and it just, I'm not used to playing DS games like that. I'm used to playing other games like that, but I don't know, with the DS is a little weird. Anyways, boom, slamming down this way. We got two out of the three star medals. And I don't think that they'll make it so that I've missed one, so we'll just keep moving forward. Ooh, gotta be careful. Got all these spinning spike ball things. I don't like it one bit. Ooh, there it is. Okay, oh, will I make it though? I will, that was way more below than I had realized because it was just not really, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, gotta pay a lot of attention to Mario's shadow because it's really hard to tell like distance when there's no, like I said, like environmental context clues, like, you know, floor. Right now it's just a bunch of clouds. And then finally, we stand right here and, whoa, we got a level done on the first try. It's a miracle. Look at that. So a golden flagpole as well, so we don't have to redo this level whatsoever. That's a little refreshing, I gotta say. So, we get a couple more coins right there. So hopefully we can earn our 101st life soon. Well, we're saving up and moving on to level five, four. It is, oh, look at those big old Monty Malls. This looks like it could be a fun level. Oh, we already earned up our 101st life, we're at 102 now. So now we gotta try to earn up 999, right? That's gonna be a little bit more challenging. What can we do against you guys? Oh, we can beat you up, no problem. Yeah, okay, oh no, they get all, no, hey, hey, stop it. I can't believe he got me there. That was just me being not so good. But if we butt slam on them, they get taken out in one hit, so keep that in mind. And, oh, what is under here? Uh, not much. This is a normal size Monty Mole. Oh, got him, okay. This is a weird level so far. But I'm, I'm gonna do what I can. What secret could be over this way? I'm looking for secrets and I feel like I'm just normally moving through the level, because I do see a star coin over that way as well. Star metal, you know I get that mixed up quite often. Oh, I see what I gotta do here. This is like a little bit of a stealth mission. I'm supposed to hide between like the, the gaps in the wall, but I'd much rather, oh that bounced between them. I'd much rather just do that. So, I do see a way to get up here if I can. Hmm. That's not easy. I don't know if I can get up there. Maybe there's another way. Maybe that's the exit and not the entrance. Oh, I got a mushroom out of that for some reason. Aha, maybe, oh wait, and I missed another one over this way. I am missing a bunch of stuff right now. This is like a giant, like, ant farm. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you know what, I can definitely get up there though. Just do that. There we go, use some wall jumping to my advantage, get the first star metal that way. Oh gosh, oh, I just barely got him as well. So the second star metal is definitely over here. Let me get rid of him first. What else is up here, by the way? Okay, it looks like it's just an exit back to like a normal area after that. So I want to, there we go. This is working out a little bit better now. So I could hop back down that way, but ooh. You know what, I'll take that fire flower, we'll put the boomerang back in our second slot. That'll be pretty good, better than a mushroom. And doop, there we go. Is there anything else up here? Oh, hey, look at that, that was pretty cool. Oh, it's time though, so let's grab these quickly. Awesome. And, butt slam. Whoa, we're moving. <laughs> that must have hurt. Oh gosh, watch it, watch it, watch it, we got him. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Is there any more coins in this? There was a couple more. Hmm. Oh, look at these guys. Yeah, getting those guys out of here. So is that the way we're supposed to go through this level? No, that's the normal exit. So if I go down this pipe, there's probably something, right? Oh, I do see. I think that there might be, I mean, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, okay, for a second, you can sometimes see the shadow of things, and I guess the shadow of the clock is like the same size as the shadow of a star metal, so thought that I might have made a cool find there, but not quite yet. I don't want that fire flower, I already got one, don't need two. So I'm still looking for the third star metal, I'm sure it'll pop up sooner or later. All right, got him. Whoa, whoa watch it, buddy. There it is. We just go, oh gosh, watch out, oh, that's not fair. How am I supposed to know where they're gonna pop up? Okay, ready for this? Oh, you know what, we could probably get something cool going on, oh, if I wasn't bad. Oh no, who don't want him to take us out. You know, let's just go ahead and grab a boomerang real fast before I do anything more silly, if that's even possible. So there's gotta be a way to get down that way, for sure. Oh, it's definitely this way then. Okay, finish him off. There it is, get a couple more coins. Ooh, close. So let's grab this star metal, that's the third and final one, so all we gotta do is finish the level of the golden flagpole and we will be good. Give this thing a little kick. 
Grab some extra time. 100 extra seconds will definitely do us some good stuff. Oh no. Whoop. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> Come on, Mario. You can do it. That's it. And then we have a couple of pipes to choose from. It's a little bit of a maze. I don't know if I like this very much. Well, what is this gonna give me? <laughs> Whoa, where'd it go? No! Oh, hey, they gave me a one-up. Never mind. <laughs> Thought that was a bad thing. Turned out being a good thing. Uh, so that wasn't right. I'm gonna run out of time here if I'm not careful. So those two just don't bring me anywhere I need to be. What about this one on the far left? Brings me right there. So it has to be this one. Yeah, there it is, awesome. So what, what is going on around here? Let's take a quick look. I do like how there's sort of a little explorable area at the end of each level. I mean, there's usually not too much here, as you can see. And I'm guessing that my the idea is to bounce off of him, land up here, and I guess just long jump? Yeah, that worked, awesome. I was a little worried that long jumping wouldn't do the trick, but it did the trick, so we don't have to worry about it. And there we go, course clear. So, doing okay so far. 106 lives, got that level done in the first try, even though it was a little bit tricky. We have a mushroom hut coming up, it looks like. And then after that, a level, and then probably the castle, something like that. Okay, so, taking a look at this one. I actually, I, I don't need an item just yet, so I don't know if I should take that. Maybe we'll move on to World 5-5 then. All right, so I see some giant Goombas here. That might be a bit of a bad sign, but I'm excited to take on the challenge. Let's to go indeed. Okay, so, oh, I got my boomerang. Will definitely help against this big dude. One hit takedown, no matter how big they are, they still fall to a boomerang. Okay, ooh, we got one of these. I love these things. Oh, and I love the windmills down below. Those look really cool. And can we bounce off these clouds? Not quite, but I can at least use them as little platforms. Whoop, going up. Oh, we got some bitty buds I can land on. Oh no, trying to land on each one. Uh, no, that was dumb of me. Okay, never mind. I wanna get a one up that way, but it's a lot harder to do platforming in this game in my opinion. This one can be a bit challenging at times. It, it's also very easy in the same way. It, it's just weird, but I do like it. So you know what? No matter what, I'm having a good time. And look at that, that was super cool. 112 lives now. Got a couple one ups from that one. Whoa. Um, I wanted to see what these are. We got another one just in case we need it. And there we go, got some coins. Whoop. Okay. Whoa, jumping really high. Was not expecting that. I gotta be careful. I still don't know where the first star medal is. Once again, it's so weird that they're so big. Oh, but they get hit or taken out in one hit. And there was a first star medal. There's another one of those things if I need it. Right now, all I need is some more coins. Got it. Oh, I already see the flagpole in the distance. Did you guys see that? Uh, oh, not really showing it to me now. But in the distance, you could already see the flagpole, which we shouldn't have too much of a problem getting, I hope. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, as long as we have this propeller helmet. I still love this power very much. Where am I going? Uh, oh, up this way. That was weird, it just like wasn't showing me. Whoop. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. The goal is over this way, of course. But, is there any kind of star metal I can get? Is that a toad? That is a toad. Hi, toad. Where are you going? Uh, he's going somewhere. Whoa, watch it. Hold on tight, buddy. Okay, there's a star metal as well. He is just falling and falling. Oh, I forgot. Whoa, I don't have to use the motion controls to do that. He's just falling all the way down to it. <laughs> I was having a good time watching him. Wait, oh no, he missed. No, he didn't. Okay, I thought he was gonna keep falling. He made it, good job, good job. So, that is very awesome to see that he made it. Hopefully we can do the same, but land on the tippity top of the flagpole. So I know where one of the star medals are. Have to keep our eye out for the other one. Oh, wait, is this it? Or is this the one I saw? Oh no. Oh gosh, I missed, I missed, I missed. This might have been the one we saw. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, really? Ah, it's a little wonky, but I'll figure it out, don't you worry. So let's try to go back over this way. And, no, that wasn't it. Was this it? There it is. It'd be weird if they didn't give it to me anymore. So all I need to do is go like that, grab it, float this way, and then go this way instead, because I'm a little curious as to what is over here. Uh, not too much. Oh no, 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 no. Bad news, bad news, we're fine. Oh, oh no, whoa, I didn't make it. That was weird. There it is. So yeah, that was the one star coin I saw. So that's good, but also a little worrying 
because I don't know where the third one is. I don't think it had anything to do with the, uh, ooh, here we go. That'll make this a lot more useful. Oh, maybe it has something to do with this. Very likely. Huh. What is up this way? I mean, this is where the little toad was. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this, press this button, and... Oh, we gotta go through all these rings. You got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Booty slam through them. No, oh, maybe it was a bad idea. No, I can't stop. I can't stop. No, I didn't know they were going down at an angle. Ah, once you start booty slamming, it just won't let you stop at all. That's weird. <laughs> that is super duper weird. All right, well, back at it again, I suppose. All right, let's give this a second try, shall we? Okay, that's good, that's good. Now let's just keep trying to land in them. This is going a little bit better. Just no booty slamming this time. And we will keep trying to look for that. Oh, I do see the final star metal spinning around up there. Or down there, I guess. Okay, ready, set, boom. Oh, look at this. Now this doesn't have anything to do. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ooh. Oh no, I missed one. Oh, I missed two. Never mind. couldn't do it. That's fine. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that, should I? Ooh, there it is, there it is. Ooh, go for it. Okay, I'm way above it. I should be able to just grab it, no problem. And then maybe I can even, oh, I can't land back on the button, but I can land here. Ooh, I don't trust it. I'm trying my best, though. I do see a lot of pair of bitty buds. Okay. Oh boy. Keep going this way. And once my shadow is over it, I know I'm safe. So this is where things can get a little troublesome, but we should be okay. Boing, and yep, there we go, awesome. So, we made it happen, we got through the level, all three star coins and the flagpole. Definitely not an easy level, but with all of that wrapped up, I think we are good to go and take on the castle. Hopefully everything is gonna be not as difficult in there, but it probably will be. This is our first castle in a little while. Of course, we've been taking on, don't, don't forget to take a break before you feel tired. I know, don't worry. But, oh, we need 50 star coins to even get into it but we've been doing a lot of airships recently, so it's refreshing to see another castle. Ooh, scary. All right, so who are we gonna deal with in here? Maybe another Bowser imposter like the first world? I guess we'll have to find out. But we have 113 lives to deal with the Bowser's laughing maniacally. I love this little opening. So intense, and then the doors slam shut. You're not getting out here, Mario. That's at least what Bowser wants to think. All right, I already see a Dry Bones. I think this is our first time seeing Dry Bones in this game. That's pretty cool. And not really getting too much in terms of power-ups. But hey, I should be fine with what I have as long as I don't make any mistakes. I don't have anything. Okay, I guess we'll have this for now. Even though it might be smarter. Whoa, to have, oh my gosh. The, uh, the Tanooki leaf so that we can dodge this lava. For right now, I will keep with this and we'll see how it works out. Oh, these little dragon guys are so cute. And there's probably gonna be our first star metal up on top of these thwomps. So I'll check that out in just a second. Just wanna get a couple more coins from that. And, oh, I already see it. So, how do I do this again? Like that, okay, that wasn't quite high enough. But if I go like this, I should be able to wall jump in between them, grab this one, and we are A-OK. -okay. So it doesn't look like there's any way to get on top of this one, which is a shame. Whoa, whoa, watch it. But there's star coin number two. So this is where I'm tempted just to get the uh, Tanooki leaf because I feel like it'd be a little bit easier. Okay, if we get this, we should get another one up. Got it. Got it, whoa, watch it, dry bones. Whoa, low jump over this way, and we got it, not bad. I don't like how they don't drop right on top of you. And let's take a look through the goggles. Is there a toad in here? There's two of them, Oh. Oh no. And we're supposed to be going all the way up there as per usual. Wait, were they calling me or was another another toad calling me? Well, let's take an extra second to look around for that last star coin, star metal. I don't see it anywhere, which is a tad bit concerning. I mean, maybe they have it. I don't know, we'll have to look around for right now. Let's go ahead and get that halfway checkpoint. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Is it up here? It's not, these are just normal coins, which are useful, <laughs> but not what I'm looking for. Oh, it's right here. Okay, actually, that's not so bad if I don't land in the lava. Oh, gosh, whoa. No! I can't believe trying to rebalance. 
And it just wasn't working, he was slipping all over the place. Okay, that really shouldn't be that bad to get back to though, so I'm just gonna run on over and then jump like that. See, that isn't so tough to do when you're not being a dingus. Whoa, that was pretty cool though. Okay, so I need to jump over this way, yeah, just like that. I wanna break some of these and see if I can't get power up out of it. At least a couple of coins are my life back, that's good. So it looks like these platforms get higher and higher up in the air. So I'll grab these few for right now. And then we can just jump over all this without it being too much of a problem. Uh-oh! Look who we have to deal with, it's Bowser. So let's see if I can't complete this one without having to use the Snook Leaf. Like maybe I can even find, oh, uh, okay, a one-up's good, but not really what I, I meant. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not playing so well today. That's not what I meant to do, I promise. Okay, let me try this again. This time, don't be silly. Uh, let's go ahead and boop. That didn't do too much. Keep going, keep going. Long jump over. One of these has to have a, have a power up, right? I mean, I can't risk trying all of them, so I'll just do what I can. And where's Bowser at? Oh, 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 is that his shadow? That is his shadow. Go right around him. Okay, so far so good. Oh, he's destroying all those pillars. Whoa! He really does have some good jumping skills. Whoa, whoa. He's gotta jump sometime soon. Okay, yeah. No, what? I thought I got right past him there. That's sort of baloney! Whoa, press the button! Yeah, we did it! Didn't need no Tanooki Leaf. <laughs> His Tanooki Leaf has spikes on it. Sort of creepy. <laughs> he burned his butt once again, but it's not. Oh, okay, so it's not a Goomba this time, it was Kamek. That's pretty sneaky. Alrighty, so what is going on with these little toads over this way? Are you guys okay? Looks like you're just fine. <laughs> they don't have anything for me, unfortunately, but that's fine. Go ahead and get that Tanooki Leaf. I'm gonna need it just in case we have a, tra uh, have a problem, blah, uh, getting this up here. I don't think we will, but it's always worth, you know, just making sure. So, go for it. And boom. So that, that should be it. We've gotten all three star medals and every single golden flagpole on every single level in World 5. So that is one more castle down. And one more world down. Only got a couple more left to go before we hopefully save Princess Peach. It's been going pretty decent so far. But there we go, there's the path leading to world six. Game is saving, save complete. And it looks like it won't give me the star unless I go and complete the Mushroom Hut, which I think is a little bit baloney because I don't wanna use it until I need it, but the game sort of forces you to. So anyways, we'll go on in and just get an extra item for our bottom screen so we don't have any right now. We get a boomerang, yeah! Well, I mean, I guess that'll move the Tanooki Leaf down this way. Well, thank you, Toad. I do appreciate it. So there we go. Now, technically, World 5 should be completed. It should give us a little star on the bottom screen. Let me make extra sure. Yep, okay, so we have a star for every single world so far that we've uh, gone through. So yeah, we're gonna be doing the same in World 6 right over this way. Hopefully everything turns out okay. Mario is still running through. I don't know why all these transitions are during the night. I guess during the day he's completing the levels and during the night, oh, he's expecting it. He doesn't know where it is. Oh, there it is. What does it say this time? Oh, look at her, she's fighting back. Oh, she got a one-up. I guess Mar not only Mario can get a one-up, but Princess Peach can as well. It was Goomba's mess with the wrong princess. I love it. All right, he is so elated about it. He is in such a good mood. I love it. Alrighty, so, ooh, look at this place. It is very sunny. It looks like we're up in the clouds because it's World 6, uh, and we're doing World 6-1 with Cheep Cheeps, which is sort of bringing my mood down a little bit. These guys are always tough when they're jumping over the bridge like this. All right, let's see how this ends up working out. Can I, rock, can I jump on these rocks? Oh, I can, and doing so is good because there's a star coin waiting for us. Oh, this level gives me Mario Galaxy vibes. I like it. I really want to play that game again sometime soon. Okay, woohoo, watch it. Okay, we gotta be very careful here. I'm gonna grab that, and oh, definitely throw as many fireballs as I can, because I saw some unfriendly fish fiends coming at us there. Also, I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of my Tanooki Leaf. Hopefully that won't be a big mistake. Okay, be careful. Okay, Leo, let's definitely jump off of these guys while I have the chance. Oh, nice, we get a one up forward too. I like it. So we're doing pretty well through this level so far. Now I probably, if I can, uh, it doesn't look like I can get up there. I was trying though, did pretty good. Whoa, get out of here. I wanna actually, hold on. Oh, I missed, whatever. Those guys are like my biggest enemy. They're always trying to get me in every Mario game I play and I'm having none of it. 
Okay, so let's go down this pipe first, and then we'll take a look at that cannon afterwards. Ooh, my other biggest nemesis in Mario games got the bloopers over there. I don't like it one bit. Okay, let me get the red coins first, and I'll go back through. Oh no, I missed one. Oh no. Can I can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? I can! Nice! Come on, come on. Got it. And excuse me. Oh, did you really get me there? See, this is why they're my biggest enemy of all time. Forever. And there it is. So I could go ahead and get the, the, the golden rings, but honestly, if I could just make my way through right now, that's all I'm really looking for. Um. So yeah, okay, we're just right over here. So actually, yeah, like I said, I need to go check out the, the, the goggles. I don't want to miss out on the star coin because we ran into that, into that before where sometimes, okay, it's right up there. Sometimes the toads won't actually give you the star coin unless you actually look at them through the goggles. So that can be a little bit scary to miss out on. But we know where it is. It was on top of one of those ropes. Oh boy. So getting up there might be a bit of a challenge, but I think what we gotta do is that and then, yeah, perfect. Got it. Very good. And then if we switch to the boomerang, I'm a little worried too because of this big dude. Okay. We can get those cacti, which don't really do too much for us. Is he gonna come back around? I guess not. Oh, wherever there's these, oh no! Watch it! Oh my gosh, that was scary. I don't like that one bit. Okay, what about this then? Oh no. Oh no! Really? That's not a good start. Oh man, I hate it when we have to do that. We have to replay the level, but this time we obviously need a Tanuki Leaf. There's no way you can do that without the Tanuki Leaf, so that's really, really tough. I mean, I get the star for it still, but that doesn't really matter. Like, there's a star on each level. Like, I mean, not technically a star, but you get a little star marker on each level in the world map. Anyways, I still gotta get the golden flagpole, so I'll be right back after I get a Tanuki Leaf real fast. Okay, so I'm finally here. I still have to be very, very careful because it's very possible if I don't time this right, this big fish is gonna hit me, which I do not like. Oh, we got it, nice, okay, not too bad. We finally made it work, and as you can see, we got that golden flagpole. So I'm back down to having no items on my bottom screen. That's fine, hopefully this next level won't be so bad and we can get something out of it, that'd be pretty good. So yeah, let's move on to World 6-2 and see what ends up happening there. Save complete, very good. And this is like a cool pyramid. I love the variety of environments you're getting. It's not like just like, oh, this is all desert levels in this world. It's, hey, you're gonna get a desert level, you're gonna get a nice little beach level, and then after this, you're gonna get a scary ghost mansion, I think it was. So you get a, like a good variety, it makes it really refreshing. Cause that's not how the new Super Mario Bros. games work, or even the classic Mario games. Even then, back then it was a little bit, you know, different just because it was like sort of the first of its kind, the, the, the first, I mean, I guess really Mario 1, it's hard to tell what environment you really were in, it was sort of simple. But Mario 3, that's really when you went from world to world and went to different environments that were like sort of the same in each one, if that makes sense. I'll definitely have to play Mario 3 at some point. But this game obviously being Mario 3D Land is a lot inspired by Mario 3. Like, let's go through here. Oh wait, got more to beat up. Ooh, look at this, boom! We get star coin number two. And then going over this way. Whoa, 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 hold on, not what I wanted. <laughs> Very hard to tell where I am. Okay, almost there, almost there. Can't get up there, darn it. This is not going so well right now. Ready, and there we go. See, that wasn't as difficult as it made it out to be. And here's our halfway point. Let's let these spikes do their spiky thing. I'm gonna try to just, okay, I'm just gonna make my way back real quick. I wanted to try to get that, whatever this is. Oh, I beat him! I didn't know you could beat him like that. Going up. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Oh, I see. It looks like there's something to the left and to the right. Well, let's check out this for now. And there we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run away. Run away. Ah! Keep going. Okay, so let's go ahead and... That didn't give me any power-ups, unfortunately. That's what I'm looking for right now, is some power-ups. Oh. oh, what do we get? What do we get? We get another leaf. Awesome, so I have one for my bottom screen now. That's what I was looking for. Perfect. So, I'm gonna run away, or run around real fast. Get across like this. Got a red coin, another red coin. Third one right here. Get this one fast, oh boy, and boom, get a one up out of it. 125 now, so already a quarter to the way to 200. That's pretty cool. You know, starting from 100, that is. Oh, do I have to do what I think I gotta do here? Oh, no, okay. I'd thought that maybe I had to hit that so that I could actually get 
I mean, I still might have to. I don't want to be that bad to do. If I could, am I on top? I am, but it's actually very hard to see where I am. Yeah, we got it. That was a little scary, I gotta be honest, but we made it work. Super duper awesome. So that level all done in the first try. Beautiful stuff. And now, what do we got going on with the pyramid complete? Like I said, the ghost mansion. I saw the little corner of it. Save complete, very cool. So level six, three, we got some spooky booze. Probably gonna attack us in one way or another. 127 lives to deal with it though. Oh, the creepy door shutting, the booze laughing. Oh, okay. I do remember this one. It's super cool. So if we stand here, the platform will teleport us around behind these paintings, like Mario 64 style. And I guess we gotta go to each one. Just sort of take a look around. So I'll try to look for a star medal in each one, of course. Oh, there it is already. There's star medal number one. Then what could be up here? Looks like a bunch of nothing. All right. Then I don't think there's too much else. This is cool, this is like a giant piano, you know? Okay, so let's wait for the platform to come back around. And let's try this room now. Ooh, there is the star coin. Okay, that's a little bit confusing. This is one of the ones that requires 3D to really figure out. Because as you can see, I can't get up here. Oh, now I can. I'm gonna try to avoid the blocks. Oh, it's back there now? Oh wait, come on, come on, come on. I can't, <laughs> it's over here. Wait, yeah, I got it. <laughs> How weird was that? Where does this one bring me? Up this way. And what about this one? Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Huh. Then it must be that one in the corner. If I can even get over there. Looks like I can. Okay, we figured it out. So star coin or star metal number three is what we're looking for now. Let's stand back here. Haven't seen really any booze at all. <laughs> Maybe, we'll, well yeah, we'll probably find some in this level then. Okay, this looks like it could be tricky. I'm not really sure what's with that right there. Hmm. Let's just take a look at things how they are at the moment. We got this moving bookshelf. Oh gosh, don't move too soon. Where am I? I'm right here. Oh, look at this. Oh, that is so sneaky. I like it. Um, whoa, hold on, hold on. No, I don't want that. I wanna keep with my uh, my tanuki leaves for right now. And this boo is chasing me, which is a little uncomfortable. I'm just worried that I might have missed out on the star medal. Maybe I, I went the, the, the way to end the level right now. I mean, to me, this looked pretty sneaky as if it was a secret, but it's going on for a while now. So maybe that's not the case. Maybe this really is the end of the level we're coming up on. Got some extra time up here. Whoa, whoa, big boo. No, I missed, I didn't mean to miss. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yikes. Oh, it was up here the whole time. Well, that's super easy. There we go, we got that. And moving over this way. Let's take a look. So this this time I can actually continue forward with this without too much of a worry. Do have to be careful if I wanna keep that fire flower. Okay, that was dumb. Hold on. Can you just stay over there for a second, please, so I can get this? It's all I wanted. So I'm back down to not really having any other secondary items, which is never a comfortable thing. Okay. Looks like I can either wall jump up. I just gotta be careful no matter what. Bit of a tough one to do. So I just need to be super careful with all of this. I can get some extra time if I want to. That'll give me at least some extra coins by the end of the level. And this time, if I'm gonna jump over the big boo, which is fine. Whoa, whoa, hold on. That really is messing me up here. There we go. Jump over him and we're fine. We are totally fine. And we still have our Tanuki Leaf, so hopefully we can figure something out here. Oh, I see. Go, yeah, there we go. So that one would have been able to do without the Tanuki Leaf. But luckily, we still had it, which is awesome. Yeah, course clear. So, with that one done, as you can see, Oh, we almost get a one-up at all that extra time. Very cool, three levels down, a couple more to go, but first off, we got ourselves a little mystery block, so we'll take that on first. This is World Six Mystery Block, surprise, surprise. And I do see another level coming up after that. Okay, so for this one, got some Goombas to take down, which actually should be pretty easy just to do that, and boom, we get a Star Metal out of it. Very cool, and a one-up, of course, so in the last couple of seconds, let's go ahead and grab all those coins. We are good. So. As you can see, there's another one. Moving over this way. Hold on, yep, there you go, saved. We have 
This level is 6-4. And then after this is another mystery level, whatever that'll be. But yeah, after this, this should be, if we get, oh my. Oh, this is timing. That's not gonna be easy. I like it though. But um, like I said before, uh, if we get all three star coins in this level, we'll have 100 in total, which is pretty cool. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh gosh, whoa, watch it, buddy. So we gotta hit those guys with our tail twice to get rid of them. And there's another Tanuki Leaf. I will gladly grab that. This level honestly reminds me a lot of Mario Galaxy, which is cool. I mean, I know, was it earlier this episode that we had another level that gave us Galaxy vibes? I really like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just taking a look around. Honestly, I could just use you, and look at that. Very easily get across that one. I have to be careful when doing that, though. Oh, here's another one. Get up here, grab sour metal number two. So we're actually doing pretty well through this level. This one isn't so bad. And what else is going on around here? I'm gonna long jump like that. We got a couple red coins, a couple more, and last one right here. There we go. So, I love this song too. Like how it, it, it's just really cool. Oh, and there it is. That was totally by accident. I was just trying to get over everything. That turned out really well. Whoa, watch it. There it is. Okay, so we got this little seesaw that I gotta be careful of now. Oh, I don't like this one. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I didn't even need it, but I could have, and that's always gonna be prepared for it. One, two, and three. Oh, we made it, okay. Okay, now I definitely need this one because this one's gonna lead to the flagpole, yep. And got it, not bad. All righty, so as you can see, we got another level done. That one was a breeze. I want more like this one, <laughs> that's for sure. Okie doke, so. With that one done, looks like we are moving on to the next level, which surely will have something going on with it. Save complete, very nice. This is level 6-5, I mean 60 star coins, that's fine, because we have 100 in total. It looks like we're dealing with another airship in this episode as well. But for right now, we got this one. Ooh, that one looks tough, those giant ice blocks, they won't be easy to deal with. Any kind of slippery ice physics in Mario are usually a bit of a struggle. But we'll make it work, I'm sure of it. We've been doing really well in today's episode. I wanna keep it going that way. Boing, bounce up here. Got it. So, so far this doesn't look so bad. I mean, we're just getting into it though, so you never know. We'll get those coins, there we go. I really wanna see how close we can get to 99 lives before the end of the series. I mean, not 99, 999. I'm guessing that we won't get all the way to 999, but I wanna see how close. Oh, there's another one. Don't actually need it, which is a good sign. Hmm. Oh, I do see you under there. I saw that shadow. Very important that you pay attention to the shadows in this game, because they tell you a lot about what the environment is around you. Because this game's all about like different kind of, almost illusions and stuff. So it's always just good to be on top of that. Okay, so what is going on with all of this? Because it looked like there was sort of kind of something up there. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I may have been wrong. Okay, so let's get back without falling to our doom. Very good. And then bounce up this. Definitely get that halfway point. I still think that maybe something could be up here. I'm not having an easy time wall jumping now. Yeah, it's not on me. Oh, I guess I can't wall jump up ice blocks, which is weird. Let's hope there was no star coin up there. Boing. Hold on, I'm not getting these coins very well. There we go. And I do see this Goomba, we got him, no problem. I'm a little suspicious, I feel like I've missed a star medal. I just don't know where. I mean, I tried to look through pretty thoroughly, and it wasn't too long ago that we got our first one, but that's just the feeling I have. Whoa, we got it. I mean, maybe I could be wrong. I'm very often wrong about those kind of things, but you just never know. Usually you don't know until it's too late and you gotta do the level over. Okay, yeah, definitely up here. Is the star medal number three or number two? It's number two, that's a, that's a good thing. Means we didn't miss number two. Okay, well actually, okay. Whoa, I was gonna say we're doing really well. No, no, no! I couldn't jump high enough to get where I was trying to go. I guess I should've just wall jumped off the donut platform. Oh no, luckily I have another one of these, but I'm gonna have to do all that again. 
It shouldn't be too big of a deal though. Bounce up here. Definitely, if I can, get all these. I guess I should have kept my Tanuki Leaf where it was so that this could have given me another one. That would have been a little bit better. Got it. Grab that one up, do not get hit because I really need to keep this Tanuki Leaf now. Let's try not to be as reckless this time though. If I can manage it. It's a little bit scary. Okay, got it. Going over this way now. And then just jumping. Yep, just like that. We're jumping all around. Huh. What is going on with all this? It looks like it wants me to go to the left, but before I do, anything going on up this way? I guess not. That's fine with me. Whoa, watch it. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing to the left. I just, I gotta go this way. Whoop, not bad. Wait, wait a moment. Wait just one darn moment. Where's my star coin? I don't know, but it has to be around here somewhere. It really hasn't been that long since, oh, it's right there. Oh, I'm a dingus. How did I not see that? <laughs> Ow, no, you stinker. Right before the end of the level two. Oh, this game is being rude to me now. Okay, come on, ready? Mm, one more jump. I'm not used to doing this without the, the Tanuki Leaf, so it's a lot more scary now. Bounce up this one, that one, and I can only hope that I can do this. Oh no, that was awful. I am forever mad at that Goomba. I gotta do the level again now. Oh, that stinks so much. Oh wow. Well. well, that'll lead to the path to the airship if I were to be taking that right now. Instead, I gotta hop back into that level. I know, I'll take a break soon enough. Okay, come on. Come on, I definitely got it this time. There it is. Just needed that Tanooki Leap, but that Goomba was like, nah, -uh, not happening, Mario. Not this time, but the second time. We got it that time. All right, so now we're actually good to go to move on from this level to the final level of World 6. We honestly made our way through it pretty quick either way. Even with all the blunders we've gone through, we're at the end now. We're at World 6 Airship where hopefully things will go okay. Only one way to find out not to hop in. All right, well thank you Toad for having this cannon set up for us. There's a whole fleet of them as well. They're always causing problems, aren't they? Okay, so, whoa, be careful. Uh, ooh, maybe I uh, was a little too soon on that one. And I, I don't know why I keep making such silly mistakes. Can you not throw those? Thank you, that's a little, what? I'm on top of them. Mario Logic should suggest that I get them. <laughs> oh well, that's fine, I at least got the first star medal. But the perspective has been a little weird today. There we go. There definitely has to be a power up one of these blocks, right? I need there to be. There it is, there's the mushroom. And I do see star metal number two over this way as well. Uh, now I guess the idea is I'm supposed to, I don't know, I'm running out of time. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, I guess I fell off the edge. This is a weird one. I don't know why, but I've never felt like uh, auto-scrolling levels really work all that well with this game, and I feel like this level's sort of proven why. So far it's a little odd. And boom, got you this time. And this one's super obvious, it's just right there. And then hoping that maybe one of these has a power up in it. Doesn't look like it though. So let's try to get through this without getting hit. Don't know if that'll, ow, actually happen. Come on. There's just not a lot of like screen space for me to do everything I gotta do here. Like before the, the screen scrolls too much, you know? Okay, get up, get up. Got it, okay, good. And then wall jump, not wall jump. Oh no, no, okay, come on, I can't see! This is not fair! I can't see the bouncy thing! Oh, I don't like this level already. There we go, we're making a little bit better time this time. You can't do that, I don't know why I keep thinking it can. Oh, it's frustrating. It is not an easy level by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, it's just something so weird about auto-scrolling in this game. It's just like, because the screen is so tiny, and Mario takes up a fair portion of the screen compared to like his 2D side-scrolling counterpart games. And I do see the shadow of the star metal. I can't quite reach it from here, and that is not what I meant to do. Um, There it is, okay, where am I? I fell, oh my gosh. So I actually made it here with a big Mario. So I actually was able to get this power up, which means I should be able to, in theory, just go like that, and that is so much easier. Once you get a Tanooki Leaf going on, this level seems to definitely become a little bit more handleable, which is nice. Right now I'm just sort of waiting for the camera to catch up, because it can be a bit tough in that way too. Ooh, 
Okay, for a second I swear I was gonna get hit there. Okay, where am I? I'm right here. Got it. I'm definitely a little bit ahead of the camera at the moment, but we got all three star medals, which is all that matters to me. So as long as we can just keep moving forward with that, everything should be okay, right? Whoa, whoa, I keep on pre accidentally pressing that. Oh, it has become very pink. Is there any power-ups around here? There has to be. Nothing? Oh, well that's concerning. Luckily we made it here with a tanuki leaf. Ooh, I think I know what's happening. Here she is, it's Pom Pom. I think this is the first time we're dealing with her in this game. This is super duper cool. Ooh, boom, gotcha. Now she's a little bit different than Boom Boom. Boom Boom will try to follow you around, oh no, and bounce like off the walls with his shell. She will f try to fly upwards and slam down on you, which is not easy to dodge at times, especially when I'm trying to jump away as well. And of course she has some like crazy boomerang powers. I cannot believe I did that, that was actually really cool. So honestly, I think it's actually smarter, I'll oh, come on, um, to go into some of these platforms and then sort of walk in circles like this. Okay, ready? Yeah, there it is! Oh my gosh, that was really close. Really, really, really close. That was, I was just not ready for it, but we got it. So, we made it, but here's the big question. Will I be able to get my wonderful, wonderful flagpole? I can only hope that I will. Also, I could try to go out this way. I don't know if there is or not. Okay. Um, oh, there we go, there's a one up. I was hoping for a Tanooki Leaf, to be honest with you, but come on, they can't do this to me, right? Okay, it looks fine. Oh, oh, oh come on, don't do that. <laughs> this is so stressful. I really don't wanna have to redo the level. Come on, ready, set. Yeah, we got it. Thank goodness I don't have to replay that level, which means we are all done. Mini Mario or not, we survived the airship gauntlet and we're done with World 6. Okay, so that ended up being a little bit of a longer episode. Without the airship, it was pretty quick, but that one definitely added some time to it. So there we go, we're almost done. World 6 out of eight. Hopefully we'll be able to get there soon. We are making our way into World 7, where hopefully we can get a little bit closer to saving the princess. It's yet another nighttime. Look at that full moon in the background, and of course there's a letter waiting for Mario. It even has a little tail. Oh, we'll watch it. Nice catch. And... Oh no! The whole castle is after her! The poor thing, even Bowser or Thwomp having this, everybody's chasing her down. They're really not nice to her this time. Is it like this every time Virtual Peach gets captured? The poor thing! I'm really gonna take down Bowser this time, for sure. Anyways, whoa. This area is very purpley. So it looks like our first level here is World 7 1, of course, and has my biggest nemesis, so that's gonna be fun to deal with, especially with no power ups. This could turn out pretty nasty, but we'll do what we can. Oh, okay. Well, this area is actually pretty open. That's the end of the level right there. I wonder if we could actually, maybe with like a Tanuki Leaf, get to the ending really fast. Oh, look at all those coins. Nice. That was pretty quick of us. And what about this? this is just a cardboard pipe cut out? I'm just trying to take a look around. If we can't find a power up, that'd be really helpful right now if I could find a power up right now. But I don't think it's gonna happen, so I'm just gonna head down this ravine because it's obviously a safe thing to do. And what's going on in here? Not too much over this way. What is this little purple thing? Not much, okay. Huh. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this gold ring. Definitely check out these little blocks, but dodge the, the cheap cheap as well. Excuse me, cheap cheap. Okay, somehow that doesn't hurt me, but it doesn't hurt you. That's good to know. We both can just mutually move on. Come on. None of those are a power up. Yikes, this one's really stingy so far. I mean, if this is how it's being with its power ups, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like with its, uh, its star metals. This has a little bit more promise to it, though. There we go, finally we get a mushroom. Let's try not to immediately lose it to a cheap cheap. And I wanna slam, okay, maybe not slam on him. Oh, it looks like, here we go, first star metal. It does make a little bit of a twinkling noise, so definitely listen out for that. You might be closer to it than you might think. Boom, got it, and then we can slam through these two things. Not really too much going on there. So I'm gonna quickly check out this and that. If there's not too much, then I'll go ahead and press this button. What did that do? Oh my, the secret passage, didn't even see this. That's pretty cool. Okay, be careful, be careful. I don't want the spiny things whatsoever. And speaking of spiny thing, we got our least favorite little enemies over this way. Okay, this looks like it's the way I'm supposed to go. 
which most likely means that this over here is a secret that might lead to a star medal, or at the worst, you know, some power-ups. Okay, this is interesting. Let me get all these normal coins first, and then I'll look around a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, Doc gave me some coins. Okay, luckily we got some coins at the least. Anything up this way? I suppose not. So no star coin, unfortunately. What about this thing? Nope, nothing. All right, well it looks like there isn't too much for me to find around here. I'm just trying to make extra sure at this point. Nope, nothing. Oh well, I tried. I was hoping I could find some kind of power, but Fire Flower would do me really good right now because the Fire Flower would just get rid of all the fish in the way. Even these dudes, which would be nice. Okay, so I'm up here real fast. We're doing a pretty good job. Oh, there's definitely something up here though. Has to be. Oh, nice, we get an extra 100 seconds, which I definitely needed. We were actually ticking down on time there quite a lot. I've been taking my time through this level. I'm trying to just make sure I do everything right. Okay, there's a couple more coins for us. Oh, there's a bit of a current as well. Whoa, dude, watch it, watch it. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to go get these red coins and then swim all the way back. Swim fast, Mario, swim fast. Okay, got it. Oh no. Oh, wait, what? 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 Oh, come on, really? That was like so baloney. I couldn't tell where I was. Ugh. Man, that stinks. I really hope this is a power up. It's not. I'm pretty sure there's a star coin behind these guys. There has to be. You know? That really bums me out. And there's definitely gonna be something behind those. I was supposed to get a fire flower there. That was the idea, and I messed it up. So I might have to redo this level already, which is not a good sign. This is tough. Why would they start the, the world like this? World 7's not looking so good. Is that the back side of them, though? Ooh, it is. And this is actually star coin number two. That's the surprise of the year. Huh. Okay, so where's star coin number three? I can't believe that was actually the right one. Oh, here it is, oh my. Oh, I see him, I see him. Oh no, this might have been a bad idea. Row, swim, 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 I was gonna say run away, that doesn't really apply here, ah! <laughs> we got him, we got all three of them. I can't believe it, it's a miracle. And there's our fire flower, took it long enough. Jeez Louise. Okay, so now all we gotta do is, hold on, get rid of you, get up this way, get up that way, and then long jump, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, go back down the pipe. That's super weird. No, don't jump off it, Mario, what are you doing? That is super duper weird for sure. No, you can't long jump off of it. Oh, that is bizarre. Oh, that gave me a one up though. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I mean, maybe there is something above that one as well. I mean, I can only hope, right? There's not. Oh, it's not, you can't do it. It won't let you long jump off of that. That's super baloney. If I don't make this, I'm gonna be furious. It's just, you can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing normal jump. If it messes me up, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Come on, I'm running out of time here. No, stop. My gosh. The controls can be so tough sometimes in this game. Uh, no, I'm pressing the jump button and nothing's working something. Like, I don't understand why half the levels that don't have Tanuki leaves require you to have a Tanuki leaf to get something done. It doesn't make any sense. I gotta go through it again. Oh my gosh, it's the worst. Oh, well, at least we unlocked the second level. Okay, so first thing I wanna try is, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I really do wanna try it. Yes, that does work. Okay, we can skip the entire level. How crazy is that? Okay, yeah, definitely don't lose our Tanuki Leaf. And then all I gotta do is nice and simply jump over. <laughs> Can't believe that was so tough before, but we made it work this time, which is all that really matters. So, boom, course clear. So with that done, we can move on to 7-2 properly now, which is going to be nice. So over this way, what do we got going on? It looks like another sort of cave level with some spinning spike rods. I might actually want to switch out. Keep our Tanuki Leaf in my bottom screen. That way I just have it available for the end of the level and hope that I don't need it, you know? It's better to need it and not have it than have it and not need it, as they say. Okay, let's go ahead and let this Chain Chomp do his Chain Chomp thing. Got some coins. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna ignore him. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him be. Hopefully if I leave him be, he'll leave me alone. Okay, what is with this giant exclamation? Oh my, oh, this is something. Is it a, yep, it's a star metal. 
Very cool. That was a risky jump to make. We made it work though. And there's a one up over this way. It's really just about timing. Got it. So far, so good actually. We're making this work. Getting up this way, and I think we're gonna go through this door. I don't see any other potential star medals going on around here. Definitely don't see a way to get up that thing. Ooh, I remember this being really weird. Ah, that's why. You stand on the one side, and of course, it's going to move everything to that side. Whoa, that was just me being silly. Come on, come on, come on, whoa, watch it. Oh, I don't like this. I might have to use the Tanuki Leaf here. I really don't wanna have to. All right, I don't see what my other options are. And there we go, we get a Fire Flower. So that's all I was worried about, is that a Chain Chomp would take me out, I'd have to do that all over. So we'll do those spikes, do their spike thing. And then we'll jump over, grab the star metal, and keep moving. Whoa. Sometimes I feel like the jump, like disable, and not the jump, the run. Of course, you can press one button to run and then hold it down, of course, to keep running. And sometimes it feels like it just stops working. Anyways, we got all the star medals, so we're doing pretty well so far. Looked like there might have been an extra coin or two I could have gotten back there. So, before I do anything more, I'm just gonna grab this power up, get a running start, get up, and then move it. And then in theory, I should should have been able to just to long jump to this one, but I don't care. We got it done the way we got it done, and that was a good way to get it done. <laughs> Alrighty, course clear. Very, very good. So as you can see, we get a one up out of that one. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so there's 7-2 down a lot easier than 7-1. It looks like we got a Mushroom Hut waiting for us. I might hold on to this for now, because I really don't need it at the moment. Maybe the next time I really need a uh, Tanuki Leaf will be able to do that. So by the end of today's episode, for sure. But right now, we, we need 70 Star Coins to get through this. We have 112, so that means we have 42 more than it's asking for. Oh, this level looks like it could be tough. Lots of little ropes that we'll probably have to jump off of and everything. Let's try it out. So, let's do what we can here. I like this. Pretty cool that we have a little tree to climb. Once again, reminds me of Mario Galaxy. Oh, I actually didn't wanna, okay. Hold on, can I just, yeah, that's right. I, kept, I keep on forgetting that the game's 3D. I can't do that. I thought that was gonna be a power-up. Would've been great if it was another Tanuki, but it was not. Okay, so what else? Oh, here we go. Boing, got it. That was a pretty easy first star medal. It's a good sign. Going over this way. Whoa, watch it, are you serious? Okay, dude, you're going down. See ya. Nice little platform you got, too. All right, well, I don't think there's anything else going on around here, but now I'm out of a Tanuki Leaf, which is really gonna bother me. I mean, I have an extra power up if I need it. I just wanted that one. Okay, ooh, I see, I see. Oh, come on, really? I'm just gonna get up here. No, I'm not! <laughs> not good. This game is kicking my butt. We're back to being normal Mario. That should be fine. Let's see if this is a power up now. Yeah, I doubt it. Didn't work. So I actually don't need to even go over there. I could just get over here, get my star medal, and ignore that dude entirely. Not gonna give him the satisfaction of my attention. He's just rude to me, you know? So go ahead and bounce this one up as high as it can go. Ready, one more time. Whoa, almost ran right into that fire block, would not have been good. Okay, I can't bounce it too high or I won't be able to make my way up there. Oh yep, like right here. Not what I wanted. Let me go back down then. This is not working out very well. You know what, I'm getting rid of this dude, or not. He's invincible, he's impossible, he's all sorts of things, it's driving me nuts. So you know what, I'm gonna quickly get this fire flower. We're gonna hop back down here. It's not easy to do. Like it's, I feel like if there's any game that's harder than it looks, this one definitely is it, you know? Okay, so now I can hop up like that and we're good. Wowie. So it looks like we got a star. Hopefully we can get ourselves a one up out of this. I could definitely use it. I mean, I say that. I still have 142 lives, but you know what? The more the merrier. Oh, here we go, two more. And you're mine! Awesome stuff. So there's two star medals. And then down this way, we got a couple of things going on. First off, I think that's how we would have gotten up. Yeah, it is, if we didn't do that one bonus. There's the final star medal. Is there any toads around here? It doesn't look like it. So I just gotta know that when I'm... Where is our toad? 
I hear a toad calling for my attention. Where is he? Toad, where are you? I hear two of them. Oh, hey, it's a whole bunch of them. All right, thank you for the mushrooms, I guess. <laughs> that was weird. Anyways, we just gotta climb up there and be aware that there's gonna be a star metal waiting for us in this giant tower of fuzzies. I don't like it. Okay, yep, going up this way. Got it, a little bit more, and there it is. Actually, that's actually quite easy. Can I hit these guys with a fireball? That one right through them, so I guess not. They're impenetrable. I know I'm skipping a lot of coins at the moment, but I honestly just wanna make my way through this level unscathed at this point. Gotta be careful. Okay, so far so good, but we still have the big worry, Ow, of getting the final golden flagpole. Will we be able to do it? I mean, I would hope so, especially with this whole setup going on. Cause I don't think that, I mean, ah, uh, I had to try it, didn't I? I gotta do it again. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So I guess I'm hopping back into this level. I might as well go get a Tanooki Leaf then. We'll go ahead then. Perfect time to do it. Go ahead and check this out. Maybe now we can get ourselves a leaf. I'm gonna be upset if it doesn't give us one. If it gives us a Fire Flower, I'll be like, okay game, whatever. Cause we can get a Fire Flower from anywhere. Boom, you're kidding me. Really? Is this all you got for me? I don't appreciate it, sorry. I mean, I shouldn't say that. It was a gift. Thank you for the gift. I do, I do appreciate that you thought of me. But I really could have used something else. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to World One, get a Tanooki leaf real quick, and we'll retry level seven three. Okay, so I know I don't technically need a Tanooki leaf for this one, but I want one just because I feel like it would make the whole situation a bit easier. So we're just gonna get that up as high as we can. That should be good. It's even above the flagpole at this point. Okay, perfect. And like yeah, like I said, we didn't need it, but. Uh, at this point, I would like the little bit of extra insurance because there's always a chance I might mess something up. <laughs> it just is something that happens. Anyways, there we go, there's our course clear, which is very, very good. And 63 coins in total. I like it. So, level seven four is coming up. Oh, I see a giant clock. Ooh, look at this. This reminds me of one of my favorite Mario Kart courses, the TikTok clock. I know it's also, of course, a Mario 64 level, but that's what I remember it for more, is it's a uh, Mario Kart DS course. Anyways, grab a couple of these, that's for sure. And, oh, we got some bob bombs. Are they, they're not Tanooki bob bombs. For a second I thought they were. I'm just gonna ignore those guys however much I can. Oh no. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, I see the first star medal. I love the little rhythm to this. Of course, clocks sort of follow a rhythm because they're following time intervals, but so that makes sense that this sort of has a rhythm too. I like that, it's a fun idea. There we go. Oh, I do remember this being a little bit, I don't know if I would call it a maze, but there's like three different options on where to go. Just gotta be careful that we choose the right one. Whoa, we got the big mole. Definitely don't want him stealing my Tanooki Leaf powers, so. Trying to avoid it. Oh, did I just get a one up? Oh, that's cool. What is this gonna be? A fire flower. I actually will gladly take that right now. And then that's a that's a mushroom I didn't need. Luckily the game didn't like put it over my Tanooki leaf. I would have been so upset. Is there any way to get up there? There has to be. Hold on. Okay, the charge up doesn't even make you like jump any higher sometimes. It's weird. I think I'm doing everything correctly. So let me just go back through again. Whoa. Be careful. And now I gotta go up this way. We got our one up. We got through all this. I don't think there was really too much over there. And then going this way. Oh, here we go. So I guess that means, no, wait! Oh, okay, that was so scary. I thought I was gonna lose the level right there. Oh my gosh. No, wait, no, whoa, whoa, what are you doing, Mario? I pressed to the right and you went to the left. Let's try this again. Ready? Going up here. Going across, luckily now we don't have to worry about any of the moles, so it makes it a little bit easier. There it is, okay. And then going this way. Still looking for that third and final star coin. Now we got the halfway point. So this, this little gear looks like Pac-Man. Okay, that needs to turn one more time. And then I can wall jump over there. If I had the Tanooki leaf, ooh, be able to get there right now. Oh no, speaking of which, will you give me one? I don't think he would've. <laughs> I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going right now. I mean, I do see a, a timer there, which is nice and everything. 
Okay, whoa. I don't know how I feel about this, but I'll try to get it. Okay, I got it. Give me that one up. At least that's something. And it doesn't look like there's anything more over there, but to the right there definitely, yup, here we go, here's Star Metal, number three. Okay, so I need to actually win on this platform. It's a good thing that gave me a couple of extra seconds because I'm sort of just stuck here at the moment. One more time. And then I can wall jump, oh, not wall jump. I don't know why I keep calling long jumping, wall jumping. I guess just, they're sort of the similar word in terms of pronunciation. Oh gosh. Okay, whoa. Oh no, this might have been a mistake. It almost was. Okay, the, here we go, here's my chance. Grab that before it falls off the platform and then jump for it. Yeah, we made it. Okay, very refreshing to get a level done on the first try, that's for sure. And as you can see, Mario is happy about it too. So, with 7-4 done, I think we have one more level to tackle before the airship. Looks like that's a case. Ooh. That's looking a little menacing. I see some buzzsaw blades over that way. Oh, I think I remember this one. If I remember correctly, this is the level where the buzzsaw blades will cut off platforms as you're running on them, making you have to move really fast. So, that's exactly what we're gonna do, is we're gonna move as fast as we can. Maybe I shouldn't do this one with the Tanooki Leap, but we'll find out. That was just a coin, so not too worried about it. Oh no, be careful. Oh, star metal number one, yeah! Okay, and what about up this way? Is there anything? Not really, can I land on top of these things? I can, oh, what is this? A one up, oh sweet, I'll take it. 153 lives right now, absolutely bonkers. Oh, here we go, so now we actually have two Tanooka leaves, of course, one with us and another in our slot, so that's really good. Oh, and these things are gonna cut this even shorter. I don't like that one bit. But if I could quickly just grab that, didn't really do too much for me. Whoa, watch it, dude. Okay, I was a little worried who's gonna drop a Tanooki leaf and it would've fell into the pit. And I don't need it at the moment, but I could need it later, and that's what always concerns me. Okay, so there's Star Metal number two. Haven't missed one yet, so that's a good sign. Okay, oh, this platform's gonna start falling soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's another one if I needed it. I don't need it, and I sort of missed it anyways. I don't know why those were both fake Goombas. That was a little weird. Oh no, that platform's moving without me. I gotta go catch up to it. I don't know what would've happened if I just let it go. Okay. This is a little intense. Whoa! I didn't realize I was in the way. This is where the perspective gets a bit odd. Okay. Get rid of this guy. This is the last one. Make sure we get it. Got it. And then it looks like we need to stand on this one and be as careful as possible if we wanna get this little clock. Ready, set. Got it, and then I'm just gonna float on over to the safe exit. Okay, so the thing I guess I'm supposed to do here is that, but if I have a Tanooki Leaf, it gets so much easier. Yes, that was actually really fun. Oh, I like the, the, the cutout castle in the background. I love all the, the, the woodworking theme is really fun. I like it. So yeah, there, there there's that done. And that means only one more level left to tackle in today's episode. It is the Airship of World 7. Let's see who's blocking it this time. Will it be Pom Pom or will it be Boom Boom? Probably Pom Pom again. We've had Boom Boom twice, or three times actually, right? And Pom Pom once. So let's see what ends up happening this time. Ooh, another auto-scrolling level. I mean, I think most of the airship, if not all of them are auto-scrolling, which, no, that's not the case. Some of them have not been. I prefer it to not be auto-scrolling, of course. Get a bunch of those coins, no problem. And what is going on now? Oh, I got gotcha. you. There we go. Can't believe we got that. Ooh, was that a good idea? We'll have to wait and see. But I still have another Tanooki Leaf waiting in my inventory. Oh no, oh no, ooh, watch it. No, not Kamek, get him out of here. I don't like that one bit. What's weird is sometimes the game refers to, to him as Kamek, other games it refers to him as Magic Koopa. I never really know what the difference is, because both of them look the same. Okay, get him out of there. We're doing pretty good with the boomerang, actually. And I could, if I had the boomerang not already thrown, I could have actually just thrown it at that star coin, star metal, and gotten it that way. Okay, dude. Oh, woo, just barely got him. Gotta be careful moving down towards the screen, because uh, that's also, whoa, the boomerang got super stuck there. That's also how this platform is moving. It wouldn't be good. Oh, and I got rid of that guy without even seeing him. I think that's the pipe we're supposed to go down. So before we do that, is, or maybe it's not. Huh, oh no it is, it definitely is. So let me just grab this real fast. 
Don't even have to touch it. Luckily, the boomerang helps us out big time there. And now, I'm gonna slam into this pipe and hope everything turns out okay. Who is it gonna be, Bob? Boom, boom, or pom pom? It's both. Oh no. This is a big problem. Go ahead and hit you right away. And I ran right into your boomerang. I didn't even see it. There's so much action happening right now. So we're gonna be, oh, come on. That's really bad. I'll go ahead and get that Tanooki Leaf ready. I really hope I don't get hit then. That would be a big problemo. Oh no, I don't like it. I gotta stay up here for now. That's my big strategy then. Oh, is to get rid of Poom Poom, the Poom Poom? <laughs> pom Pom first. Poom Poom and Bomb Bomb. <laughs> What am I talking about? I'm going crazy, I was not expecting this. Get rid of her first, and then maybe everything else will get a lot easier. Whoa, 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 the perspective is a bit odd, I gotta be honest, and you're dizzy so I can hit you for your second time? Ah, wait, no way, I can't tell. Oh, that is so tough. Come on, I'm so bad at this game. Jeez Louise. So I don't have my Tanooki Leaf now, which is a big, big problem for the, 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 the flagpole. Okay, get him now. Got him! Oh my gosh. See ya. <laughs> so there we go, we got it done. It was really, really tough, but we made it work. Let's slam under the, uh, onto this pipe. And when luckily we get some extra time. The last time I was here, I had an airship last episode. Luckily I was still able to get the flagpole. Okay. Is there anything up here? Not looking like it. So, I should be able to get up this way and long jump, boom, yes, we got it. There it is, every level completed in World 7. That was a bit of a scary situation, but as long as we make it work, I'm just glad to see it happen. Whew. So that means there's one world left before we save Princess Peach. I can only hope that everything turns out okay with that one, but for right now, we got done World 7. Save complete, very cool. We get a star over the World 7 marker on the bottom screen, you guys can't see that. But anyways, we are moving on to the eighth and final world, hopefully finally able to see Princess Peach. Before we get started, I do wanna say, if I have a different amount of lives, if things seem a little bit different, that's because it sort of is, unfortunately, I recorded a portion of World 8 and the recording crashed and I lost all of it. So I had to replay the entire game to get back to the beginning of World 8 again. So here we are. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save the princess, I can only hope. Oh, everything's so spooky here. Lava volcanoes, those weird dragon things. Another letter. And of course, Bowser. Has Princess Peach in a cage. That's just so mean. All right, Mario, you know what to do. Go save her. One more world left to get through. We can do it. All righty. So, it is a long world we have to get through, so let's start getting through it. World 8-1, we have 152 lives, so let's put them to use. Yeah, this is a tough world, but it'll be fun. Get this first level. Luckily, since I, I played the first couple of the levels, I know where all the star coins or the star medals are right off the bat, so it should be really easy to get through. Um, but beyond that, some of the other ones I'm still not super familiar with. Dodger spike balls as much as we can. I like this area though, because it feels like it's like Bowser's stronghold or something, where maybe like all of his troops sort of build up and stuff, because you can see in the background, it's all like camo colored and stuff, and that's fun. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get this ready, and I think we can just run across. Looks like it, and boom, star medal number one. Awesome. And I'm gonna go down this pipe if I can. Got it. <laughs> Alrighty. I see some moving staircase. It's just so ominous around here, especially with like the silhouettes and everything of like, all the, oh gosh, I didn't even know they were moving towards me. There goes my Tanooki leaf, that's not good. Oh boy. Okay, here comes some more. They're not all coming at once this time though. That's at least a little bit better. Oh, I see the switchy platforms as well. Let's get the checkpoint. And then what's up here? I think there's a star medal, right? No, okay, no there's not. Uh, maybe over this way? Uh, oh, you bet, right to the right. So is there any power-ups around here, though? So I can like sort of, oh, here we go. <laughs> we haven't seen this throughout the entire game. This is weird. But it, it's weird how we can skip through that entire bottom section. Pretty sure there's not another star medal down there, so we should be good. And, oh boy. Let's try to dodge this stuff as much as we can. We're heading down, the spike balls are chasing us. I don't like it one bit, more of them are coming up. Keep going, keep going, come on Mario. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay, we made it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was actually pretty close still. So where is the final star medal though? I didn't see it anywhere. It should be, yeah, okay, it's right here. Ready, and boom, got it. So there's that done. 
I mean, I played World 8, the, the few levels I played, I think it was only like two or three of them. It was a couple days ago, because I was like, oh, now I have to replay the entire game if I want to showcase those and get the star medals for the first time and everything, you know? So, yeah, that's why I did that. Um, anyways, I remember this flagpole being that if you are too low, you can't quite get it, so you want to shoot a little bit higher. Even like this. Oh boy. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Not bad at all. So we get the level done with all of the three star medals and of course the top of the flagpole. Very cool. And there we go. Awesome stuff. So with that one done, what do we got over this way? We got, of course, World 8-2, I have to imagine. It'd be weird if it was some other level. Now this one looks a whole lot more cheerful. We had the, the covered in lava and it's all intense around here. And then you just have happy little green mountainous level, you know? Weird contrast, if you ask me. Okay, let's go up like this. So far, so good. There are a little torches, though. That will surely not make things easy. Well, I do not like these guys very much. They'll try to jump at us. I don't think I need to mess with any of them, though. I can just hop onto here. And this is where things get a little bit scary. We're totally at the mercy of this moving pole, and I don't like it one bit. It can be rather spooky. Is there a power up in here? I feel like World 8 is like really, really low on power ups. There's just like not much to go around. I'll see if this brick block has any, but brick blocks usually don't have power ups in there. That's usually just question blocks. That's just a coin, which is cool and everything, but the last thing I need is coins right now, you know? All right, whoop. Okay, and I think, yep, the next star medal should be over this way, so hop onto here and then hop back on. Oof, that hurt. Oh, but here's the halfway point, so never mind, we're back to normal. Well, like I said before, if I could get a power up, that'd be very appreciated. What about up here? Aha, look at that, very sneaky. But I'm having a hard time getting up there. Ooh, there it is. That's gonna be helpful, for sure, for sure. So if I could just jump over the majority of this, that'd be very preferred, and I cannot. Okay, but I could do that, that was very lucky. If not anything else, it was, it was very, very lucky. Whoop, watch it. Excuse me, thank you. I think I can get on this pole. Yep, it's moving. I don't know where it's bringing us. Luckily, we can use the directional buttons to look around a little bit more. Got a whole bunch of torches to dodge. Okay, we did it, we did it, and there's the star coin. Oh, but the pole is moving with us. How much time do I have to hop onto that? It looks like I did an okay job. Oh, I see the end of the level. We're getting there. All right, ready, jump for it, Mario. Good job. Okie doke, so. Let's be careful with this. I'm gonna jump, glide, and boom! Two levels done without any problems, really. That's excellent. I'm sure that's gonna go downhill after I get these levels done that were in my immediate memory. But we'll have to wait and see. So, with that done, what do we got going on over this way? It is a mystery level for right now. We'll have to see how many uh, star medals we need to get through it. Looks like 80. Wow, we. Well, we have 130, so we're 50 over what we need, so we should be A okay. What is it gonna be? Ooh, this one looks like fun, but also looks like it'd be tricky. All these cardboard cutouts, it looks like. <laughs> it's a Nintendo Labo level, years before Nintendo Labo came out. Alrighty, so, oh, the little bubbles everywhere, too. I don't know what that's about. Hmm. I feel like there was a star coin on here that was rather tricky, where you had to sort of follow the platform around, and it was like only on one side of the platform while it was spinning. What's up here? Oh, there we go, there we go. Star metal, boom. Hey, you guys have been giving me some nice tips on some of the different moves you can do with the Tanuki, and just like other stuff in general. So if I duck and I press the, the twirl button, we twirl really fast, so that's how I was able to twirl up that one thing really fast. And if we were to do that without a Tanuki suit, we roll and that can destroy blocks. So I don't always need a Tanuki leaf to destroy blocks, so thank you guys for letting me know about that as well, because I was not aware. Okay, so not looking like there's anything else on here, so we can keep moving forward. And it looks like we got some red coins to get. Oh, I see that star metal. I'll turn around and get that in just a second. Let me first get that one up. And where was it? Oh, right here, right here. Oh, a little too late. That's okay, we just need to wait for it to turn around one more time. Bounce off that gear. And thank you very much, sir. Whoa, that was actually a little scary. Whoa. Koopa shells are bouncing all over the place. I don't know how I feel about that. We got Koopa shell bowling. 
And then I think, yeah, this this is a weird platform that sort of moves like up into the side. But hey, look at that, Star Metal number three. This level's actually not so bad so far. Really fun. Okie doke, so going up this way. Oh boy, look at us go. And let's hop up like that, that, and oh, here's the end of the level already. <laughs> actually was not expecting it. Very cool. I don't know what's with all the bubbles floating around. But beyond that, it's, it's a cool aesthetic with all the cardboard and stuff. I love all the environments for this. And I think I've talked about it before, but you know, like a sand world isn't just a sand world and the lava world just, in, just isn't a lava world. It has different environments within it that make it really fresh. Something the new Super Mario Bros. games sort of lack in that way. But anyways, we're going to world 8-4 now. Of course, it's a ghost mansion. This one could be a bit spooky, I'm sure of it. Oh boy, got moving platforms already. Not a big fan of this, because I don't know where we're going, where we could end up. What's, wait, wait, can I get this please? Oh, it's a fire flower. Let me take that now, so we can have our tanuki leaf in reserve for when, whenever we may need it. Don't know when that's gonna be, but it could be very soon. I think the platform's gonna turn and go to the right. Gotta try to look at all the boos so they don't close in on me, that's never fun. Oh, got it, and, okay, that wasn't too much. Uh, I'm getting off of this thing, there we go. <laughs> oh, and because of my fire flower, I can light this up. Oh, that just gave me a bunch of coins. Nothing too exciting then. Never mind. Uh, got some stuff over here. Okay, none of this really has too much. Just a couple of coins here and there. And nothing over this way? Guess not. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Give it to me. Give it to me. It's mine. It's mine. Hand it over. Ah, oh, I missed it. Oh no, wait, wait. Here we go, and that's the first one. These self-moving platforms can be a bit stressful though, especially with all these pillars popping out, trying to push us right off the platform. Oh no! <laughs> Whoopsies, went a little too far. All right, trying to be a bit more careful. It's working out pretty well. Oh, I do see some Tanuki booze this this way. No, hey! Okay, well, I mean, I guess that might work out if I can grab this. There we go. So now we have a Tanuki thing, and then we also have one in reserve. Oh gosh, dodge that. Ooh, scary, 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 scary. All right, we made it, and here's the halfway point. We weren't really too far from that, were we? And what could this be? Oh, it's a star. All right, I will grab that. I think I actually saw the other star metal. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, and that dropped it. another leaf. So we have a couple of those where we know where the location are now, so that's pretty helpful. If we die, we can just go for that one instead of having to grab the one on our bottom screen, which means we can preserve it even farther. All right, so we're looking for Star Metal 3, and of course, however the heck to get out of here. Okay, we're waiting right here, and... Oh, what is going on with that? Uh, you know what, it might not be worth risking. I'm just gonna hope there's no Star Metal up there, probably just a one-up. Oh, this has a couple coins for me. I don't immediately get them, they plop out of the block, which is a little different. Oh, there it is! Okay, leave me alone, leave me alone. Uh. Grabbing that. Oh, now you got me, you stinker. Ooh. Okay, that's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna make our way to the end of the level, wherever that may be. Looks like we're coming up on something. Uh, nope, that's a dead end. I'm glad I didn't like try to jump for it. Are we turning this way? No, we're falling! Oh my gosh, I did not expect that. That spooked me. I had to get in one last spook before the level's done, of course. Oh, what, what, what is gonna be up here? Uh. Anything? Oh, let me go like that. And then, ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a one-up. Okay, well, I, I need to get it now that I've seen it. There we go, and boom. That's such a fun little secret right there, I like it. So now that we've done that, oh, here we go. I'm gonna do the Tanuki Leap just in case I mess this up, because this platform's gonna start moving. Ooh, spooky. And then jump for it, glide, and boom, one up. Awesome stuff, we got 162 lives in total now, which is super duper great. And another level done. We're storming through this right now, this has been great. I mean, at this point, we'll be knocking on Bowser's door before noon. I mean, I guess it depends on when you're watching this, but hey. Uh, so we're going over to World 8-5 now, it's a giant fortress with lava in between it. That doesn't seem very friendly. Let's see how Mario can fare in this one. Oh, and it has some switch platforms as well. Gotcha, whoa, I didn't even mean the long jump there. That was a little bit of a mistake. Let's bounce off of you. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do here is wait for it. Oh, and I got rid of both in there too, it was pretty cool. 
What will this have? Nothing. Okie doke. Whoa, we're moving fast. Let me jump, and then jump again. Whoa, watch it, bull pills. I don't appreciate that. Hmm. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm moving a little too quick here. I need to slow down. I can't do that from here. Just trying to get down to here. Sometimes a the moving can be a little like twitchy, I guess. I'm just trying to keep everything going. It looks like I got myself a boomerang now, for better or for worse. And it could be helpful against you. There we go. And if I jump a little bit, oh my gosh, oh, I am so silly. I can't believe. How did I not think of that? Let me get that back. How did I not think of that? Like obviously that was gonna happen. All right, uh, do that and then jump. And I need to get this thing. I mean, I guess I could just jump right on top of it. I don't exactly need the red coin, so if I can just get out of here in one piece, I'd prefer it. Okay, so, so far so good. Hopping up these platforms, which are falling from beneath us, which is no good at all. And ooh, what is this? It is, it's the final star coin. All I gotta do is hop up like that, gotcha. And then boing, and boing. Hey, not so bad, we made it work. We got all the coins as well. Awesome. <laughs> so all three star medals have been obtained. Now I just have to carefully be aware of the bonsai bills. Oh no, here they come. They're sort of like alternating, I guess. Whoa, that got me. Darn. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Okay, this is where I definitely wanted to nook you. Leave the end of the level's right here. So grab this bad boy. Gotta be very careful of this right here. I do not want to get hit by a wrench right at the end. Uh, okay, oh, thank goodness. And then land. Okay, he's not gonna pop up, that's fine with me. Boing, we got it. I don't know why I said boing, that's not really a matching sound effect. We got the, we got the star medals, we got the flagpole. Isn't that all we need? Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm so glad we made it work really well. So that, wait, 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 wait a minute. I thought there was gonna be one more level according to the touch screen, it looked like there was a little circle, but I guess not. We're at the castle already, so we need 90 star coins. We have 139 of them. So let's head on in and show Bowser a piece of our mind. How dare you steal our princess for the millionth time? Oh my, it's a scary castle though, gotta say. Oh well, we gotta be tough, we gotta go in there, we gotta save her. Oh no. And the door's shut right behind us. He knows we're here. He's ready for us, and so are these little Kameks. Okay, got it? There we go. It is weird, the distinction between ma Magic Koopas and Kameks, because like Kamek is supposed to be one individual character, but Kameks are just like a type of enemy, but they look indistinguishable to me. I mean, I don't know if there is a difference. Yeah, th that looked like Kameks design to me, but there was more than one of them. I don't know. It usually only seems like in mostly story-based games. I think there's a star metal down here. Yes, there is. Uh, only in the story-based games is Kamek like his own original character and not one of several of the same looking enemies like a Goomba or a Koopa. It is a bit odd, the inconsistencies there. But anyways, now this isn't a thesis paper about uh, Kamek. This is a Super Mario 3D Land. We gotta save the princess, so let's be careful. Oh, I almost jumped right into the spike block there. That would've just been plain embarrassing. Okay, I got all the coins. Keep moving, but not too fast, not too fast. Okay, I got it. Go, 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 go. And boom, halfway there. Pressing this little button will bring us up. Yeah, it's an elevator. Oh, there's a star metal. Let me get rid of all of these guys as much as I can. Ooh, almost got hit by them. That one have been so helpful. Whoa, in the air and everything. Give me that boomerang. Now we can hold on to our tanuki leaf for at least a little bit. Oh, ho, ho, that is risky. And what is going on through the goggles? I do see our final star medal, but where else are we going? Oh, there's the princess, and there's the final goal. All right, princess, we're coming. We're gonna go save you. Up and up here, oh gosh. Oh, okay. So far, so good, right? You know what, this might be where I wanna change to a Tanuki Leap, uh-oh. Oh, he doesn't have the tail. He has a normal Bowser tail now. So I think this means he's the real deal. Uh-oh. 
Oh, great. So, one last battle with Bowser before we save the princess. Not too bad of a deal, right? We've done it before. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna glide across here. Perfect. Okay, he is going nuts. Oh, oh, you missed me, you missed me. He has a spin move. Gotta keep that in mind. Whoa, whoa, and that's new as well. Whoa, he can jump super far. I don't like it, I'm just gonna go around him. Just gonna go around him. Okay, he's still falling around and boom! That was actually really easy. <laughs> See ya, Bowser. Took him a second to realize. Oh no! Lava, it's really hot. See ya, Bowser. <laughs> Oh no, there's a little skull. I hope he's okay, I mean, we want him to be okay, right? I mean, I know he's evil and everything. I don't want he deserves that. Anyways, well, let's go up here and see if the princess is all right. Oh, the music turns off. The door is open. Princess, are you okay? Oh, there she is. You, you feeling okay, princess? You don't look all right. Oh no! <laughs> she was a cardboard cutout! And Bowser has a real one! How funny would it have been if we had just had fought a cardboard Bowser and didn't even realize it. All right, well, goodbye. Wait, you're just gonna jump off? Wait, when could you fly? Well, when did Bowser get the ability to fly and why has he never used it since? I am so confused. <laughs> also, why was there a cloud of smoke behind him? What was propelling him forward? I have no clue. <laughs> but hey, this is no time for asking about how Bowser can fly. We need to make sure we get this flagpole so I don't have to replay this level. There we go. That's a big flag. All right, so we tackled one of Bowser's castles, but maybe there's more. Mario is determined he is going out of here. I just, I still am very surprised. Why, when can Bowser fly? Maybe there was somebody carrying him we just couldn't see? I don't know. It was just weird. <laughs> well, that many airships are in this game, you think we just hop on an airship, but no. Anyways, what's happening now? World 8 is continuing forward. Bowser's running out of energy. It's like, why can't I just keep flying? I'm too tired, I gotta walk the rest of the way. All right, keep going, Mario. World 8, level 6. This one looks like it could be a bit tricky. I don't know how many levels we have left to go. Maybe there's like quite a lot. Maybe we're only halfway through for today's episode. Let's find out. This one could be a tough one. It looks tough. There's lava everywhere, so I'll deal with it whatever way I can. Alrighty, so I, mean, I actually don't need this. I can just like wall, not wall jump, long jump. I don't know what I want to call it wall jumping. Well, let me go backwards on this one. That seems right. Oh, yep. Got it. Okie doke, so keep moving forward now. Make it move to this way. And I could just glide to the rest. This is why the Tanuki Leaf is awesome. It just helps you just get through the game so much easier. Get rid of that dude. I gotta get that halfway point. And what's in here? Just a bunch of coins. Alrighty. I am very worried of dying now. I'm worried that will, uh, Oh, you know what? Oh, that's scary. The shape is not very uh, intuitive for rolling, <laughs> gotta be honest. Okay, I don't think there was, oh my gosh, dude, watch it. I don't think there was anything else over there. I think we can move on over to this thing, which is also gonna roll around. It's <laughs> it's circular though, so that makes it more helpful. Oh, I think I see a star metal over there. But if I'm not mistaken, yep, the lava plume's up over there too. So let's try to be careful with our timing. And the moment we get that star metal, Hop off and back onto here. So that's two out of three. Making some good progress. Watch it. Please don't hit me. I only have one Tanuki Leaf. I'd rather not lose it. It'll become a whole lot harder if I, I can't glide around. And seeing how I was just saying how awesome it is to have it, I know for a fact that the moment it goes away, or that it's gonna go away soon, you know? Oh no! Oh, okay, that was close. What is going on with this platform? Well, first off, goodbye. Those two are just too easy to deal with. I guess it spins around like everything else. No, 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 <laughs> no, I spun too far. I gotta do it all over again. At least to that checkpoint flag, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, so I'm back over here again. I've gotten here and have failed a couple times now, so I'm trying to be very careful. Make my way around the lava. There is the star metal. So what I think I gotta do here, whoa, I don't like how that works. 
is I gotta stay up here. Yeah, I definitely have to stay up here. Let it move over like that. Oh no, I said I have to stay up there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there it is, there it is, star metal, got it! So that's the third and final star metal, and then I think I gotta go down that way? Yeah, like that. That took a couple of attempts for sure. I was able to get another Tanuki Leaf from all of the, oh, and this is the end of the level, oh, okay. From all of the red coins by the, the checkpoint. No! I couldn't see! Because I was trying to re-angle to see my shadow over the flagpole so I could get it correctly. I gotta do it again! Oh, that's so worse. But it'll be a lot easier without getting the star medals. That still bums me out a bunch. And that leads right, right to the castle as well. Wow, interesting. So we'll go ahead and tackle that right after I get this golden flagpole. There we go. Actually, not that bad. Once you, you sort of get through that level without having the star medals, it gets pretty easy. So we got it done, core is clear, which means Bowser, it, it wasn't even uh, all that long of a time you had away from us before we get back to you, isn't it? Because as you can see, I mean, I guess you guys can't see, but on the bottom screen I can see, we're just marching right on over this way to level castle, uh, but it's a different castle. Bowser had a backup. <laughs> you need 100 star medals to get in. We have 145, so yeah, I think we're good to go. Look at this place. Looks a lot more spooky than the previous castle for sure. So the last one wasn't gonna scare us off. I mean, this one has a higher chance. Oh, the drawbridge, the giant Bowser face. Oh no. Mario is not deterred at all. Oh, even the shining eyes. Not good one bet. What in the world is this thing? It's like one of the weird roller coasters from New Super Mario Bros, but shorter and wider. Huh, odd, I sort of like it, but it's also very, very weird. Okay, let's go ahead and try to grab all of these coins, because why not? Whoa, 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 but don't walk off the platform. <laughs> it's a little too early in the level to die, right? Oh no, we'll watch out, we got fireballs heading right for us. This is a bit scary. Oh, I do see the first star metal, and these things go right through that th pillar, and there I go. This is gonna be a whole lot more difficult without that Tanuki Leaf, cause now I gotta do it without it. That's not good. <laughs> I'll try though. <clears throat> Bowser's mouth is gonna open again. I'm not gonna try to get these coins. I'm, I, okay, I will. I was tempted not to just to, you know, be a little bit more self-preservation. You know what? We'll do what we can with what we got here. Oh boy, dodge it. That's good. <laughs> And here come all these fireballs that are gonna go right through those pillars. I guess at least gives a good idea of where they're going to go through, or they're gonna show up and everything. No, that no, it doesn't. <laughs> Some of them just pop up wherever they please. Oh, I hope we can duck under them. I'm not really sure. And then I'm gonna go to this platform. Was that a good idea? Oh, I think it was. Look at this. Going over here. And then I guess we get over this way. Oh my gosh, I didn't know what was happening there. Oh no! Mario, you donked your noggin right against the platform. That's not good. Okay, I'm back. Don't worry. Okay, so I'm gonna do, go and try to hop off of him. Ooh, that's exactly what I wanted. Awesome. And then we can go, 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 and boom, we're on another roller coaster of doom. You know, it's more like a log flume of doom. And also, that sounds cooler. So where is this last star metal at? Maybe it's coming up. Ooh, we got some crazy fireball dodging happening here. Oh, I do see the shadow of it coming up. I'll be ready for it right now. No, no, I need my star medal, come on! That is so hard to tell. The depth perception there is very weird. Ah, oh, I gotta do the whole thing over too, that stinks. Oh, there it is. Very hard to tell where you are within the placement of that, just because all the fireballs moving forward towards you, it just becomes perspective-wise very confusing. So, I don't know if we're about to reach the staircase where Bowser is, I'm trying to see if there's any you know, free power-ups around here. I guess not, which is a bit concerning. I still have a boomerang power-up, but I'd rather save it. You know, that'd be much easier. Oh, hi! Will you guys give me anything? Oh, you gave me a one-up, thank you. How did they get here? <laughs> First off, yeah, how did they get here? Did they beat Mario? Jeez, I'm better at this than Mario is. Anyways, let's go ahead and boom, try to get that go right through the red coin. And, oh my, can we get all of these right now? Go, 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 got it, got it. Got it, and got it, and there it is, Tanuki Leaf, awesome. So I'm gonna use that, definitely for sure. Then let's go through this one as well. Boom. No, I missed, <laughs> whoopsies. That's fine, I was like, oh, 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 oh. 
Oh boy, don't wanna die there, that'd be very silly. I still don't think there's been a halfway point, right? So I would have had to do the whole level over if I fell there. Oh, this is spooky. It's really spooky, I don't know what to feel about this. Hello? Anybody home? There's the end of the level. And Princess Peach is tied to it, that's just mean. Oh no. Watch out from above! It's Bowser again. Oh, he's not happy either. He wants me out of here. Uh-oh. Oh. He should have laid off all the potato chips. We're falling. Oh no. What are we gonna do about this? Oh gosh, we have like one final ba battle against Bowser here. The whole castle is falling in on itself. Oh, I don't like it. This is scary. Bowser, you're just throwing stuff at me now? That is just rude. Get out of here with that. There we go. Going up here. What does this, this have a power up? It does. Let me take that over the boomerang. I feel like this is gonna be more helpful if this is gonna be like a whole platforming section. Watch it, watch it. No, ooh, ooh, ho, 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 ho. Be careful. That was weird. Couldn't really see exactly where the rope was, I suppose. Okay, try this again. Perfect. Much better. I don't have to worry about Star medals or anything, it's just me and Bowser taking each other on. Oh no. What, you're throwing barrels now? What are you, Donkey Kong? You're stealing his thing. That's what Donkey Kong does. Okay, move it. Oh gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I made it work, I made it work. Where are we going now? I'm going around them, I hope. Oh, oh, that's not good. Can I get up here? Or do I have to wait for him to break it? I might have to wait for him to break it. Oh no. Whoa, okay, that hurt, but it's fine. There we go, we did it! See ya, Bowser! Did we beat him for real? No way. No, no way did we beat He's He's gonna hop back up, he always does. Uh, the music hasn't stopped either. So he has to be popping up somewhere, right? Oh, oh there, there he is. Run, 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 run. Hold on, oh, I don't like this, he's got magical fireballs. Now, okay, for some reason. Oh, will these guys drop a Tanooki Leap? They won't. Gotta be careful, you, you just throw those things right at me. You got pretty good aim. Well, I guess I'm going this way then. Got it, got it, got it. I'm getting up this way now. This is really tough. Whoa, whoa, thought I was gonna fall to my doom there. Wouldn't have liked that one bit. Okay, go for it. Oh no, is he chasing me? Oh, he's chasing me. I don't like that. I don't like it. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh no. Oh, he got me. He got me. Get me out of here. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. See you, Bowser. That's a long fall this time. He's like, no. Oh, oh, he's going to feel that one in the morning. And <laughs> one more for good measure. Yikes. That's not going to feel good. I think he's been flambéed. So did we do it? Oh, the storm has cleared up. That's a nice blue sky day now. Princess? Oh, princess, you're okay. You're still in one piece. Oh, I was just so excited. All right, well, I don't have a Tanooki leaf, so I'm a little worried we might not be able to make this jump. And if we can't, then I'm gonna have to redo this whole level. So let's go for it. Yeah, we did it! Awesome, so now replaying the level for me. We saved the princess! Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're really good dancers. Look at that. <laughs> Alrighty, so with the princess saved and Bowser defeated, I guess we're all ready to go home. And are we just going to glide home? I guess so. Look at all the toads, they have their own little Tanooki costumes as well. That was a lot of fun. The time's a bit challenging, but I feel like I got used to it. We got a little bit better as we went along. So yeah, we finally saved the princess. I do have to be honest, this isn't the end of our adventure. In fact, we're actually pretty far from it, and we'll see why by the end of this, but what a lot of fun that was. It was, you know, uh, it's still my favorite 3DS game. It's, it's been really cool. Look at Bowser's like, oh, I almost got her. I got I can just take her back. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, almost. Uh! 
<laughs> he is still trying. He is relentless, isn't he? All right, well, very cool. We still got her floating back to the, the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, this is just one of the mo many Mario games I want to play this year. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me to, and I want to say yes, the Super Mario Maker 2 is confirmed recently. Yes, I'll be playing it. I'll be playing it a ton. So in 2019, in June, stay tuned for a ton of Super Mario Maker 2 videos. Super duper excited for it. But hey, for now, they have finally made their way back to the Mushroom Kingdom. That's awesome. The end. Aw, a little heart. Hmm? Ah. <laughs> Mario's just all like, this is the, the leaf I used to, to save you this time. It came from this tree. It's interesting that they're green on the tree, but brown when they fall out because they're sort of aging, as leaves do. What's going on now? Oh no, not another letter. Did she get stolen again? Wait. That's not the princess. That's Luigi, we gotta save her brother now. He's in jail and everything, the poor guy. Oh my. We are making our way back into the action. Of course, last episode we completed the game, or at least the main game, but as you can see now, you can now use pipes to travel to special worlds because we need to go to these special worlds to go and save Luigi, who is also now in dire need of Mario's help. Whoa, where we go into the special zone. I guess this is what, the, what it looks like inside of a pipe for Mario. That's pretty cool. And here we are. Awesome, so special worlds are very similar to the originals, but they are a bit more different. They're sort of remixed. Some of the levels are totally different, and I'm sure we'll experience that as we go through. So basically, we're only done half of the game. The, the game is twice as long as you'd think. There's technically 16 worlds and a brand new power up, sort of, kind of. It's a Tanooki Leaf, but if you are to press the crouch button, you go ahead and you turn into one of these. This was in Mario 3, and once you're in this mode, you cannot be hurt whatsoever, which is pretty gosh darn cool. So, yeah. Now this level is sort of similar to one of the levels we've seen in the main levels, uh, when main game, but it is a little bit more difficult. I think there's more enemies all about and all the kind of stuff. I don't know if the star coin placement will be any different. I guess we can find that out. I mean, typically there are some goggles that we have to look at or look through, I think. Maybe not, maybe that's a different level. Oh, that's a poison mushroom, we don't wanna to touch that. So yeah, that's another thing, is there's the addition of poison mushrooms, which if you touch, don't power you up, they power you down, they hurt you, so we don't want that. Which is interesting, you don't really see poison mushrooms in too many Mario games. Oh, I can combo up and get a lot of lives here through all those stars. Let's go ahead and get you, and you, and don't forget you. All right, so we can continue our journey of trying to get 999 lives, right? We're at 165 so far. Let me go back though, because I definitely missed out on a couple of things there in my uh, fury of trying to get, all, well, I guess fury is not the best word. You know what I'm trying to get, say. I was trying to get all the one-ups. I want to go this way if I can. And there we are, oh cool. Oh, I see. So here's the first star medal of the special world. Super duper cool. And we can go back this way now. What is under here? We get another one up, look at that. Awesome, so we're at 166. And what about this way? Is there gonna be another star metal this way? Not anymore, there was before in the previous version of this level, which I'm pretty sure this level was technically in like world five or six or something like that. So the levels do get jumbled around, but definitely they feel fresh and fun because the levels were so short to begin with, it was hard to really get sick of them, you know? And this is uh, presumably, yep, star metal number two. So we're still looking for the third one. We have pl plenty of places to look. Just gotta be careful. Bouncing and bouncing and, okay, ooh, let's get rid of all these guys. One, two, three, four, five, and six, there we go, and seven. Anybody else around here? I don't think so. And what is this way? Oh, here we go. Boom, star metal number three. So there we go, we got all three of them, which means all we're looking for now is of course the wonderful, wonderful flag pipe, golden flag pipe. So let's go ahead and do this. So if you guys saw the 3D land action was over, well, it isn't. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's just getting started, and then I failed that miserably. So I gotta go play this level again. But then after that, we can continue with the first special world. I'm having a lot of fun with this so far, it's really good. Alrighty, so the next level looks like an underground level. We'll worry about that in just a moment. For right now, let me go ahead and get this going on. All right, so let's not do this one as badly. I say that and then I immediately miss the platform. So, 
Oh no, what? That's not what I meant to do. Okay, for real. Wait right here, jump. Okay, still almost didn't make it. And then boom, as easy as that. I overcomplicated it before, but now we're good. And as you can see, the course is clear. Ah, that wasn't so bad, was it? Got a clear time of 96, that's pretty cool. And it seems like I can already see all the levels we need to get to, because I think it's the same amount of levels as the original world, so there are five levels, or actually, yeah, five levels in total, and then also a mushroom hut and a mystery block, so that'll be fun. Special one, two, 179 lives to start it off. Oh no, returning from Mario Galaxy, we have the dark Marios that'll follow every move we do, I think, as far as I remember. Man, I mean, it really does make me want to play Mario Galaxy. I, it's in the plans, I promise. But this guy, no matter how fast you try to go, will be right behind you. So if you want to not take a hit in this level, keep moving. You'll even go over invisible platforms that aren't even there anymore. What's over this way? Okay, this just starts me back at the beginning. Had to make sure I wasn't missing anything. We got the first star medal pretty easily. But the second one could have been really nearby. This level's already, obviously, a, a lot more difficult. Now, I don't know if there's any secret, oh no, you, you stinker. Come on, oh gosh, oh gosh. I don't think there's any secret exits to special worlds. I think we've already found all the secret exits, but I'll look around. There really aren't too many in this game. Oh no, here we go, here we go, ready? Oh, ah, that was good, that was good. Go back around. and I think I'm just good to go around this way. What is up here? Whoa, there's something, all right. Oh, but as you can see, there's no other way to really exit this level. This is the exit, I think. Whoa, ow, that hurt. Go down here, that's it, that's it, that's it. And I gotta quickly do this, or maybe I don't. Maybe the star power will save me. There it is, we got him. We showed him who's boss. What a fun level, very quick, but very fun. And I can just glide right over and boom, you got it. Super duper awesome. The first, the second level is done. Our first level with Dark Mario chasing us down now. That's a little scary. Okie doke, so there's that done. We got a mushroom hunt waiting for us, which is great because we do need something for our bottom screen, which is always good to grab, so let's get to it. Oh, it's nighttime here? Oh, that's so cool. I like that, that's fun. Hi Toad, oh look at you, you're all ready for battle too. You got your little Tanuki suit. It makes me think, I wonder if one at one point Toads were planned to be added as playable characters, seeing how they already have one of the, the suits on. Maybe not, this is gonna be an interesting character idea. Anyways, moving on to the third level. Well this one will be fun, it's one of those pixel art ones. Special one three. So, so far we're moving through this pretty quickly. There's a Goomba on top of a question block. I like it. I'm gonna slam down on this. Where are we going? I don't know what that is over there. I guess we'll find it when we get closer. Just trying to take a good look around. Aha! It might be an easier way to get to it though. Before I launch myself off in a cannon and fall to my doom. Oh, I already see a movable platform. Oh no, I thought a platform was moving. I just need to long jump over. There you go. Easy as that, it's a little pixel fireball. I like it. So I probably could have used a cannon to launch myself over, but it's not at all necessary, and this is probably a bit more safer. And launch myself back up. Oh boy, will I make it, will I make it? Yes, I will. So one thing I might wanna do is grab this and see what power up I, I get a, a power star, okay. Ooh, that actually could be pretty good, depending on how many enemies this makes. I could get a one-up or two out of this. Uh, There's one, and there's two, that's all I could get. Oh well, that was still pretty good. And of course, on the Goomba picture, it's gonna make a lot of Goombas, that makes sense. I love these kind of levels. These are my favorite in these kind of games, the retro-inspired ones, I just have like fun little throwbacks and stuff. On this little cloud, a Lakitu cloud, I suppose. Got it. Oh, they're going away fast. There it is, we got a one-up. Go into there. And what do we got going up this way? This is a bullet bill, so I'm expecting to find a bullet bill or two up here. Oh, there's the end of the level, I think. That'll be fun. Oh, what is this about? I'm going in. Oh, there's like a whole little area in here? What, oh, sneaky. All right, we got ourselves a mystery block, or mystery box, I suppose. I'm, I got a one up, that's good. It looks like that's about it. Oh, I almost got all of them too, that was pretty good. That was fun. Dodge more bullet bills. Looking around for any other kind of secrets like that. Watch it, buddy. I don't want to get hit, that's for sure. 
All right, got a couple coins down that way. Lots of interesting little secrets so far. But I'm getting a little worried, because I'm definitely, I don't know where the, uh, the next star metal is. Not in there. Lots of little secrets, but just not anything I'm really looking for. But in the meantime, go ahead and grab 100 extra seconds on the clock, and definitely take a good look around with this one. So we're on this platform right now. I feel like I may have missed something. Huh, I mean, I might be wrong. Definitely could be wrong. There's a star metal up that way. There's a very good chance that's the third star metal. Oh, here we go, got some music notes. I'll follow these around. Oh, this plays the underwater theme because we're on top of a cheap cheap. I got it. That's fun. Come on, almost got it, almost got it, almost got it. I'm catching up with it. There it is, <laughs> okay. Last note, the big finish. Oh, ooh, can we walk into this water? I don't, no, that, we died? Wait, why is it an endless pit? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you know what? It's probably on, yep, right before the bolt bill. It's right over here. Let's hope this makes it. Oh no. Oh no, we made it, cool. So there we go, there's that one. Awesome. So we're at two out of three now. So I know where the third one is. All of them were on fireball platforms. Gotcha. None of them were anywhere too tricky. Can go right through that, get a one up out of it. And honestly, I'm just gonna skip all this if I can manage because I'd rather not deal with it right now. We get this extra time because that could help me get like an extra life or something at the end of the level. So for right now, yeah, just go right through on top of the cheap cheap. And then what I'm looking to do now is go on to this pipe or this uh, cannon. Instead of going there, I wanna go over here and hope that I don't overshoot it. Oh no, oh close, but not quite. And then from here we should just be able to long jump over. Look at this, this is a super cool, whoa, 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 it disappeared there for a moment. This is so cool, it's like one of the Mario levels that are from nighttime or something. I love that idea. What is this about? Uh, got it, okay. Got some coins and everything. I think we made this work. And made it, awesome stuff, very cool. Wahoo indeed, that's a pretty cool song. I always like that little jingle when you complete a level. Alrighty, so there's that done, which means we can move on over to the fourth world of the special world one, which is going to be a beach level. Oh nice, it's the cheap cheeps jumping over the bridge. That's always fun to deal with. So there are some tough levels here in the special world you gotta be careful of. Last time we were in a level like this, there was a star coin over this way. But as you can see this time, no star coin to be found. Oh, I see. It's to be found, it's just to be found up here. So I definitely mix it up a little bit with some things. Watch it, buddy! Oh, I made it! Okay, we're fine. Go, 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 bouncing. Oh, watch out for that boomerang. I also wanna watch out, yep, for that Goomba. I feel like I wanna move over to my Fire Flower before I get hit and lose this Tanuki suit because if I really need it, I wanna be able to, okay, what is going on? I need a wall jump off of that, and watch out. Wow, that was close. There we go, there we go. Don't fall to my doom, though. Oh my gosh. The one difference about the gray tanuki leaf, I haven't mentioned, the stone tanuki leaf, I guess it is technically, is that visually the only difference is Mario is actually wearing a little handkerchief around his neck. So just a cool thing to point out, I suppose. Oh, hey, mushroom. That's gonna be for some free coins at the least. And I guess I'm going to over there. That's sort of a pointless one. You can just long jump over. Oh, poison mushroom. Does it chase you? Oh, it does. I don't like that. Sort of spooky. Oh, we're gonna, okay, I thought we had to jump off of you. Not quite. And boom, we got it. Oh my. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> my boomerang beats yours, apparently. Yeah, look at that. Super duper awesome, and just like before, we got ourselves another one of these which I'm pretty sure you need this to make it over. I mean, maybe not, but I'm not gonna risk it. We got ourselves the level complete. That actually wasn't so bad. I feel like we had more of a problem with the original. So, so far, so good. We are storming through Special World 1. And I think all we have net left is a mystery box in a castle. We should be able to handle that, shouldn't we? Okay, so S1 mystery box, let's check it out. The sooner we do this, the sooner we can save Luigi. Whoa. Okay, actually, I was about to grab that. I'm glad I didn't, because 
and I'm glad with what I have. I mean, I guess it wouldn't have changed so much. It would just made me have the boomerang one and keep the Tanuki Leaf in my second screen. So maybe that would have been better. Who knows? Save complete, awesome. And now 110 star, or yeah, star medals required. We have 161. As you can see, it opens up one of Bowser's castles. Not the castle, but one of them. Let's try it out. What do we got going on in this one? Almost 200 lives now. Oh no, Luigi! We'll save you, buddy! Wait, are we gonna be saving Luigi already? I thought it was gonna take eight more worlds. He, he must steal my way. He must be a cardboard cutout. Just a little bit more elaborate this time. I don't know. Oh, but we only have 30 seconds. Well, wait, when did that happen? <laughs> oh no, ooh, well, there's some extra time. So, oh, that's the fun challenge with this one. You start with really low time, but you gotta build yourself up. So there's that. I gotta keep moving then. Go, go, go. Because the more time we pick up, the better this will be. I like that idea, but it is super stressful. It's sort of like uh, New Super Luigi U, which we just finished playing not so long ago. Got it. Oh, wait. Got that as well. Very cool. So where is the next clock at? Oh, don't get hit by that stuff. Hmm. I'm gonna quickly grab this and then try to, whoa, take a look around. Oh, there it is. There's the star medal. So what I gotta do is I gotta grab that, keep wall jumping up this way. Will the time keep going when I'm in here? I hope not. I was at like 47 seconds. My goal is there. There's Luigi. But you know what's interesting now is that I don't have any more star coins left to get. Yeah, so it looks like time didn't go down in there at all, which is good. Grab that thing, got 10 more seconds. And where's Bowser at? Or at least the Bowser. Oh my gosh, it's Dry Bones Bowser. Or Dry Bowser, whatever it is. I was not expecting that. He is not happy. I know, I'm trying Luigi, I'm trying, I'm coming. It's called, where's like Mario, help. I wonder if I could just jump over to there right now. I don't know if it's worth risking. I can at least do this. But beyond the fact that he's this evil dry Bowser now, he doesn't seem to be all that much different. A little bit concerning that I messed that jump up, but now I can just keep running and see you. And we get 100 seconds out of that one, awesome. See you, buddy. No. Wow, I mean, I guess he's not too worried about it anymore because he's already made of bones. How much worse can it get, right? So that was actually dry Bowser. Hey, I saved you. All right, well, that was much easier than the princess. Figured you'd be able to get out of that no, you're, you know, on your own, no problem, but apparently not. All right, so now it's up to us to make this jump correctly. I hope I can do it. Long jump, yeah, we did it, awesome. So, there we have it, Luigi has been saved. Mario, you're, you're doing good by your brother, that's for sure. Wahoo, indeed. So, what are the rest of the seven other special worlds going to be if they're not to go save Luigi? Luigi's back. <laughs> Luigi's back, look at these two. The bros are together. That's super cool. All right, so as you may have noticed, that will unlock the ability to play Luigi at any point in time. If I press this little L button, yeah, okay, wait, it just said there. Press the little L button, you can now play as Luigi. Super duper awesome. I'm gonna do it right now, just to show you. All right, so we could play as Luigi, but I plan on only playing as Mario for right now, and that's for a good reason, I'll explain it later, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up. We got a uh, Special World 1 done. Now we're gonna be moving on over to Special World 2. Our motives are a little bit unsure at this point. We saved Luigi, what more are we here to do for? Or here to, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I guys want to find out together. There's not even a postcard at this point, which is a little bit odd. It's just straight up new levels, different gameplay, all that kind of cool stuff. We can even just skip right past levels if we don't like the look of them. But we're gonna be doing all of them. It's 100% series, of course. So let's get to it. S21 is this level, and it's already looking a little bit menacing by that preview of all those moving platforms and stuff. And oh no, it's an auto-scrolling level, all right. I don't like the look of it very much. I do like the music, so maybe that'll help me out a little bit. And do any of these have power-ups? I guess not. Some levels in this game are just so stingy with power-ups, it's crazy. I mean, maybe something will give it to me here. Something can cough it up. Oh boy. Hey, here we go, got rid of that piranha plant. I mean, the boomerang's very helpful, so I'm glad to have it, but it's always good to have a backup, and that's what I'm currently worried about. There we go. Oh, this guy's gonna spit fire at me, gotta be careful. I ought to be very careful, because the platforms and the, the camera and everything is moving on without me here. Okay, grab it, grab it. I can't see, I can't see one bit. 
and I fell. <laughs> I mean, I would have loved to continue going to the right, but the platforms weren't really helping me too much here. I guess I could use the camera a little bit, but it's hard to use this and move Mario at the same time. It doesn't work too well. Okay, but now we know at least a little bit more about what we're dealing with here. I can go ahead and grab that. And I could also do a little bit of that just to make sure there's nothing in those. Okay, be careful this piranha plant right here. Got him pretty good, actually. Oh boy. Ah, oh, you sinker! Come on, I couldn't even see you. So unfair. Because it's sort of like it pressures you to go to the next platform before you can even see what's on it. Because if not, you're you're going to get left behind by the camera. Ah, oh, that was gonna give me a fire flower. Which I must much rather would have preferred a tanuki leaf, but I'll take what I can get at this point. Uh, I gotta get back over there first. This is not an easy level to start with. Okay, that wasn't so bad this time, as long as I don't get hit again. Okay, I made it, I made it. Not so bad, not so bad. Still looking for two more star medals. Uh, What's in here? Oh, another firefly, oh, that's nice of them. Giving me a power up as well, finally. That's the first power up you get in this level, excluding the red coins, which, I mean, I guess, why would you exclude the red coins, I suppose? Where are these star medals at? I am missing two more. Oh, here we go. There's, there's, there's the second one, yep. No! <laughs> I bounced off the wrong side of it. Yikes. Okay, so th that time I made it, that's good. Oh gosh. Oh, still looking for star medal number three, though. Okay, going for it, jumping, and whoa. Wait, is that where we're supposed to go? I suppose it is. We made it, awesome. And now we're, oh, hey, it was, it's over there. Oh, that's weird. I like it though. So instead of using this platform to get to the end of the level just yet, oh no. Oh no, was I supposed to use, oh no. Was I supposed to use that piranha plant to get up there? I, I don't know if I can now. Oh no, really? That's not fair. Unless I want to come back with a tanuki leaf, which would be difficult to survive that level with it. Unless I can like wall jump off the side of this, which I don't think I can, and I don't think that's the intent. Oh, that's such a bummer. There has to be another way up there. Has to be, right? I, I don't know. I don't see what else there could be. Huh. I'm really disappointed by that, but well at the least, hopefully, let's see if I can't yeah, at least get that. I have to replay the level, preferably with a Tanuki Leaf, and hopefully we can get to the top of there, but man, that stinks. All right, so I did it. I made my way all the way here with the Tanuki Leaf. Let me just make sure this Piranha Plant doesn't hurt me, because that'd be very upsetting. And now I can just jump, and there you go. I don't know why you can jump ever so slightly higher with Tanuki Mario, but that definitely seemed to be the case. And what is this rock about? It just has a coin. Well, that's just odd. But hey, I did it. Might as well get a second one up out of it as well. Very cool, so we did it, we made it through, and yeah. <laughs> so awesome stuff, we finally got Special World 2 level one done. We still have a whole world worth of levels to do, one, two, three, four, five of them left to do, so yikes. Got our work cut out for us. Let's see what's going on in this level, looks like we got some underwater stuff to worry about, Special 2-2. Two, two. Oh, and only 30 seconds, just like the time we saved Luigi last episode. Let's go ahead and grab some extra time while we have the chance. I'm gonna sink like a rock because we are one. <laughs> okay, this this angle is not very helpful. This one is, at least more helpful. So we got some coins we could be getting as well. Honestly, not too interested in the coins. More interested in surviving, make it away to the end. Let me swim up here real fast. Will you even let me? Okay, there's nothing over there. Okay, go back down, go back down. And go on it. 24 seconds remaining. <laughs> Imagine if we were at the end of the level already, that'd be weird. Huh. Okay, I definitely go down here. I'm just sort of taking a look everywhere I can. Where in the world could the next star coin be? Star metal, you know what I mean. Huh. Oh, there's one, there's one. Okay, grab that, keep moving. I don't know which way is the right way to go, you know? Uh, so maybe something up here. We're down to 19 seconds here. I'm getting stuck on the ceiling, which is not good. Okay, well there's, not much up here, gotta be honest. We're eight seconds, seven seconds. Oh gosh, I am seriously cutting this close. Okay, we're up to 20 now. Maybe that doesn't add 10 seconds. Maybe that only adds five. Hey dude, watch it. No, that adds 10. It just goes down so fast. It doesn't feel like it. 
We're still looking for the third star coin. It's right there. So actually, the star coin locations are very, very simple. So if I have to do this again, I don't have to go crazy looking for them. That's good. That'll help me save some time. Okay, ready? Yeah, and use that to bounce ourselves upward. That'll save us a second or two. Grab that. Wait. Oh, that was only the second star coin. I don't know why I thought that was all three of them. Huh. Well, I'm glad I found, ended up finding it. That was weird. I don't know how I got that mixed up. But anyways, boom. That actually wasn't so bad of a level. Only 12 seconds remaining as I say that. But we made it work. Okie doke. So, there is the second level done. A lot easier than the first one in comparison to how many tries it took. But oh no. I see myself a giant pool of lava in this level with a self-moving, or not a self, a manually operated platform. That's what, it, what the correct term is, I suppose. Let's go ahead and try this out. I mean, to be honest with you, if we fell down below anyways, lava or not, we'd have to try again. So it actually isn't too big of a deal yet. Well, wrong way, wrong way. I do see all those fuzzies and they're not so fun to deal with. I don't know if spinning like this actually takes them out, so I will just try to be careful and jump over them. Oh, oh, speaking of which. Uh, oh, I got hit, and then I get another one, okay. Not really what I had intended, but at least I came out of that with the same thing I had coming into it. Didn't lose anything, that's always good. We gotta go quick, cause that platform's gonna fall off into the lava. Oh my, we got these guys moving around. Honestly, I'm just gonna duck and cover under them. I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, star medal number one, star medal number one. And here's our halfway point already. Oh, it was pretty fast. Okay, I got it. Moving over. Let's look for star medal number two. So I don't need that platform anymore. Might as well move this way. What will this have in it? Oh, poison mushroom, no! Get off my platform, get off. You know, fine then, you can have it. Uh, Probably could have benefited, from, I mean, I guess the red coins won't help too much. Yeesh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Where in the world is the second star coin at? Oh, we got giant jets of water. Where the wa Where's the water coming from as well? Okay, it's launching us, and then we gotta make the jump ourselves. I don't like it. Oh no, is it not gonna go off? Is it, excuse me. I guess that one was a little bit delayed then. Well, goodbye. That was just silly. All right, so I'm moving along this again. Honestly, is isn't turning out so well. I don't have a tanuki leaf or anything. Because tanuki leaf, they gave it to you at the beginning of the level, and I had a checkpoint. I feel like I was sort of disadvantaged by taking the checkpoint. When is this gonna go up? It takes its time, that's for sure. No, that's not what I wanted. It go this way, and then I'm gonna long jump over. That is so weird. You have to sort of like trigger it and then go backwards. It's, it's definitely odd. Oh my. I do see a star metal way down that way. I'm gonna go crazy though if it's somehow the third one. So I need to turn around right now and start working our way backwards and try to grab it real fast and then turn around again. Oh boy, that's number three. Where was number two? What the heck, I gotta play the level over now? Oh, that's gonna be the worst if so. Whoa, whoa, just barely dodging these dudes. Jump now. Yeah, that worked out. I don't know, I don't like this level very much though. I can tell you that much. I have no clue where that second star medal is and that's gonna be a tough one to find. Let's see if I mess up with this, because if I do, then I'll have to do the level over anyways. Nope, oh, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we got it. So now I just gotta do the level again and hope I can find star medal too. It's something, all right. This has been so much more difficult than the original uh, world so far. All right, let me hop back in. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, okay, turn back around and, oh no, oh boy, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, now I just gotta end the level, which I should be able to do no problem. So I guess I'll be right back. Oh no, 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 not this platform. I don't like this one. Oh boy, maybe I won't be right back. Maybe you guys will have to sit along with me. Ah, yeah, we're at the end, so we should be fine. I can't believe we did it. It took a little bit of work, but we made it work indeed. You know what, if I, I, I if I wanted to be foolishly risky here, that's yeah, not too foolish, is it? Is it? Oh no, we're fine. We're totally fine, look at that, boom. Let's go right into that. There we go, <laughs> took a second attempt. Alrighty, I'll grab some of that, and 
we should be good to go. I'll just try from here again. There we go, we'll get a one up and everything. Getting closer to 200 lives, but it's been a bit more of a struggle in this harder world. Definitely a lot harder than the first special world, and that wasn't so easy either. Okie doke. So, let's go ahead and go over to the Mushroom Hut now. I don't know if there'll be any power-ups I want, but there's only one way to find out, and that's gonna be to hop in. I need to do it anyways to get the completion, so might as well give it a try. Still, it's pretty cool in nighttime. There's a whole bunch of those uh, little lightning bugs around. And yeah, look at that. So it's not the stone one. As you can see, we don't have any kind of handkerchief, but that's fine. All right, so we're gonna head out of here. Awesome. And what about this next level? Looks like it's gonna be a snow level, which can be a bit of a challenge, right? Most of those levels are. And I do see the propeller caps, so that'll be interesting as well. Still one of my favorite power-ups. It's sort of a bummer, it's not really a power-up, it's more of like a temporary power-up in this game, because propeller cap is still one of the best power-ups in Mario history. I stand by that. All right, not so bad so far. Oh, I see a bunch of Goombas. I mean, okay, not enough for a one-up or anything, so I'm just gonna avoid them. Huh. So we were pretty familiar with this level before because it had a moving platform. I guess the challenge this time is that there's no moving platform. Alrighty. Oh, what's up here though? Any kind of cool must-have secret? You bet there's star metal number one. All right, so they're already starting out strong with the secrets. Nothing up there, gotcha. What about this? Oh, thank you very much. I will gladly take that power up, but now the other one went. Whoa, whoa. So once you jump off an enemy, it does replenish your spin, which is a little bit to get used to, to be honest with you. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Go ahead and grab that. Not really too much there for me. And then I'm gonna fly up this, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh wait, this is Star Metal. Wait, how am I getting that now? Huh, oh I see. I need to go ahead and bounce off of you. Oh no, that didn't quite work. There it is, awesome. And then I can go ahead and slam on the rest of you guys. That is such a weird jump. Because if you mess it up a couple of times, you just can't do it anymore because the Goombas won't respawn. I mean, I guess if you did mess it up, you could just climb up this and then go and get it. That probably made a bit more sense anyways. Okay, I had to get up here and then glide down. And got it. There's a one up, we're 199 lives. Let's keep going, see if we can't get to the big 200. And this gets a little scary. Once again, we need to bounce off of those guys. Just like that. We can get quite the combo though, as you can see. Might be even yeah, able to do something super cool like that. Whoa. All right. Yep, going over like that. And then it looked like there was something. Aha! A whole bunch of not real one-ups. That's sort of silly. That has to be a real one out of all these, right? There it is, I found it. All right, so, any way to get up there? Not looking like it. So I'm still missing one last star coin. Hopefully with enough diligent looking, we can find it. As another propeller cap if I needed it. But luckily, oh, I hear it. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, so, got it. And I'm gonna land on this newly appeared donut platform and try to do this without it being too risky. Got a couple of extra lives, we're at 203 now. Very cool. And then I can just go over this way. So wherever the end of the level is, is all I need to see now. And I'll be great. There it is, okay. So I should be able to get the top of the flagpole here. No problemo. Very, very cool. And as you can see, that is another level completed. That's been the easiest level so far today, I think. As far as I can tell. I like it. We should have more easy levels like that one on our repertoire. Alrighty, so with that one done, as you can see, our save is complete and we can march on over to S25, the final level before the final level of the world. <laughs> Has a bunch of flippity floppity platforms. Let's see what we can do about it. This one looks like it could be one of the really challenging ones. Most of these are. When they move this quick, oh, you better bet. Oh, Bumblebee. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy to deal with. So far, it isn't too bad. I just feel like these ones can get really tough. I'm gonna dodge a bee as much as I can for right now because these will eventually go away. You gotta be careful of that. Hmm. I'm gonna wait for that one. Oh no, not the poison mushroom. I'm gonna wait for that one to retract all the way and I'm gonna press all the buttons at once. Well, not all at once, but in similar intervals of time to one another. 
because I'm pretty sure this will lead to a star medal. It, it basically has to, yep, there it is. Oh boy, I made it, I made it. No problems, no problems. Okay, I don't need to deal with all those bumblebees. Let's grab that. What is over our head? Ooh, I see a little mystery block. Where will that bring me? Hey, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Gotta be careful. So there's like more than one, it's a bit of a maze. Whoa. Yeah, that one brings me right back here. Good to know. So am I just gonna have to make the right choice? Is that the whole dealio here? It's like, what if I try this one? Oh, that was a risky thing to do. Okay, brings me over here, aha! Star medal number two. All right, so now we know through process of elimination, a very lucky elimination. If I you know, did that wrong, I would have just been sent forward through the level, you know, without it being my choice, which wouldn't have been fun. There we go, we got it. So where is star metal number three? Maybe somewhere around here. Let's press these three buttons. They're actually all leading this way. Oh, it's, wait, whoa, it's closing in on me. Oh gosh, this is claustrophobic. Okay, I'm fine. Get rid of that bumblebee. Uh, where is this one leading? Oh, this is leading back around. <laughs> oh, I see, okay. Can I just, I don't think I can do that. But I know what to do now. So there's no problem though. Do that again. And then quickly, yep, got it. So far so good. And then once I get up here, I can follow this one again. And then instead of going to the right, I just go to the left. And I land right there on the third star medal. How cool is that? Now I know what to do. To the full extent of it. Gotta just jump up all these platforms. There we go. And then let's try out this one. Right there. <laughs> Obviously not too much to it. That's fine. Ooh, what do we got going on with this? Oh, that is weird. There we go. And let's go for it. Yeah, there it is. So super awesome. We got all three star medals and the golden flagpole. That one was a bit scary, but somehow we made it work, which is what truly matters. And our clear time is 2.14. So with that done, we got one more level left in the special world too. Let's see what it is. 120 star medals for this one. We're at 179, so I'm not fretting it at all. Whoa, it's our first airship of the special worlds. I don't think it can handle us. We're too experienced, right? I hope. Guess there's only one way to find out now, isn't there? Yahoo! I mean, sometimes the airship levels can be really fun. Sometimes it can be super duper tough. I'll grab that mushroom just for a couple extra coins. I love how sunny this one is. I feel like the last time we were here, oh no. It was all dark and mysterious and spooky. It was nighttime. I actually prefer it in the day. It's obviously a lot more friendlier. And no giant, uh, like spike pillars shooting out of us, or shooting out of that, like, cannon. Instead, whoa, we got bonsai build, thanks for the surprise. We also have spikes protruding from the ground. Lots of crazy stuff. It is funny how similar some of the, the level structure will really be. Go ahead and grab that. And let's take a look around, trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm a little worried. My memory is telling me one thing that might not be true, which is, is there a star metal? I don't think there is, I can't even get the camera up there. Like on top of the thing that shoots out the, the bonsai bill. I guess not, oh, oh, here we go. This is actually much more simple, just right there. There's star metal number one. And we'll get this halfway point. Oh my, this could be a bit challenging. Oh, especially if I do that, whoopsies. I'm just gonna dodge all those guys. So this is probably going to shoot out a bonsai bill. So I'm gonna wait for it to do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, almost messed that up. I guess it's not. Or maybe it only does, no! Oh my gosh. It could be so tough to be specifically specific on the flat, not the flagpole, on the circle paddle on the 3DS. It, it just, it's just tough, it really is. Okay, so let's try this again. Got it. And now I gotta move this way. Ah, oh, I tried to turn around for that. There go all of my power-ups. How stinky is that? Okay, wait right here, but not for too long. And hopefully the third and final star medal is down this way waiting for us. It indeed is. Along with it is some spikes, which I'm not a big fan of. Okay, here's my chance. Oh no, 
Oh, just barely well timed. And what about up here? Can we find a power up to help us deal with whatever boss fight we're bound to run into? It's not looking like it. Oh boy. Nothing, really? Looks like I get nothing. Oh wait, there's no boss fight. Oh. Well, that's peculiar. There's a fake one up over there. Not risking that. Why, why was there no boss fight? Huh, odd. Whoop, yeah, we did it. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it. World Special 2 is done. It lacks a special effect to it when there's no boss fight. But hey, it is what it is. World Special 2 is done. And along with it, all the star medals and golden flagpoles. Very cool, so we have Special 3 waiting for us after this. We are moving on to Special World 3. After Special World 2 being very difficult, I'm a little bit worried about this one, and this preview is not very uh, welcoming. It's looking like it could be a difficult one, timing those spinning platform, I guess like, what, what, would you, what would you call that? I guess just like swooping? These platforms, they swoop around, I guess? I don't know, but it won't be easy. There's a forest down below, and oh gosh, we almost already fell to our doom. I don't know if that's what I wanted to do. Uh, well, I can't go back that way. Okay, I'm going in the forest. This is not a good sign. Not a good sign one bit. <laughs> Let's try again, because I wanted to see what was on the top platform. I already have a feeling I might have missed out on something. And this is where it would be really, 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 really useful to have a Tanuki leaf. I guess there was nothing down there. All right, well, that's fine. That's why I have over 200 lives now, so that I can make silly mistakes and not have to worry about it. Ooh, hey, here it is. Oh. I sort of messed that up, didn't I? I guess I have to jump off at a certain time. Yeah, that's not gonna work. This is where a Tanuki Leaf would be very useful. I'm already tempted to go back to a previous level for one if this doesn't work out. We'll try it one more time though, of course, before we give up. All right, ready, Oop. See, it's like, this is, oh no. One more real level, try. <laughs> I really wish that these levels would just start with like one power up each, you know? Is that so much to ask for? That's sort of the weird difficulty thing with this game is that you get plenty of lives, the levels aren't too bad with power ups, but that you, you very rarely get the power ups you need. And it's an interesting way to approach the difficulty for the game, because most 3D Mario games aren't that bad with power ups. Well, I once again messed it, no I didn't mess it up, awesome, okay cool. And then I can go down this way and get the halfway point so I never have to worry about it again, awesome. Let's wait here and try to be very careful. Jumping for it, nice. And, whoa, super duper height off of that. And I need to, oh, that is so risky. What I have to do here is I need to do that. And then, oh no, oh, ho, ho, I thought I was gonna fall to my doom. And then let's see if I, okay, that was just a couple of coins. Once again, like that totally could have been a power up and it would have been totally justified. Uh, there it is, there's the one up. Now this seems to like be the more risky way. You can only imagine if there's red coins and stuff waiting for me. Got it, got it, and got it. Yes, I need that, I need that, don't fall to my doom. I'm having a hard time getting it. There it is, awesome. So let me turn around. First I'll get a couple of extra coins here, cause why not? I don't think I missed anything, so I think I'm good to continue forward, but I do have to be careful. Like, I would like to look back this way and check to see if I, oh no, I do see the final star medal over that way. Then I'm good. I'll land on this platform and I'll take a look at everything. It looks like in theory, I wanna wait and got it. Awesome, oh no. Oh no, well, well, Ah, so close, I went a little too far back. Yikes. There we go. Oh no, don't make this mistake twice. I'm making it twice. Oh no, 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 I'm not. We're good, we're good. So all I gotta do is land down here and I think the end of the level is coming up. So let's try to be ready for it. Ooh, I think it is. So jump for it, glide, and boom. What a tough one. That was definitely not an easy level to start with, but Hey, we made it through nonetheless. Maybe that'll be the most difficult level and we'll be all easy from here. I doubt it, but it's possible. Gotta keep that uh, positive idea going. Looks like I see some spinning platforms in the next level. This, level. this music is so relaxing now. I like it. <laughs> Helps me zen out after a super tough level like that. Going into three, two now. Okay, actually, let me check back here. Is there anything? Not quite, okay. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. 
Usually these, these levels with the spinning platforms can be a bit of a challenge and I'm trying to be aware of that. What does this have? Not much. Oh, I guess I gotta use it to get up here. Gotcha. Oh, there we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Honestly, most of the levels that start with a power-up of any kind make it a whole lot more promising, so not as worried now. Even if we have a hard time with the level, we should be able to at least bounce back in some way. We can always just like, you know, come back in with a power-up. And that's sort of the thing, is like sometimes you feel so pressured not to make a mistake, because if you lose your power-up, you might have to leave and go to an entirely different level to get it back. And that can be a bit stinky. But hey, we don't have to worry about that for this level. Ooh, what is that? Oh, there we go. Hold on, I need to get up like that and... Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Not very good at this, apparently. There it is. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I just had a hard time with it for some reason. So we're just looking for one more final star coin and we're good. I will look far and near near and far that that's those are the words so focused on trying not to slip off this platform it's hard to get my sayings right and it's right here i feel like that's very similar to the level this is based off of in the main game i don't know anyways yeah even this this uh, green spinning block trying to just get it just right so that we can go and do that that was definitely a much easier level awesome awesome stuff and mario is one step closer to completing the game even though I'm still a little confused on our motives. Like it's clearly not to save Luigi or the princess. It's just for fun. Go and beat up more levels. Why not? Have a good time. Anyways, we got S33, which I know, I remember what level this is based off of. It wasn't easy originally. So I can't imagine this one will be all that much better, especially with only 30 seconds left on the clock. Okay, uh, let's count. <laughs> There's no dilly dallying. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Bounce up like that then. Watch it there, Piranha Plant. I need that star metal on the top of your head if you don't mind. There it is. Okay, going back this way. I need that extra time as well. Man, I don't know if it's worth the extra time I sacrificed to go and get it, but we're about to find out. So, so far this level is very similar to the original with the only, you know, uh, difficult part being some of the fuzzies running around. Actually, that concerns me then because there usually was a star metal over that way. Nope, it's just chilling out over here. Well, that's quite easy. I mean, I'll take it. Let me go ahead then and get that and hope I don't get hit. Oh, actually, no wait, can I go back down? I don't know if I can. So obviously it may not be worth getting. Okay, where's star metal number three? It's gotta be around here, right? First get that extra time because I'm really starting to run low. Oh, there it is, there it is. Got it. This diagonal rope is making it very confusing. I don't know why this game loves making weird perspectives happen. I'm about out of time and I don't have any power-ups left. No, that is so wonky. I don't like it one bit. Okay, well, let me try again. This time, no power-ups, but to be honest with you, star coins weren't too bad. If we can get that one, I don't know. Oh, come on, that one was sort of baloney though. You can't deny. Got it. And I'm gonna long jump over this way. Go like that, and then jump for this one. Got it, and we're good. Okay. Watch out for this fuzzy, grab the time. Definitely doing a whole lot better this time. Grab it, go. The last star metal is super duper easy, but if we could, as we're going along, grab that, make it even easier for ourselves, right? We have the chance. Gotta try to. Okay, so the, the rest of this should be easy as pie, right? There it is. Ooh, watch it. Okay, we're making it, we're making it. Bouncing off of him, we're making way better time. And into that block. Okay, there's where things get a little bit scary. Use this extra 10 seconds. I mean, we, we have plenty of time to make this work, so we should be fine, as long as I don't mess up a ton. Ooh, got it. Awesome, so it only took two tries. Not as easy as the previous level, but definitely not as hard as the first one. Yeah, <laughs> good job, Mario. So with that completed, a clear time of 89 is not too bad, to be honest with you. We got ourselves a mystery block level. These usually aren't too difficult, but I would hope that that's not gonna change. <laughs> Let's find out as we hop into this one. Okay, yep, I was expected to use the boomerang there. I, actually, I might as well get it. I don't have anything for my second slot. I grab a couple of extra coins along the way. 
Very, very cool. All right, well, there's that done. One extra star coin for us, a star medal, sorry. How many do we have in total now? A whopping 192, pretty cool. Ooh, sometimes these levels with the spinning or the, I guess, swinging, yeah, that's that's the word for it, swinging, not swooping. Swinging uh, spike roller things are not so easy, especially when they're moving this quick. I don't like that one bit. Okay, Mr. Boomerang bro, get on out of here. Didn't even drop a boomerang for me, how rude. And what about you? You gonna drop a boomerang power up? Not quite. Okay, whoa. Be careful. Aw, oh, that was a little tough. There's definitely a rhythm to it. There we go. I'm holding onto this Tanuki leaf for as long as I can. If I don't need to use it, I really don't want to. Anything up here? Not quite. Oh no, we got some of this teeter-totter platforming. Never a big fan of this, but instead of the rollers this time, we just got giant spike balls that just sort of formulate in the air. That's a little bit more dangerous now, isn't it? Oh, oh, there it is. How do I get that? By just wall jumping. I, I, I like that one, that was pretty cool. Nice and sneaky. All right, I'm bouncing off of you. Oh, I got that beautiful combo. It gives me a boomerang for that one. Thank you very much. Oh, these just make a full rotation. Well, that's a tad bit different. Gonna get, have to get used to timing that, if ever. Oh, what? Whoa, he just like slipped right off the side. Mario, when did you put butter on the bottom of your shoes? That's not good. <laughs> All right, well, we're not too far off from where we were. I should be able to get back there. Okay, this segment is actually quite easy when you know what you're doing. I mean, the segment coming up, not so much. But I know this boomerang bro on the right should give us the, oh, actually, maybe not. I guess it just gives it to us whenever we def defeat both of them. Well, thank you very much then. I'll take that and we'll keep moving. Once again, I do not want to have to use, ah, that was just me being bad. I do not want to use the Tanooka Leaf if I don't have to. It's sort of like jump roping, just with a lot higher risks. Doesn't sound very fun. Uh, let's jump. Oh my, so we've made our way through, getting all of the star medals we need. What's on this side? Okay, I don't want to have to because this might be a bad idea, but I need to use the uh, Tanooki Leaf now. All right, ooh, this jump's scary. And then we got it, we got it, we got it, we're good, we're good. Yes, super duper good. And look at that, another level completed. That one was a bit stressful, for sure. But as long as we make our way through okay, it can be as stressful as it wants to be. All righty, so what's next? We got one more level left to go before the airship of this world. And this one has one of those, oh, this is the timing. I like these, these are fun most of the time. Yep, oh, it's slower. And this time it's only one block at a time. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, lucky with the Tanooki tanu 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 leaf. That's a tongue twister. Uh, this should become a whole lot easier than intended. I mean, maybe it'll give me one. Nope, that is a poison mushroom. It doesn't want to give me anything, except for pain and suffering. Which, you know what, I'm not interested. Can we, uh, oh, he just gives up when he get past him. That's sort of sad. Is there nothing up here? Huh, odd. All right, let's keep going. Oh, is it over here? There it is, okay, we got it. That's star medal number one. And once again, we can skip a fair chunk of this just by simply not participating with the Tanooki Leaf. I guess that's why it probably doesn't give it to you, because it totally breaks the level. But I mean, they could have changed it. They could have, you know, kept that in mind. All right, so one, two, three, there you go. I probably could have just long jumped. It would have had the same effect, but you no, know, I'm gonna do it whatever way works. So we're looking for one more star medal. So this one's actually tricky because the platforms sort of get in the way of each other. Oh. Oh, there it is, there it is. I think that's the same place the third one was on the on the level, you know, based off of this in the main game. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Watch it, buddy. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Going across here. Nice. And this is where the ending is. So, two, three. Oh, no. Problems. There we go, there we go, we're fine, we're fine. And boom, we got it! Awesome, first try. So it really wasn't the first level was the most difficult one, and all the subsequent ones were a lot easier. So that's awesome. 
Now, I mean, I say that, we still have the airship to tackle, but I feel like that's sort of like in a league of its own, if that's super difficult, you know? Uh, but yeah, 140 of these. They really do expect you to get just about all of them at this point. Not every single one of them. Like, they, they give you a gap of 58 right now, but I mean, compared to what we've gotten before, like, that's still, you, know, you gotta keep up. Okay, so 206 lives to, to lose here on this airship. Last episode we did an airship and there was no boss fight at the end, so I'm a little curious. Whoa, the camera's moving fast. I was not expecting that. Um, that might complicate a few things here. And there's star metal number one. Hold on, give me that, thank you. But we'll have to see if this one has a boss fight at the end of it or not. Maybe none of them do now. It would be both interesting, disappointing, and a little bit relaxing. Knowing that once I get to the end of the, oh, level, it's the end of the level, all right. Oh, and here's star metal number three. Well, that was super quick. Okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall to my doom there. This is super scary right now. Wow, I didn't even see that one. Oh, that was close. Yo, it's, are, we, are we at the end? Let me get this. No way are we at the end. We're at the end. That was the easiest airship ever. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I thought the special world was gonna be more difficult. Pfft, not quite. I'm sure it could be difficult. I mean, I just got a little lucky. But still, I had a great time with that one. And Special World 3 completed in under 20 minutes. That is wicked fast. All right, so yeah, with that done, as you can see, our save is complete, and we are all done with Special World 3. We are moving on over to Special World 4. After we get this one done, we're halfway through the Special Worlds already. It's been going by real quick. And for the first level of this world, we got ourselves a big old tower. Sort of reminds me of TikTok Clock from Super Mario 64, which is pretty cool. Obviously, it is sort of kind of different, but I don't know, just like the initial glance of it made me think of that. But uh, yeah, there were six levels in total to complete in today's episode. It'll be interesting. See, I think this is a bit of a gauntlet. I think, yeah, there's gonna just be different enemies falling down from above, and we're gonna have to deal with them. Well, the boomerang is very helpful for that, even these Goombas. There we go, whoop. And you two, don't, don't you think I forgot about you? Boom, from behind and everything, awesome. And oh my, it's moving to the right now. Gotta keep her eyes open for any kind of uh, Tanooki Leaf, because that could end up uh, sneaking by, not Tanooki Leaf, Star Metal, because I can end up sneaking by us, and then before we know it, it's too late. Oh, we're going up now. I might actually want to change to the Tanooki Leaf. Oh gosh, we got a Koopa. And boop, knocked it that way. Got rid of that dude, awesome. What will this have for us? The Poison Mushroom, I don't like that. Not fun. What is with this shadow of a block? Huh, there's a couple shadows of blocks. I guess they're, ooh, they're coming up. This one has a Prada Plant on it. You know, this would have been so much easier if I didn't have to deal with a, a darn <laughs> uh, poison mushroom. Note taken for next time I go through this level if I die. There's not been a single star metal. That's really concerning me. Either this level's really long, or I'm really bad at seeing them right now. Both of those situations concern me greatly. I just don't know how to get rid of the thing. I mean, I guess if I were to do that, there we go. Tanooki Leaf saves me again. Where are the star medals? How cool would it be if, if like, you survived the whole thing and it just gives you all three star medals just for free? I mean, I don't know if that'd be all that useful. Here is a star medal. And what do you know? That's the first one. Oh no. Well, goodbye. I'll miss you. That stinks, no. Uh, I probably should have switched over to the boomerang ability while I had the chance. Man, you go a really long time there without a star medal though. Ah, oh, I tried the time, it didn't quite work. Oh well. Okay, so I'm back here. All I have is a boomerang right now, which I'm doing my best with. And go ahead and get rid of those bob bombs. Try to hit this coin dude again. Oh, come on, how was I supposed to know that was there? That was baloney. My, I had this whole plan where I was gonna throw the boomerang at the, the star metal, and that would have been awesome because then I wouldn't have to actually get off the platform. And now it's all ruined. How was I supposed to know? Oh, total baloney. Okay, yeah, let those guys try to jump at me. And then ready, go for it. Got it, and goodbye. That's really ridiculous. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I got hit, but I made it. Okay, that's good. Jeez, is that tough or what? I don't know what to do about that sometimes. It's been a not easy level. Why are the, the first levels of each world so crazy tough? And you know what? 
These three comics are proving me right. What I even do about this is mini Mario of all characters. Oh, can I get like a checkpoint soon, a half point flag? Or a checkpoint flag, halfway point flag, whatever it's called. I would appreciate, how did, you can't even tell where they are, up or down. It's impossible to tell. What the heck? I gotta do it all over again. Okay, so far so good on this one. Haven't taken any damage, I mean I have taken some damage, but I haven't taken as much damage as I did before, so that's good. I can only hope that they aim at me, but it's very clear they just aim in random directions. And seeing how you can't really tell where they are, they don't even have shadows. And sometimes they're a little bit higher, sometimes they're a little bit lower. The perspective is just messed up there. And where in the world is, wait, what is happening? Okay, they're all moving. Uh, That was weird. Where is the last star metal? Is it up there? Can I even reach it? Oh, I can get up here. But is it here? Oh, it is, it is, it is. Boop. Wait, did I get it? I got it, nice. Okay, so now the hope is that just from here I can... Yeah, look at that, awesome! So we got it, all three star medals in the top of the flagpole. That was a bit of a scary jump, but well worth it in the end. Awesome. So with that, as you can see, our clear time is 2.14. Nothing too impressive. But now, we get to go over to a a ghost mansion. Not really too comfortable with this one. Haven't, I don't think we've done a ghost mansion in the special world yet. And of course, it has evil Dark Mario. That's just great. Whoa, hey, dude, watch it. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go a little bit slower than that, I suppose. So I'm already down a, uh, some health. Okay, this is bad. I don't know why, but I just feel like he controls so slippery sometimes. Got it, okay. So far, so good. I don't know where I'm, I guess I'm going this way. No star medals just yet, but we're, I don't think we're all that far into the level. Oh boy. Okay, that worked out all right. Okay, I don't care about anything else as long as I can maybe get a power up or two somewhere. That's there, There's no power ups there. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> All right, I may have been moving a little too fast, but can you blame me in a situation like that? I don't think so. Watch it. Not doing that twice. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Ready, long jump over, and that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> one more time, one more time. I really haven't gotten too much higher than 200 lives. Oh, I just can never learn from my mistakes, can I? Jump on this button and keep going, keep going, keep going. Got it. Okay. Go like this, grab that thing. Ooh, watch out for the ghost version of us. Don't need to worry about that, but I do need to worry about this. Come on, come on, come over here. You sneaky little star coin, why did I do that? Okay, that's how I got it, which is interesting. I'm gonna try to grab this star, get rid of our ghost friend. I don't know if he's gonna come back. He likely will, but for right now, I've gotten rid of him, which is nice. And there we go, we got a couple one-ups out of it as well. Awesome. So, and our Tanuki, which is probably the most important thing. So what's going on over this way? Anything? Nothing. It would be really nice if he just doesn't show up. Oh, here he comes. All right, buddy. What do you want from me? He always says it so tauntingly. I think that's the way we're supposed to go. So what is over this way? Nothing. So there's no star metal anywhere around here. If you say so, I'm moving back this way. Gotta keep going. Try not to get hit by anything. Just checking around this area to make sure. Sort of unfair that he gets to, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we going? I guess this way. Um, it's sort of unfair that he gets to sort of float around when he doesn't even have a power up, but I guess he is supposed to copy every one of Mario's moves. There we go, go right over his head. How do you feel about that? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Going this way, going that way. You got it. Nice. Is he gone? Oh, look at that, he's gone. What happens if I go back over here? Does he show back up? You bet he does, that's funny. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm gonna get you again. Nope, too late. I'm just gonna taunt him while I have the chance. I mean, he might show back up around here, so we gotta be careful. Oh, he does. Oh, he really, really does. He's back with a vengeance. No, oh gosh, that's really awkward. Got it, got it, and oh no. Oh no, yes, okay, we got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, but it worked. Just took a couple tries. The ghost mansion is complete. Definitely this is a tougher world so far. We'll see if that continues. We're two out of the six levels done. I see a bullet build to my right. It's gonna be another beach level. Huh, 
This one might be sort of new. Might be a bit different. Oh, you know what? I wasn't born yesterday. I played a Mario game before. What's up here? Nothing. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe I'm not as good as I thought. Okay, any of these have power-ups? Most likely no. Oh wait, oh, okay, spoke too soon. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. I feel like this level's gonna be a bit difficult. What's down this way? Whoa, watch it. Am I going the way I'm supposed to go? I suppose so. I thought that was, that this, the way I was supposed to go was the other direction. And I might as well grab this stuff too. That's a one-up. There's nothing around here? Huh. Very suspicious if you ask me. Guess I'll move over to this bridge. Look, like our first star medal's coming up if we didn't, oh my gosh, okay. Don't know where that came from. Where did that come from? I think I need to turn around to find out. Well, in the meantime, I can wall jump up. Oh no, mistakes, mistakes, run. And that was the second star medal, hold up. Ow, why'd I do that? <laughs> oh, well, I also didn't mean to do that. <laughs> where is it? I, I didn't see it at all. So I definitely missed out on something. It wasn't on the top left, but it could most definitely be somewhere around here, so. Ooh, almost didn't get that guy. Where could it be? Wherever it is is real sneaky. Because like I'm, oh, whoa, 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 that just turned them around. Oh, that was odd. Uh, let me wall jump, or long jump back over. Can I get a boomerang? I mean, I'll use it, but. Maybe it's in the waterfall. Oh, it is! That is so tricky. Huh, okay. I sort of just did that expecting I might just fall to my doom. And it worked out quite well. You know what, sometimes you just gotta take that leap of faith and see where where it brings. Why'd I do that? Oh, oh okay, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Can we get up here? Oh, look, another boomerang. I'll take it. Yeah, I sort of missed out on that one before. Ah, oh, but I was I thought I had another wall jump situation there. And there's the end of the level already. Huh, I mean, looks like we still have a little bit more left to survive, and surviving it is a big question right now. Okay, I got it. Oh, that is not easy. Can we just get rid of you two? Thank you. There's a boomerang bro being a total jerk. Being anything but a bro, to be honest with you. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. Whoa, whoa, watch it, dude. I need to get rid of you, and you will not give me a boomerang. I'm pretty sure I need a boomerang to get that. I mean, I may not. No, I definitely do. Look at it. I will try. Might be a big mistake. And then wall jump off, and then wall jump again, please, Mario, pretty please. You could have just do another wall jump. Ah, oh, I, I need a boomerang for that. Okay, so I finally have made it over this way. So what I think I have to do, and this is a bit tricky, is I need to do this, turn around, throw the boomerang. And there we go, see that's what I had to do. Now I can switch back to the Tanuki Leaf, get back over here, gotcha, and now I can just go ahead and end the level. Awesome, okay, so we did it. It was a bit complicated for sure, a little bit on the challenging side, but as long as it works, that's what matters to me, so course clear, awesome. And as you can see, we got a good couple of coins for that one as well. And we can get back out to here. Now there's actually a mushroom pot waiting for me. I feel like I need to save it for later. So that's exactly what we're gonna do for right now because I have a I have a double slotted power up. So I got one main one right now and one in the bottom screen. So I'd like to save it. We got another 30 second level here. Getting a little bit of everything. Oh, landing, oh no, that was just me being really bad. Uh, landing on the enemies is going to give me a, uh, some time. I was gonna say a star coin, but it's not true at all. Boom. So that's gonna definitely be our focus. I love that idea, that's really fun. Boop, got it. Long jump over to you, and mess it up. There it is. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. Get some coins while we're at it, cause why not, we're waiting here anyways. Gotcha. Only problem right now, oh, what about here? Got a one up. Not exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for some star metal goodness, and not finding too much of it. There's some extra time. Do we get a power up? Not quite, oh no. And goodbye. Wow, he fell really fast, poor Mario. Yikes. Let's try that again. We know what we're doing now, so it hopefully won't be too bad. Ooh, build up some speed that way is always fun. 
Boom. What? Oh, come on. The camera's at this weird angle where it's not quite top down, but not quite behind Mario. It's gonna give me that baloney. Get out of here. There we go, we're definitely making better time than before. Like I could use my boomerang Mario, but I just feel like it's not something I should have to do in this situation. Get rid of him. I could also go get the one up. I don't know if that's worth it. Got him, I do see where the last star medal is. Don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to, okay. You know what, I'll get this just in case, cause I have a feeling maybe I'll need to get that star coin as well. Don't want that to be a risk, so might as well just get everything set up now, I have the chance. Gotcha. That's not gonna have much, is it? And then long jump. I don't know if it was exactly worth the long jump because I can just land right on top of this Goomba. Back at the 58 seconds. So what is going on with this? Oh, there's the star medal. So to get that, I don't know if this is the intended way, but I could just, yeah. There it is, awesome. Boomerang saving me again. Ooh, boom, there it is. <laughs> Okay, this definitely could have been a lot worse. A bit of an odd level, but a fun concept, destroying the enemies to get more time. I wish there were more levels like that. Maybe we'll run into more in the future. Anyways, only two more levels remaining for this world. It's been a bit longer than last episode for sure, but not too bad overall. We got some booze, we got some falling poffins. This is the first level we've had that has booze without it being a ghost mansion, I think. That one doesn't seem like no ghost mansion I've ever seen. Uh, I think we can actually destroy this, yeah, with the boomerang. The boomerang's a really cool power up. I feel like I still like the Tanuki more, and there's definitely something behind there. I wanna find out what it is. Of course, it's a star metal. What else would it be? Who knows? Uh, oh gosh. I don't trust this very much. And of course, platforming isn't any easier with boomerang Mario, so that's something you gotta be careful of. These boos aren't very nice either. Can you guys just get out of here? Ooh, superstar though. I'll take it. Let's just try to be careful not to get taken out by anything silly. Got it, got it, got it. Nice, okay. Red coins. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, well that one up's gonna go bye-bye. <laughs> no way I'm getting that one. Sort of a silly placement for it to be honest. Got it. And there we go. Oh, what's up this way? Well, I mean, I guess this is the way I'm supposed to go. Still missing two star medals, but this is one of them for sure. Hold on, oh, I can't wall jump off of that. I can only wall jump off of this. Well, there's star medal number two. So we're on pace. Oh, and here's star medal number three already. Wow, that was really quick. Very, very uh, close to each other. Which, I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh my. You know what, let's long jump. Go for it. Yeah, not bad. So. Got a little bit more to survive, it seems. Oh, oh my gosh. No, 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 no! I was trying to long jump and he crouched and he just didn't do the jumping part for some reason. We were at the end too! Darn, that stinks. There we go, that's what I intended to do originally. It just didn't work out for me, that, but that time it did. So, that is awesome. Not that bad as of a level then. Just the very end of it was real challenging. Would have been much, much easier with the, with the leaf power, but it's okay. So now that we have like no powers at all, this is when I'm gonna go ahead and use that mushroom hut to at least give me a little something, right? Whatever it might be, would be nice and helpful. Yeah, let's go on in. Maybe we can get a leaf, that'd be good. A stone leaf would be the best. Ah, uh, we'll get a boomerang. I like boomerangs, but I feel like they're just limited on their usefulness comparative to leaves, so. That's the only thing I get disappointed on. Anyways, we're gonna leave this level and now we can just go and tackle the airship and we'll be good to go. That'll be awesome. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Keep moving and boom. 160 star medals, we have 216, so we have over 56 more than we need. I mean, I guess that's staying on pace. The amount we have over it. Alrighty, let's give it a shot. Doesn't seem like it could be too bad, right? The last couple of airships have actually been quite easy. The last airship we had last world uh, was the easiest airship yet by far. Uh, so let's see if that continues here. Got a couple of coins to pick up. And what's refreshing about this one, we can move the camera instead of the game just having an auto moving camera. Let's see if the level's a much more difficult one to reflect that way. What, what? Oh, for a second, I thought we were going against a boss fight already. I was like, okay, this is where all the bosses have been. They've all been in this airship. We just 
join the wrong one. Let's go ahead and grab this boomerang so I have something in my bottom screen. Whoa, well for a second I thought like I went into the wall there, that was weird. And there's another hammer bro. Hammer bros aren't too common in this game, it's mostly just a boomerang bros, and ooh, I'll take that. I might wait for that to retract before I go on there. It is weird though, it's only leading, oh no, th th there's a star metal up there, all right. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't see the shadow of it for some reason, but now I do. I guess only when you get close to it do you see it, that you can't see it from afar, I guess? I don't know how that works, or why they would do it that way. Ooh, lots of boomerangs, hey! That was rude, get out of here! And what will this one be? Oh, something up here then. Oh, well, oh I see, hold on. Let me go back down, let me get my other boomerang. You definitely need that to make that work. And one, two, three. Whoa, I almost jumped, oh, like that, right off. Oh my gosh, he's so slippery sometimes, I swear it's not me. Okay, it's most likely me, but it doesn't feel like it. I can tell you that much. Okay, there we go, I got rid of all of them. Not bothering me anymore. So let's just try to be nice and slow about this. I don't even need to run. Go ahead and do that, turn back around, and wait for that boomerang to come back to me. Ooh, almost got him there. Ooh, he's gonna drop a fire flower out of all things, interesting. So I wanna go and see what's on to the left. Before I do, let me just get this checkpoint so that way if I die, I don't have to start from the beginning. Oh, there's something. Oh, there is something. It is star coin number three. Oh my gosh, see this is why I'm glad I got the checkpoint. I don't have to play the whole level over, even though now every time I die I have to go get it. I feel like that's worth it because that's a problem. <laughs> it's just so easy to swivel on a little circle pad on the 3DS. I sort of wish that there was a way to connect a controller to a 3DS, but there isn't, unfortunately. I thought that'd make every 3DS game like 7,000 times easier. Anyways, oh, okay, we made it, sort of. I'm over here now. And what are we doing? There actually is a boss fight, unless it's more Hammer Bros and stuff. I don't think so, it is! Boom, boom! Alrighty, so we'll try to keep how we are right now until we get hit. That way I can now spawn something in. But I gotta be careful, because now he's spinning, in, spinning around like a wild, wild shell dude. Is he a turtle, technically? I already got hit, so there goes my boomerang stuff. This is where things get a lot more risky. Are you kidding me? I tried to bounce off him, it just didn't really work. This is not easy, this is not easy. Oh, come on, am I so bad that I can't even, I hit the spikes by myself. Oh my gosh, that's tough. But hey, maybe I can get a power up back from you. That'd make this easier. Ready, boop. Yeah, look at that, okay. I can't complain as much now. That makes it much easier. But, uh, uh, never mind. All right, so I got him that time just by hitting him with fireballs, that's pretty good. He actually starts on the spikes, he's pretty powerful. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, come on, well there goes my fireballs. That stinks. Come on, hit him again, hit him again. I could barely even see if I was over him there or not. I don't like it. Oh, come on! I was in the middle of the air before I even knew if it was popping up or not. That wasn't really cool. Okay, one last time. Boom, got him. That's what I wanna see. Perfect, so we got him. It took a little bit of effort, for sure, but there we go. See, so yeah, I guess this is why they made us wait until we had another airship fight, because it was gonna be real tough again. <laughs> so what's going on with this one? Uh, well, first off, I gotta get this and... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, you can't just hit me with the double whammy. Not like that, oh no! <laughs> I'm not good. All right, well, this time I'm at least Big Mario, I'm not Fire Mario, but I did what I could to get 100 of extra seconds here. Oh, I don't like this one one bit. I don't like it. They really did hold off on the boss fights for a reason. That perspective drives me nuts because it's so hard to tell where exactly she is and where you're gonna jump. I feel like the, I love this game. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like it definitely is a significantly more difficult game when you don't have 3D enabled. And once again, I can enable 3D. This is on a 2DS, so yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work out so well for me because it, the depth perception stuff basically goes away once you play in 3D. But just sometimes it can be really darn tough to know exactly where you're jumping, like right there. I can't really tell the difference between if I'm gonna land on her arm or her head, or just like, oh, come on. Okay, so let's see if this goes any better. I'm a little doubtful of it, but it's been real tough. It has not been easy whatsoever, but maybe if I throw a few fireballs. Oh, I got rid of a boomerang that way. That's actually quite nice. This actually might be 
or kryptonite is just throwing fireballs at her over and over again. Oh, 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 be careful. All right, so I gotta run around like a little maniac right now and hope that she doesn't take me out. Okay, that's pretty good. I might just wanna jump on her this time. I mean, I try to pay attention to Mario's shadows, but that's only for like a fraction of a second, you know? Doesn't always work so well. I'm gonna run down this way, got it, got it, got it. And, whoa, I forgot that she was gonna jump over. That was my bad. Boom, there it is. Awesome. Now, I hope that's it. Is there gonna be a third one? Maybe uh, the unknown, there's boom, boom, pom, pom, and then like, I don't know, boop, boop, or something? Oh no, how do we get to this one? This has me concerned. Uh, I really hope that a good long jump will do us well here. Oh, I am very nervous. Maybe I should check that out of the question block to see if that has a power up. It does not. Oh no. Uh, hard to tell. I'm exactly getting on top of it. Yes, okay, thank goodness we don't have to do that level again. Cause I would have no clue how to survive that whole thing with the Tilky Leaf, that would be so tough. Well, we don't have to worry about it and that is super duper awesome. So, course clear. That might actually be one of the toughest levels yet so far in the game, just because of the back-to-back -back boss fight not being so easy in the level, not being a cakewalk before then. So there we go, we are now halfway done through all of the special worlds. Moving on to special world number five. Now we're over halfway through the special worlds. Let's get started with this one, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. We got quite a few levels to get through, starting with this one with the little flip panels. That'll be interesting for sure. I did wanna clear something up really fast before we move on. A lot of people have been asking me to play as Luigi, and I just wanna say that I will be playing as Luigi, but I'll be doing that in its own episode because you do need to complete every level in the game as both characters. So it's gonna be a whole lot easier just to play through it all as Mario right now, and then worry about the rest later. I don't know if we can get up there as normal Mario, but I think it'll be, oh no. I haven't played in a couple days, by the way, so I might need some time to warm up. But yeah, that's why I'm not playing as Luigi today or until we're done with the game with Mario, then we'll play through it as Luigi and we'll see how things go from there. So don't worry about it, I am gonna do it. I just need to do this first. Okay, whoa, watch it. Okay, so be careful. Slam down here and let's keep going. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, ooh, grab this thing right here. This is the, uh, the Tanuki Leaf. And let's get up this way, ready? Oh, got it. Not so bad, and that's the first one, which is exactly what I wanted to see. I'm gonna grab that, and now we are over here. I'm gonna actually back it up real fast to make sure there's nothing, doesn't look like it, okay. So I'm gonna get up this way, very nice. Whoa, watch it, watch it, oh no! Oh, that was close, I don't like it. And which way are we supposed to go here? I think we're supposed to, yeah, go to the right. So I'm gonna go to the left, because I'm just a contrarian that way. Oh no, oh no, it didn't like that I did that. It really didn't like I did that. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh gosh. So where are we going now? I would really like another Tanuki Leaf if, if the game was willing to give it, but. Okay, there's the last uh, star metal right there, so what I gotta do for this one then, it looks like, is I need to jump, glide, and land here. Excellent, so far so good. So I'm gonna make my way up this way. Oh no, we gotta move it quick. Oh no, ooh, close, wowee. That was pretty cool though, I like it. So with that one done, the first level of Special 5 is completed, and the course is clear. I like it. All right then, so our clear time is 104, and we can keep moving forward. A four word. All righty then, save complete. Let's go on to Special World 5 too, where they got these little rolling spike things again. Hopefully we can handle them a little bit better this time. Oh no, and we got this guy. Good old dark evil Mario. Okay, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I cannot believe that didn't hurt us. Oh, that was weird. But if we could get an extra power up just to stow away, that'd be awesome. I don't know what the chances are of that actually. That was just coins. Okay, come on, ready, set, go for it. Ooh, no, not what I meant to do. Yikes. <laughs> well, there goes my power up. And that was going so well too. That really stinks. Oh no, ooh. So to be honest with you, this is basically the same exact level so far as its original counterpart, just with the Dark Mario following. I think it's even the same star metal so far. I remember that star metal, maybe I'm wrong now. Anyways, we're going up this way. Got it. And oh boy. Yeah, I do remember this part. So is the star metal still gonna be to the, I guess it's a little bit different this time. I don't remember it being this way last time. Jumping over that. Oh yeah, because I remember it being to the, to, to the left wall there. 
Come on, keep going, keep going. Boop. What do we get? We get a fire flower. Which we could just hit this dude with a fire flower, you know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, and there's the last one. This is where things get a little risky. Oh, yep. A little too risky. I didn't think they were gonna last that long there. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Really? Ah. Uh. Okay. 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 Watch it. Oh, did we beat him? I think we beat him. Okay. He's not chasing us anymore. That's good. But he might start chasing us again here. And this sort of stinks because. Oh, gosh. We made it. Because it's a tough jump to make, but we figured it out. Wow. We. Super duper close. But we did it. And Mario is super pleased about it, even if he's tiny Mario. And that means we're going to go to the next level. There's six levels in total, including a, well, not including a little mystery box. There's seven if you include that. So we're making some progress, but we definitely have much more to go. And oh no, one of these jump panel things. These can be tough. Actually, before we go, anything collect, or collect around here? I guess not. All right, let's stand on this thing as much as we can. And I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I assume, oh no. I don't want to go this way. I actually want to go that way. Oh, ah, oh, it's sort of a shame you can't do that. What you sort of have to do is you need to turn around and, oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. That's for sure. Yikes, I was trying to, ugh, come on. I just want to get up there to the left. I don't know if there is anything up there. I guess what we should do, I mean, I guess it doesn't help too much just looking to the right like this. I'm pretty sure there's something up there for us, so. But to get it, once again, we'll need to go past, and like it doesn't start until you go past it, so you have to go up to the right, which is sort of the annoying part. And then we're gonna go, and then turn around, and then hopefully it'll boost us, it will! Thank you. And look at this. Okay, whoa, 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 don't fall off so soon. No, no, no. Come on, this is ridiculous. There it goes, boom, we got it. Oh, be careful. So we gotta be careful once more here, which is probably why it would've just been better to plop off to the left because now it's just gonna force us back up here. It's sort of an awkward mechanic. I've never been a big fan of this part of any of these levels where the water spurts up. Come on, that's it. Looking to the right, I can't really see what's going on, but I know I can jump for a coin. Alrighty, gotta watch out for these Goombas. Which so far isn't too bad of a task. I would like to see what's in here. Yes, I needed that, I really needed that. Okay, there's nothing more to the right, so I'm gonna move over here. Oh gosh, just barely had the momentum for that. Oh no, gotta be careful of the evil flames of, ah, oh, that's not careful. Oh, come on, I just got it too. That stinks. All right, keep moving, keep moving. I don't trust this one. So it, it does sort of puff out some smoke before it goes, but you never know. What, whoa, hold on. Okay, hold on again. I don't like this. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Ready for it, jump! I missed. Got it, okay, so we got two of them. We're trying to get three. Actually, hold on. What is this? It's a poison mushroom, what else would it be? Oh my gosh, come on, that's not fair. I did see the next star medal, but I just don't quite know how to get to it. I think we gotta go around this way, for right now. Uh, oh, this is a mistake, 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 mistake. Okay, we're fine now. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I don't know how we pop down there just yet. That might make itself clear in a moment. Ah, I see, okay. So all we gotta do then is get across to here, grab that, and fall to our doom. Ugh, come on. All right, I'm gonna long jump all the way over here. Yeah, get that stuff. You wanna land on the farther ones first, or just be good enough to get the Tanooka Leaf by now. Would also be an alternative way to do it. Okay, so I can't really tell where these are, if they're above or below, but I'm just gonna guess, there we go. Oh no. All right, I need to, yeah, ooh, that actually worked pretty well. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get that right there and jump. Uh, I'm just gonna have to hope this turns out okay because right now it's not. Um, got it, got it, and got it. Yes, give me that, thank you. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. But there's the end of the level. Can we make it happen? Can we get ourselves the golden flagpole so I never have to play this level again, at least as Mario? That'd be amazing. Oh boy, and jump for it, and yeah, there it is, awesome. That was a tough one, that one definitely took a couple of tries, but we did it, we got it done. All righty, so there's S53 done. Next up, we have ourselves a mystery box, which usually these are a cakewalk, they're usually not that tough whatsoever, so we'll have to see this time. Um, I don't know. Usually they only have one star medal in them either way. 
Okay, what? I was not expecting that. Well, there goes my Tanuki Leaf, and there goes you. So if I was just a second sooner there, I probably could have just jumped over and hit them with a the tail, and it would have been fine, but I hadn't realized. Oh, well. At least we got everything in it. Like I said, it wasn't too difficult. It just could have been even easier if I had quicker reactions. So there's our save complete. Moving over this way, we got ourselves one of these, like, chocolate levels. Seems like it could be pretty cool. Special 5-4. Oh no. Oh, this is a really tough auto-scrolling one, or a version of it at the least, which is not a good sign because the screen is so tiny. Yet here we are moving so fast. Looks like there's a lot of stuff here for if you had the Tanuki Leaf, so hopefully we can get that with this red coin uh, ring. Come on, come on, four and five. Yes, thank you. All right, so here's Star Metal number one. Yep, okay. For a second, I thought it was gonna be number two. I was, I was gonna be very disappointed. Can you get out of here, Mr. B? Thank you. Moving over this way now. Already got ourselves a checkpoint. And what is going on with all this? Oh my. Lots of moving little cookie platforms. Oh boy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get me up there. I don't know where Star Metal number two is, but it's gotta be getting closer. It looks like there's a there's some kind of a, yeah, a block right there. I don't think I've missed it, but at the same time, I have no clue. Whoa, whoa, oh, I do see one. Whoa, what am I doing moving forward? What was happening there? Oh no, oh no, no, come on. That's so lame, I wasn't trying to do that. It's just because it's a circle pad, and sometimes it can be tough, and now I can do it all again, this time without a tanuki leaf, isn't that fun? That makes it like at least like 1.5 times more difficult. There we go, come on. Just try not to move forward or back. I sort of wish in these situ situations it would just sort of lock you a little bit in your horizontal movements. I mean, I guess it's still horizontal, I don't know. Th three dimensions can be a little confusing to explain sometimes. You know what I mean. No, wait, come on, come on! What the heck? Oh man, that's the worst. I think we gotta go around the left anyways and then hop on top of there. It's a little wonky. That jump is so tough to make just because the cookies move at different speeds, but there we go. We got it. A bit of a challenging one, but sometimes, you know, it's good to have a challenge. Oh my. Uh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> yikes. That's not good. Okay, I'm up here now, and then, oh, uh, give me this coin. Oh no. I might not be able to get this coin. I'm gonna try, though. I'm just gonna wait right here. The camera is leaving without me. Oh no, I got it, but then I fell. Whoopsies. Oh man, that is such a tough little area. Okay, I'm getting there. I jumped for it and we got it. Okay, so we're just gonna be careful about the oncoming platforms. Really paying attention to the shadows as much as I can, but even that's not easy. Oh, yeah, okay, I made it. That is so scary. But now I have to just sit here and hope that I can. Oh, yeah, we made it. That is such a scary jump as well because the platforms are actively moving away from the pole, so you just sort of have to hope you get to it. And we got to it. So there we go, there is that level done, which means only a couple more left. Yeah, that was uh, S or S54, so we got S55 coming up, and then after that to Castle. It's a haunted Boo Mansion, which honestly, these haven't been too tough in this game. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a refresher. I mean, these ones that are specifically about puzzles can maybe be a bit challenging. I went to the one with the coins first, because I feel like that would be a good idea. Oh, I was hoping one of these guys would drop a Tanuki Leaf. Hmm, there's lots of stuff going on here. First off, nice power up right there. What's inside of this one? We're back here. Let me try the other ones first. That sends me back this way, and this one, back here. Well, I mean, can I get to like maybe one of the photos or something? Aha! But is there anything really over here? That one just had a coin in it. What about the book? Nothing. Okay, so there's really only one way to go. That narrows it down a little bit. All right, so I'm going to move over this way and try to deal with these Goombas as much as I can. And there's another teleport over here. I feel like I should go back. Ooh, I don't know what was in the darkness over there, because there was a little dark area. I don't know how to feel about that one, that's for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess put this, uh... oh, where does this bring me? This is new as well. Okay, there's like multiple versions of the same room. That's a little bit confusing. Okay, now we're back here. That's actually sort of what I wanted to do. I wanted to loop around, because while that might seem a bit silly, I can just get back up here for now because I wanted to check out this room. This has nothing in it? Oh, wow, okay. How was I supposed to know that, you know? And there's nothing else around here? Okay, I'm having a hard time finding star metal so far and that's a bit of a worry. We got this, hey, really, that's not fair. 
That thing never disappears? Yikes. Okay, so we'll look around this area a little bit more thoroughly. Now that we know this leads to an area with dry bones and stuff. Oh, bouncing off of you. And then there's another teleporter over this way, but there has to be something in one of these, right? Apparently not yet. I find it very odd I've yet to find a single star metal. And it's very concerning. Now we're back here now. Okay, so we're narrowing down where we can and cannot go. I'm supposed to wall jump up here, long jump to this one, and then instead of doing any of this, I just go here. And then this is where things get a little bit new. Boom. So that one to the right is going to bring us back to the beginning. Whoa. Those dry bones do pop back up, so we do gotta be careful. And what's over here, nothing? Nothing. So really, our best bet uh, is this. But once again, no signs of a single star metal yet, and we're about to hit the halfway point. That is all kinds of concerning. I'm gonna get some extra time. And what do we have inside of this block? Just some extra coins, which I will grab a little bit of. So like there was that one block over that way. There's a block over here. Ah. Whoa, wait, what? Getting a star medal for defeating all the enemies in a room? I mean, that's cool and everything, but I've never seen that in this game whatsoever. And that is star medal number one. That is weird. That is so weird. Okay, so we got two blocks to choose from. I sort of want to do this one from the beginning. Like, let's see where this brings me. Exactly where I just was. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. But we got star metal number one by defeating all the enemies. Like, that's so weird. What do we got going on in here? These guys are, of course, gonna try to tackle me. Ooh, but I got a boomerang. You're in trouble now. Oh, hold on. Hey, hey. You're not supposed to survive that. Maybe I should defeat all the enemies in every room then. I mean, I try to do that anyways, unless like I'm just at like a severe disadvantage. Oh, that hurt. That's not what I wanted to do. Can you just jump at me, dude? There we go. Thank you. So you're defeated. Going up this way, we got this brick. Got us a couple of coins. So there's a moving thing, not a moving thing, what am I talking about? There is a, uh... well, I mean, I guess it does move us when we go into it. I could try that one. Maybe I should. Where am I now? Back here. So that makes sense. I'm figuring it out piece by piece which one goes where. I need to go through this one then. I need to get back over this way. And I need to go like that, go like this, and hop on in. And now this is new. And I have no clue how I could defeat these ghosts. If I even can. Running out of time. Oh, that's another Goomba with a, maybe it's not all enemies, it's just specific Goombas that are holding star medals, which once again is bizarre. Okay, now we have two Tanuki leaves, which is great. All right, Um, what about this way though? There's another block. I'm pretty sure this is the one we need to go through. I was wrong. So the real risk here is solving the puzzle before you run out of time. Man, oh man. But now if we run out of time, I at least know what I'm doing, which is great. But I gotta run through this fast now. Oh no, oh, I made it, I made it. So once again, let's get over this way and try not to get hit in the process. Whoa. Check this area out real fast. Cause you never know. The one time I decided that the check is gonna be the one time it's there. So let's see if this Goomba has what I'm looking for. He does. So all three star medals have been found. But now the question is, can I get out of here in time? It looks like I'm supposed to go this way. Yes, I am. Okay, ready for this? Go for it. Wait, whoa, 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 don't go for it yet. Once again, I'm trying a long jump game. I guess I'll just normal jump. Whoop. Yeah, there it is. We made it through on the first try. It was just a little wonky. Awesome. Wahoo indeed, Mario. It's only one more level left to tackle in this area. Of course, it will be the castle, which it looks like we need a certain amount of star medals to even get to, which we can do A-OK. -okay. It needs 180. We have 235. So let's get on in there and see who we're facing in this castle. I mean, I don't know. I guess it'll be a Bowser replica of some sort. I mean, I wonder if it's gonna be Dry Bones Bowser. Or dry, what's it called? Is it just Dry Bowser? I think so. Only 30 seconds to get through it though. Ooh, but defeating Goombas gives us time again. I think we've run into that in the past. It's a really fun mechanic to be honest with you. I wish more Mario games would fiddle with ideas like that. Whoa, watch it. Okay, watch it. I, I, That was weird. I was trying to jump, but I was just gliding instead. 
So it just sort of delayed my time of getting to where I needed to be. So I do have another Tanuki Leaf, but I feel like I want to save it until I really think that I can make the best use of it and don't immediately run into the lava again. So, not right now. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay. Somehow I survived that and then I did it again when I really, really wasn't trying to. Yikes. Got it. Okay. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was real bad. Let's long jump and then jump over that. Okay, be careful, be careful. Long jump over this thing. Got it. Got it. Not so bad so far. I mean, I'm getting a lot of time, which is good. Oh, ooh, almost like didn't jump properly there. Okay, so this star medal is in the same spot it was in the original version of the level. It'd be cool if the star medal medals got you some extra time as well, seeing how you have to spend some extra time to get them. Oh, boom, I got a, like I was hoping for a two for one deal there. Didn't quite happen. Okay, so I know then, if it's all the same placements, yeah, right at the end of this, there is this. Oh, I almost fell to my doom. No checkpoints this time, though, which is a bit the bit of a scary thing. This is why I'm thinking I need to, uh... oh, these aren't raising? They usually do. Well, I need to find a power-up soon. Oh, no, here he is. Here's Dry Bowser. He is furious. I don't like this very much. Uh, but where is, okay, the last star metal is right over that way, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this now because it's sort of my only chance to make this work. And I hope, some way, somehow, we can find another power-up around here, but in the meantime, I need to hit that guy, go over and hit you, and then hit you as well, and don't forget your friend. Okay, so, excellent opportunity here to just get around him, and then long jump, and then long jump again, and then where is he landing? He's landing right over that way. Oh, he got me! He got me, he almost knocked me into the lava. Go quick, go quick, ow, ho, oh, hop, ba! There it is, awesome! Once again, a little tricky, but we made it work. Only problem now is we're fresh out of powers for the next world, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. So, there is that. Dry Bowser defeated again. No matter how many times, he seems to just pop back out of that lava like it was nothing, though. Still don't really know why we're, we're fighting him anymore. We saved Luigi, I guess, just to get rid of Bowser once and for all. Okay, so let's see if we can't get this. I can only hope that if we Long jump from here, yes, we can get it. I was a little concerned on that one, but we made it work, so another golden flagpole for us. So I think that means we are nice and clear for this world. That is awesome. And that didn't take too much time either, so yep, another one done. Our clear time is 147 seconds. Hey, we're moving on to world five, or not five, world special six. I don't know why I thought the S was a five there, but anyways, we're gonna be doing S1 or S61, which of course is this desert tower. We've run into this thing sort of before. Looks like we're gonna get a little bit remix this time and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Ooh, it's nighttime now, that's really cool. And we got the propeller helmet. That is all kinds of awesome. So one thing I'm looking around for here though are any kind of secrets outside of the tower because you can find those in the original version of this level. So always good to check here. And also making sure if any of these are power-ups, I would gladly like to grab them. Oh my, don't fall, but yep, we got ourselves some coins over this way. Uh, There we go. And I think along this wall, oh no, it's blocked off. How sneaky is that? Okay, so yeah, I think there's typically something there. Anyways, that doesn't mean we can't keep looking around. Maybe there's something around here. Whoa, ow, that hurt, but don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Uh, right here, ex exactly. So there really aren't any power-ups around here, but luckily these things, I mean, I guess they can sort of kind of be categorized as a power-up. They do protect you from a hit. They give you some kind of, of ability. But I don't know, it is sort of odd as well to consider it a power-up. Are all of these, yep, these are all propeller caps, okay. Um. Oh no, that's a poison mushroom, well thanks game. We're getting my hopes up, and there's two of them. Whoa, gotta be careful. Uh, come on, come on, I'm just trying to get away from them. They're evil, evil little things. Though the camera's all like stuck over here now, I don't like that so much. So no star metal just yet. Just looking around for one, maybe. You can get up this way. What about this uh, music note block then? And I guess this is there for people who didn't want to use a propeller cap? Is it, I'm trying to get up there now. Is there anything up here? Cause yeah, there's a star metal, awesome. Can we get it? Yes, we can, and that's star metal number one, which is excellent. Okay, I'm trying to get back up that way now. I don't know if it's gonna work out for me. Okay, yeah, I'll land right there. Because as you can see, Oh, I could just like shortcut it to the end of the level? Oh, how cool is that? 
Man, I love the propeller cap. We're not quite done though. <laughs> Let's go down this way. Man, you could get quite a speed running time for this level, couldn't you? And I think I see an extra clock if I wanted it. Anything else of interest down here though? Not looking like it. Alrighty, uh, I'm gonna wall jump like that and we should be good, not too bad. Just gotta pay attention for shadows because that's really gonna be the big tell on whether we're missing anything or not. Let's go through this one first because I'm pretty sure this is the not so necessary one. Can I not? Okay, I can. Just gotta say that's weird. Oh, here we go. Excellent, that's much better. Alrighty, so let's go back through the door and I think we'll be good to uh, get up like this. That was the only way there's anything else waiting for us, so let's get to it. So you can look around, whoa. Got ourselves some red coins. Got it. Alrighty, and mine. Awesome, we got the one up. We're still looking for the third and final star medal. Hopefully it's chilling out around here somewhere, because if not, I'm gonna be a, a bit concerned. Huh. Oh, it has to be up there, right? I don't know, but I have a feeling it might be. So let's try to side jump maybe, and then wall jump, and then go way up, and there's nothing here. That doesn't seem right. Like, I feel like I might have missed something. Maybe right at the beginning. I don't see any shadows anywhere, though. But why would there be spikes at the side of here? Oh no. Uh, nothing. Huh. I don't know how to feel about that. Let's go this way and see where it brings us. Of course, we're at the tippity top. Well, I can get some coins in this water, but no third star metal just yet. I mean, it might just be like up here or something. Aha, it is, okay. Well, that was a lot less complicated than expected. Let's get some extra time. And we should just be good to propel up and land right on top of this thing. I really get two one ups for that because we brought the propeller cap to the end and we got to the top of the flagpole. Getting closer again to 200 lives. We were very close before, but then I died a couple times in the last episode. All right, not too bad. Like I said, you could probably have a really good clear time for this one if you uh, know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so that save is complete. Don't forget to take a break if you feel tired. I know, I know, don't you worry. So we're moving on to the second level of this world now, which looks like it might be a bit more tame at the same time, I don't know. Definitely a lot of jumping involved. All right, let's go indeed. 30 seconds on the clock, and we gotta defeat all the Goombas. Gotcha, okay. Oh, I don't remember this level too much, at least in the environment that it's in. I remember it being all bubbly, but I do not remember all of the, the foresty stuff, so I think that's different. I think that's new. I like that, mishmashing it all together is fun. But I'm trying to look out here as much as I can for uh, star medals. Nothing over that way. Well, sort of felt like there could have been. I was just checking. So far, no, not what I wanted to do. I was just trying to long jump game, just trying to long jump. I'm gonna yeah, get rid of that dude, that's for sure. 35 seconds and it's ticking down fast. Bouncing off of you, not too much else going on around here and then spin, excellent. Where is the first star medal at? Oh, look, it's anywhere. Oh, this could be it. It is, very good, very good. Okay, star medal number two is in my sights hopefully soon. At least it's on my to-do list to get. The very top thing. Oh, I remember. So let's go ahead and grab that one up. I'm gonna get rid of this Goomba and then backtrack over this way where likely the second star coin, star metal, is hanging out and indeed it was. Okay, we're just looking for the third and final one now. And it's right there. Okay. Boom, bounce off of you, grab it, and we are doing really well. Look at that. Okay, so where in the world is the end of the level? Hopefully we don't need to beat up too many more Goombas to make it. Nope, don't have to beat up any. It's just right here. And boom! That was really good. That was really good indeed. So we're at 199 lives, and we got another level done. So far we're speeding through this. It is just absolutely excellent, as you can see. And now we gotta do level uh, six or S63. I just can't do it today. It's because S and six, of course, both begin with S or you know what I mean. And it just it just makes it confusing in my brain. Oh, is it dark in here? I guess so, a little bit. There's a chain chomp down that way I'd rather not bother with, but at the same time, if I could get a power up. Eh, not really too much there for me. Where does this one lead? I guess just sort of the same way? Whoa, not what I wanted. Huh, odd. 
Well, let's just try to be slow through all this. Oh no, there's a star. Oh, come on! And the poison shroom ruined my day again. Jeez Louise, dude. what I ever do to you? I guess not be poisoned. That's what I did to him. Oh, and there's nothing over here. What, what's with the vacant platform? That's weird. That was a waste of a star power, to be honest with you. Not really that good of a trade-off. Uh, because it really wasn't really, like there's these bees you can get rid of. Oh, come on. Ugh, that was so weird of an angle. Camera sort of moved forward as if I had landed on it, but I didn't. And I'm back down below uh, 200 lives now. So I definitely need both of those. Sort of a bummer, but we'll make it work. So I need to do that, and then I need to run over this way and jump up here, activate that, and then we can do this. So that I can, oh boy, make it here. So I'll try just to get the star this time. You got it. And I don't have to really worry about any of this then because it doesn't really contribute to getting star medals. And it's a difficult thing to do, so why bother? Okay, we're popping down here now. Excuse me, Mr. Chain Chomp. I got other business to attend to. And then hop up this way. And there's, oh wow, okay, really sneaky checkpoint flag, that's for sure. Ow, that hurt. So where is it? Oh, right there, okay, let's follow this then. Oh, come on. You can't give me one measly power up in this level? Really? I can't even walk up that. But that was the first star medal, so we're doing everything right so far, I suppose. Uh, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> All right, let's try not to go right into the uh, the goop of doom. I would love to get that, but I'd rather just survive for right now. That was just coins, more one-ups waiting for me. It's like, I would love to get one-ups, but I'd love to survive more and get more star medals while I'm at it. Yeah, long jump across to there, and then, oh, oh gosh, oh my gosh, and he, no! <laughs> it blocked me off, how rude! Yikes. All right, there it goes, so I could, you know, get it that way as well. You're supposed to just sort of jump at the right time there, but I did what I could. Now, I've learned my lesson. If I duck and then press the uh, run button, you can just roll like that and then get hit. I mean, I can't do that from Tiny Mario as far as I know. Yep, so I'm glad that I made that mistake in the order that I did. How do I get out of here, though? This bee's trying to get me. There we go. Um, so yeah, let's try to do this a little bit. I don't know how this will work out, but I'll try for it. Oh no, oh, I see. So you sort of have to time that pretty well. I mean, I guess in technicality, you could go on the top of it, but that'd be a little weird. All right. Oh yeah, that's not gonna happen. That one's gonna be really tough without a thing, without a tanuki leaf, so I might just go and get one now, save myself some time, and try to complete that level again. That sort of stinks, though. Oh well. Oh, you know what, there's a mushroom hut right over here. We can go ahead and try this and see if it gives us one, and if not, I'll go get one myself. But hey, seeing how we have to do this anyways, seems like a good time. All right, come on, Toads. Give me a Tanuki Leaf. You have one, why can't I get one? Oh, come on. You guys never give me what I want when I need it. You, you get out of here. <laughs> okay, I'm being a little ungrateful. Thank you for the gift. I appreciate it no matter what. And uh, we are heading out. It's a thought that counts, right? It's a thought that counts. So I'm gonna go back to a previous level, earn up some Tanuki Leaves, and retry the uh, flagpole. All right, so getting to this point in the level was super duper easy, so hopefully doing this part will also be super duper easy. Only one way to really find out, and that's to keep running, and boom. There you go, really easy. So luckily that was one of those levels that once you get in there with the Tanuki Leaf and you don't actually have to worry about the Star Metals, you can breeze through it, which is what I'm hoping for Luigi once we um, we, we uh, go and do the whole game again with him, is that hopefully these levels will go re by really, really quickly just because of that. That's my hope, and that's why we're probably gonna do like huge chunks of the game as Luigi all in one video. But anyways, S64, lots of spinning blocks in this one. The third to last level that we have in today's episode, and another Dark Mario one. He's looking ever so menacing, and I'm not surprised. Okay, so what is going on around here? Gotta glide past all of this, that's for sure. And oh, there's our first star medal. Does any of this stuff have anything worthwhile? I suppose not. Okay, okay, I got up there. That was actually a pretty good jump. Keep going though. That was star medal number one. We got two more left to get. And there it is. Oh, and right into him, yikes. I still have um, another Tanuki Leaf, but I would like to hold on to it just in case. Nothing up there, that's good. And what is going on around here? Looks like we might be coming up on, there it is, awesome. The end of that level, or not the end of that level, 
the end of having to get the Dunkin' Leaf. Not that I can't get any terminology right, any of the star medals, and I fall to my doom. That's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and snag this real quick, and we're just gonna try this again. Now that we know exactly where everything is, should be much easier. Whoop. Very good. The only problem is definitely, uh, one thing, being really bad at the game and constantly accidentally hitting the trigger buttons. One, I don't mean to. See, why couldn't I have done that last time? Everything would've been just fine. <laughs> aye, 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 because now I don't have any of my tin lucky leaves I was so happy to have last time, last level. Okay, let's go and grab this without messing up, please. Thank you. All right, all right, I'm just trying to dodge all these shenanigans. Oh, come on, dude, what, what happened to my long jump? Ah, oh, man, this is the worst. All right, so we're doing okay so far. I don't want to jinx it, but I might. Oh no! Ooh, that was that was actually very worthwhile, and we got it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I was gonna say yikes. I, I, that was, that was not a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't say words right today, but that's fine. We got this done, and that's what matters. And what is going on next? We have ourselves another spooky haunted mansion, just like last world. It ends with the second to last level being a ghost mansion. That one was tough though. I wonder if this one will be any easier or any worse maybe. It is farther in the game. You'd think it'd just get more difficult, but you never know. Hmm. This one looks like it's bound to be a bit more linear, which sometimes can be appreciated. Sometimes can be not so appreciated because some of these levels can be real tough. Okay, I was worried that was gonna be a poison mushroom. Not the case yet. I really don't like those poison mushrooms, but they just show up way too often. I think there's gonna be a question block. Uh, there, oh, I missed it. And, okay, I didn't miss that one, but it didn't give me, not, did, didn't give me much. Okay, there's a, there's a normal mushroom. I'll gladly take that. And it looks like we just have a couple more coins right there. Oh no, now we got the little push thing. That's not good. Oh, it's very misty here. That's gonna make this a bit odd. Oh, hey, you pushed me right into the ghost. You jerk. Looks like there are more ghosts over this way. Just trying to dodge what I can, what I can. Whoa, almost went too far there. Ooh, we got a random power up right here. It's gonna be another mushroom and I didn't even get it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Can I even get this thing as normal Mario right now? Oh, I can, look at me, okay, cool. Gonna, leave you guys, gonna get you guys to leave me alone. Just keep moving, oh no, oh boy. Just barely dodged all of that. Okay, we're finally off this crazy thing to go back to normal Mario. And what's going on with this platform? There is a star, oh my. I mean a star metal, and a star. There we go, actually wasn't so bad. Give me that, and I'm going over here. I don't know what else is happening. Uh, not too much. Okay, gotta be careful of these ghosties. Oh, come on, come on! I just want the power-ups! Where are the power-ups? Oh my gosh. Okay, luckily we weren't too far away from, ow, the checkpoint. If only I could get it without being a dingus. So it looks like the, the ghosts don't pop up. Oh no, that was just weird. I, I, I don't feel like that one was my fault all too much. Okay, try again. And I did it again. Oh, what is my dealio today? Got it. I'm grabbing this, thank you. I'm getting rid of you guys. And we're just gonna go this way. I wish I could deal with the uh, other ghosts with this, but I'm not gonna get that opportunity. I know that the block shows up around here though. So as long as I just wait for it and then boop, it's just coins. But it could have been something else, you know? Like this one, which I'm not gonna find out. Ah, this area is really tough. Cause it's, it's hard to do specific movements like that with Mario in this game. It's not so easy. Mm, come on, yikes. Okay, that's just extra coins once again. Not really too interested. Nothing wrong with coins, it's just I really need a power up and I just don't wanna risk getting hurt in the meantime. All right, oh, big ghost, big ghost, leave me alone. Please don't tell me you had like a star metal hidden behind you or something. Oh, I don't trust this. Before we go, what's over this way? Nothing. Hmm, okay, ooh. I think that there was a one-up around here last time. Maybe just this time it's a star metal. Uh, yeah, let's get up like that. I remember finding this secret in the original. Yeah, okay. Getting up there's gonna be a bit of a challenge because I didn't get this other block. Man, movement in this game is still a little weird. Got it. 
Okay, and boom, all three star medals. Not too bad. So, let's try to get up here like this. The second we land on this is gonna start moving, so be ready. And go for it, no! Oh, I still might end up messing this up. I will try my best, but unfortunately, I might have to just redo the whole level. Yeah, there's no way you can get that one done the way I need to. I need to go get a star, not a star medal. Oh my gosh, a tanuki leaf. All right, well, I guess I'll go th do that then. But in the meantime, we got this level done, which is good. And then all we have to deal with after this is the airship. So I will be right back. All right, so here we are again. So I'm gonna quickly just get that. And I'm gonna jump and land on this platform and everything should be okay at this rate. I just need to go and jump and then we make it no problem. It's sort of a tricky thing, but I'm glad we got it done. All right, so we made it out of there, which means all we have to worry about now is the airship and then we'll be all done with this world and that will be amazing, so. Let's get to it. As you can see, we're saving up. Save complete, very cool. Moving on over this way. 200 star medals is the name, or the, the price for the prize, or whatever. And we got 253, so we're a-okay with that one. And this one looks like it could be interesting. Yet another airship. Last time we had an airship, we had to do a double boss fight between both Boom Boom and Pom Pom. I don't know if that's gonna be the case this time, but I can only hope it's not, because it was really difficult to do anything about. I also hope it's not an auto scrolling airship, but you better bet it is. <laughs> okay, yikes. And it has these little platforms. That's not good. Alrighty, so it's just sort of figuring out what in the world I want to do with all this. Just trying to make sure for right now. I can just like make my way through, okay? Ready, set, hoo -ah! That was good, that was good. Whoa, I see this dude. Um, I want to angle. Okay, that angle's not helping. Gotta pay attention to those shadows. No, and I jumped right into them. Okay, probably shouldn't have tried so hard with that. I don't know what's going on here. I think I'm supposed to go into that pipe. What even happened? I don't know. I just was hoping I could get a star medal, but no. And there goes my power up, of course. I mean, I didn't have it anyways. I already had lost it, so not that big of a deal, but definitely would have made this level easier with all the crazy jumping. So here's the tough part for this one, is I gotta jump onto here, jump off like that, and then I can long jump into safety. Okay, maybe not so safe. So let me stay super far to the right. There we go. See, I knew there was gonna be something worthwhile in there. And what do you know, there was. So I need to hop down here super fast, grab that, and then see what's in this pipe. There's gotta be something in the pipe, right? You bet there is. Wait, what is this? Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, uh, all right, I missed a bunch of stuff. What are you talking about? This is weird. Maybe it is a boom boom and pom pom boss battle in the same level, but maybe not back to back this time. This is really weird. Definitely easier than the previous boom boom battle where we had all the spikes on the wall and stuff. This one's just bizarre. Um, ow! I say easier, but I still find a way to get hit. Well, I got rid of him. Yep, the music is still playing. It's not playing like the successful, uh, you beat the level and the boss is done and you get to go and finish the level now, music. Yeah, now we're over here. So I could have actually skipped that boss fight if I wanted to. Interesting, you see all like, the little things over there? Okay, yeah, let's ignore these guys as much as I can and then get star medal number two. Go that way. Oh, those guys just slammed to their doom. Okay, be careful. Hmm, not bad, not bad. But could always be better. Oh, that's tricky. Ah, oh, man, that stinks. Yikes. So I gotta do all that again. I mean, I don't have to defeat Boom Boom if I don't want to, which is actually really nice. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, but for right now, we have to jump up like this, jump across like that, and then once we're ready, I'm gonna long jump, bounce off of you just for good measure. See, I'll try that this time and see how that ends up working. Uh, but, ow, you stinker at the perfect timing too. I could have gotten a, ooh, you've made me mad now, buddy. I really just don't wanna deal with Boom Boom if I don't have to. So grab that star metal, and then, can I please, pretty please get up here? And then, that's it. How cool is that? So we just skip down on a boss fight, get rid of these two dudes, because I realize I can do that to them. And then I need to, Got it. Get up like this. I already know where the third and final one is. Mm. Oh no. Oh, uh, double oh no. Oh, come on. Man, this is a really tough one for sure. 
All right, let's try this again. Full speed jump and then just like don't touch the analog stick once we leap into the air. Oh my, oh my. So we got all the star medals without having to worry about Boom Boom. How interesting is that? And that's it, okay, so there's an optional boss fight in this. That is very interesting. And can I please? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. So there we go, this world is finally complete. This one was a bit more of a challenging one. That difficulty is hiking up as we continue through the special worlds. Only two more left to go, special worlds seven and eight, and we can only see what happens then. Maybe it'll be way worse, maybe it won't be that much worse. We are moving on over to world special seven, as you can see here and things are getting a little bit more difficult as we go into this pink, snowy wonderland. Oh, speaking of snow, here's some more right here. Uh, we got quite a few levels to get through in today's episode, so let's just start getting through them. It's our second to last world of the entire game, and we got 30 seconds to defeat this level, but we do get some extra time for defeating opponents. What do we get here? Yes, exactly what I ever could have hoped for. That's wonderful, but I do gotta be careful of these boomerang bros. So land on their heads and keep moving. So I wanna bounce up super high and try to sort of Beat them to the punch and not let that happen. Well, there goes all the good things we had going on. Come on, Ah, oh, really? Oh well, tried what I could. I see the sneaky little star metal behind there. You can't hide from me. All right, so we already got the first one, which is great and everything, but not quite. Oh, ow, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, ah! yikes. That sort of went from good to not so good. Yeah, there we go, we got it again though. That's just sort of lucky but I will take that luck very gladly. Um, I'm gonna try to bounce up over this way, get rid of you, and it was this dude who ruined it for me, and he ruins it for me again, just because it's sort of an awkward jump to get up to. And I get another mushroom. This is major deja vu right now. Give me this one. Thank you. Gonna get that star metal. Let's see if I can't make it at least a little bit farther this time. Gonna jump it right off the platform. And ow, well that's not so fun. I'm getting over here and landing on that dude, but gone. Sure, but gone. And what's going on over this way? So far this level seems pretty similar to the original, in terms of star metal locations at the least. Well, that's not really what I wanted at all. Goodbye, Mr. Star! Okay, come on, ah! Oh, this one's tough, though. This one's a real challenge so far. All right, so I'm doing much better this time. I even have myself a star power from the second little item giver. And what's gonna be on up here? Well, there's gonna be the other star power. Uh, so I could try to grab that a little bit better this time. And is there anything else up here? Doesn't look like it, so we can just get across it this way. And boom, gotcha. Not so bad. And what about this? Oh, I don't quite need it, but I guess I'll, I'll take it for now, just in case we do have like a tough ending to this level where I need a Tanuki Leaf. Okay, what? Oh, come on. Get this dude, come on. I can't tell if I'm above them or not. Oh, it's ridiculous, it's so ridiculous. Get out of here, be gone. I haven't found that second star metal yet and it's really starting to concern me. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna spin at you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, be careful, Mario. Be careful, buddy. Okay, there is a star metal up here. Please let it be number two. It is number two. That's good. Oh gosh, I missed him. Oh, come on, seriously? Stop moving around like that. And then boom, we get a fire flower. Oh, are you? What? Where, where did that come from? <laughs> My gosh. I, I'm so done with it right now. Oh, come on, this is a tough level. Not a good sign for the rest of the world if this is the first level, you know? I mean, even though we have run into some special world worlds where the first level is is absolutely treacherous, mind blowing. Makes it wanna pull out your hair and then the, the, the next levels are just super easy. I don't know if that'll be the case because it might take me for like 17 years to pass this one first. No, I need real power ups. All right, so we're doing okay so far. No, 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 we're not. Now I don't know if this third star coin is the same way it was before. It doesn't look like it. There used, there used to be, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> There used to be a block that would bring you over. I guess I just gotta pop down there. But that is not gonna be easy. This is definitely one of the toughest levels yet in the game in general, it's crazy. All right, so this is where things get a little tricky, but I'm making it work as well as I can. I think I might actually wanna switch to the leaf now, and we'll see how this works out. I might have a big amount of regret for this later. Only one way to know, and that's to just keep going. Oh no, yep, right there. I just don't like the boomerang bros. I think this would've been much more easier if it was Hammer Bros, of course, but it's not Hammer Bros. No! No, is that what I meant to do? It's not! Oh. 
Oh, come on. I might as well just complete the level and then try again. I wasn't trying to do that. Oh, that is so upsetting. This level's tough enough as it is without accidentally jumping into a box, so I have to do... <laughs> this level's too much for me. Okay, let's try to be a bit more careful this time. Oh no, oh, okay. Luckily, our boomerang beats theirs, and before we do that, all we had to do was go down here. I was just trying so hard to dodge at boomerang, bro, and now I still gotta do this, and this part might prove to be difficult because I don't have any kind of tenuki leaf or anything, but as long as I could just angle it up just right and actually long jump from it, that's sort of a big if. Because it's really tough to do that. Also, is this guy still here? Yes, he is. Dude, can't you just go get a hobby that isn't throwing boomerangs at Mario? Thank you. I got 70 seconds to do it, or at least 70 Mario seconds. There it is! It's tough to do, but it's doable. You just gotta start from the other end of the block, and it just, it's tough, it's real tough. Yeah, we did it though. Okay, so with that done, I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, I say that, but it took me like, what, 20 minutes just to do that first level of the world? Usually it takes me 20 minutes to you know, record basically the entirety of a world. Anyways, we'll just keep moving. This looks like it could be a more fun level, especially if we can get our Tanooka Leaf sometime throughout it. These levels are usually pretty fun, even if we have Phantom Mario chasing us. Okay. Yep, I like these. They're, they're just really fun. They have this like fun, like almost like they're stressful, especially with uh, Shadow Mario ruining it. But they also have like this sort of fun smoothness to them because of the music. All right, so there's Star Metal number one. Let's not fall toward Doom getting hit. Got it, okay then. See, so let's try this sound right up here. Uh, not quite looking like there's anything up there. Oh well, we should be fine. So I wanna go ahead and get Boomerang Mario now. I don't know if that'll be incredibly worthwhile. Oh boy, get some red coins. That might be. Okay. Whoa! Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it. Yeah, I got it, but it's just a one-up. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anything up here? Not quite. So we're missing star coin number two somewhere. You can only hope it's along the lines of this area. All right. Oh no. <sighs> that was a mistake. All right, so I got it this time, which is great. Still have no idea where the next star medal is, but that part might be easier to figure out now. Let's find out. Because where did I fall? Yeah, I long jumped right into this little area, so now what I want to do this time. Okay, two, three, one. Oh no! Okay, we're fine for now. Okay, okay, I made it. One, two, three, uh, one. To, no, I definitely missed something. No, that was this. That's the second star medal right there. Wow, we weird. Where's where's star medal number three? It's right here. Okay, not so bad. Oh, that has a star. No, come on, you stinker. No, no. <laughs> this level is so not fair. At least that one moment, everything was going perfect, and that one moment ruined it. Okay, so far so good. This is the tough part though, and I made it work. All right, good stuff, there is a star. Hopefully that means I am invulnerable. And it does, yes! Okay, don't fall to my doom now. Oh my gosh. Okay, we made it, we made it. Yeah, okay. That took a lot of attempts. I'm down to 175 lives. Not good, but it's okay. It's okay. I told you, it might get tough, and World 7 looks like it might be super tough so far. I would still argue the first level was a little bit more difficult, though. Anyways, we're gonna be moving over to 7-3, which hopefully is easier than the both of them. We'll just have to wait and wait and see, though. Oh my. Okay, so yeah, this is the uh, little clock tower level. With all the gears and such. I'm gonna try to let these guys just sort of do their exploding thing, and I'll check to see what's inside of here. Yeah, but it's usually always coins or a poison mushroom or just anything I wouldn't want. That just has coins, okay. All right, I'm gonna go way over this way. I'm trying to be careful while also being, you know, diligent. I'm trying to make sure I get what I can. Yeah, that was just more coins. Oh, what's this way? Oh, we have something. Uh, aha, I didn't even see that over there. Well, that's easy enough to snag. So there's the first star medal. And then we gotta time this jump just right, because this thing's moving pretty quick, I'm sure you've noticed. So this looks like it's actually sort of like a remix of the first ever little clock level. Oh no. Oh, if I was a moment sooner there, I would have missed my platform. I'm trying to figure out which one I should be going to next or first. I mean, I do see a star medal in this one. 
So let me just go ahead and snag that. And that's the second one. All right, well then, it might just be easier then to get up this way and then glide over to here. I wish I could hit these guys with the little thing. I don't think it works, so we'll try it. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> They're pretty invincible. But we do need to be good with our timing here if we wanna be able to get through this in one piece and look at that, we're not in one piece. I did miss one, a one-up, but honestly, I don't care as much about that. Oh, come on. That's just me being bad. We're looking for one more star medal. I think I see it as well. Ooh, what is down here? Looks like we got ourselves a little secret. I like it. Okay, there's a star. And a, are you kidding me? Come on, is that a, not what I was trying to do, game? Not what I was trying to do at all. I miss the star. I get the poison. Ah, it's just not going my way today. Leave me alone, Kamek. Do I have to? I don't think I have to. I thought I might maybe had the long jump to that, but I guess I just have to get over from over here. Don't be, be throwing wrenches at me. That's rude. Those are for fixing things, not breaking them. Oh no. Oh, just barely got that one. Come on, and five. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, here is the third and th final star medal. And then from here, I could do something a bit risky, but maybe all very worth it. Yeah, that was very worth it. I skipped a good chunk of that. Awesome. So that's my favorite thing about this power up is when you can skip portions of the level real easy, which definitely can happen. I'm hoping we can see a bit more of that in the Luigi run of everything after done it with Mario. All right, so we got that done. Maybe we could calm the pace down a little bit with a mystery box. That would be cool. What do we got going into this one? Okay, Fire Flower, two star medals this time, which is a bit uncommon. All right, so I, yeah, I, I guess I'm supposed to do this. Do I get another one for that? I don't, but I do get four one-ups, which is pretty cool. All right, we got everything. That was a fun one. A little bit different than just defeat all the enemies. I like it. All right, save complete. Moving over to this level, another flippy floppy level, and then we got an airship after this? But it's not the last level, weird. And another dark Mario situation. Wowee, it just keeps going and going. This one might be a bit different. We'll have to wait and see. It's a weird top-down view that makes it hard to figure out what exactly is going on, but I'll do what I can with that. Watch out for the bumblebee. Whoa, he's huge! Oh, that's why, I didn't even realize. I thought the top-down perspective was just weird, and I always, no, he's Jimungus. All right, doing a little bit of that. Come on, come on, okay! How was I supposed to know while also running away? Oh, I do know that this is here, but I may have, whoa, he can break brick blocks. That is weird. So like I could use my Tanuki Leaf there and it'd probably be helpful, but also, I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa, I didn't know you could do that. It sort of caught me. Weird. Yeah, run across to there, and then long jump, avoid the B. Oh no, ow, I did not mean to long jump there. That was a pure mistake. And obviously it wasn't on purpose, but uh, Okay, whoop, uh, okay, watch it, watch it. I feel like this is where I might need it. I'm trying to touch the touch screen, I keep missing. There we go. Uh, yeah, I got, I got it, I got it, good, good, good. So none of this stuff is gonna drop any power-ups, I know that, just gotta be honest. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Thank you, so I got all three of them. I wanna try to get these bees out of my way, which can be a little bit easier said than done, and then, what is going on here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to press that button. Oh my gosh, I was so close. It's just so easy to accidentally press the shoulder buttons when holding the 2DS, it's just weird. Anyways, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we got it. That was a miracle. That was so close. Yikes. Okay, so for that one done, as you can see, there is an airship, but it's not the final level. It's S75, not S76. There's something past this, I guess a castle, but it's weird. This is the only time we've had an airship in a non-final level of the world slot. So this one might be difficult, it might be weird. I don't know what's going on. Might have another optional boom boom boss fight or something. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. What I do know though, is that I gotta be looking all over the place for star medals and see what we can end up getting. A lot of rotating pieces to this so far, and I don't like that one bit, because it's risky. Okay, don't get hit by that, please, pretty please. Where, that's not fair. They don't, they give you like half a second to get that fire flower. 
and now I don't have a Tanuki Leaf. Man, I just, you know, sometimes I'm really just not a big fan of how this game deals with power-ups, gotta be honest. Cause you just have to be like way ahead of everything here and already know what's gonna go on. It's like whenever you have the advantage of having a power up from another level, you almost always lose it right away if it's your first time in this next level, you know? It's just a little ridiculous and that was just weird. Moving platforms and auto scrolling camera that's slower than the platforms just seems like a bad idea altogether. But right, let's not complain too much. We're, we're still only a little bit into this level, which is both a good sign and a bad sign, right? Maybe things get easier. But the fact that I'm having, oh, come on. Such a hard time so early on in the level is not a good sign because that probably means it's gonna get more tough. Okay, I just need to sort of jump in place and really pay attention to Mario's shadow. That's a big thing. Oh, Kamek, now is not a good time. As you can see, I'm falling to my doom. Can we schedule for another appointment maybe? Okay, I'm back here. I really don't have too much more of a choice but to ignore Kamek and hope I can get up here quick, 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 quick. The perspective is so supremely bad. I just, there's not much I can do there, but just hope I land on the platform I'm trying to get to. It's just ridiculous. There we go, okay, okay, just don't fall toward doom now or we have to do it all over. That's simple, right? That's easy, not stressful at all, oh my. I didn't mean to jump off these guys, I would just prefer to avoid them. Okay, there is the final one. I hit that Kamek, or that Magic Koopa. Oh boy, yeah, you guys let me know that while there is a Magic Koopa named Kamek, not all Kameks are named the Magic, or no, not all Magic Koopas are named Kamek. All right, there we go. And let's grab all of these. I don't really know what's going on up. Oh wait, that was only the second star medal. I thought that was the third one for some reason. I don't know what I was thinking. Of course, there's one up here. I was about to go into there too. I would have had to do this whole treacherous thing all over again. Luckily, that's not the case. I double checked and Ooh, no bosses? That's actually really relieving right now. And then I'm gonna check to see what's on the front of the ship just because like, I don't really need to. And then let's hope this long jump gets me to the end with the top of the flagpole. I never have to play this level again until I play it with Luigi. That's gonna stink. But in the meantime, I can relax and tackle the castle of this world. This has probably been the toughest world yet in my opinion. I mean, World 8, World Special 8 might top it, but in the meantime, World Special 7 is the reigning king of tough levels in a world. It was just through and through, super difficult. Oh, we're not done. We still have to you know, you know, show that we have 220 star medals to get in this level. We have 53 more than that. Let's do it. It's another Bowser castle. And he's chuckling. He thinks it's so funny that I have 30 seconds to get through this. I don't think it's very funny. I feel like this is a remix on the second castle of the game. That was also a very silly way to waste a fire flower. Boom, there we go. So with this one, there really aren't any enemies to defeat to get more time. It's all based on just getting more clocks that are just gonna be probably, ow, spread throughout the level. Could you just please refrain from hitting me? Oh no, uh, that star metal is now gonna be a bit more difficult to grab, but actually it isn't, it's fine. Well, let's get over here. Come on, come on, come on, whoa, watch it. Okay, I've got some fireballs I gotta be careful of. Oh, I'm gonna grab this and that. We're fine, we're fine. Long jump. Okay, grabbing that. Come on, one of these has had a good power up. None of them did. Okay, I'm definitely getting up this way. Gotta see what's going on. We at least, ow, oh, have some extra time and also some pain now. Too bad that really didn't help me too much. I think I lost just about as much time as I gained. Oh gosh, I can see why this could be a problem. Oh no, just go right under it. Oh no, what? Because he can destroy all this stuff, I cannot. It's not very fair. Is there any boss fight for this one or is it just, just this dude chasing me? I think it might just be this guy chasing me now, which honestly became a whole lot less stressful. I say that, but oh, I'm just so bad at the game. I feel like this would be a lot difficult, of course, a lot more difficult if a boss fight's trying to attack us and we still have Shadow Mario. We'll have to wait and see because I gotta do the whole level over. All right, so this part is just plain tough because you just gotta sort of skim by it while he can just walk past it like it's nothing. And then he's gonna hit me like that because he's a jerk, but you know what, I'm still surviving. I'm still surviving and that's what matters. Can we make it to the end before Dark Mario ruins everything? We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see indeed. Come on, come on, we did it! See, yeah, there's no boss fight to this one. What a weird one, I love it, but man, was that difficult. And we might not be done if I don't 
get this right, so let's really try to get it right. All right, I'm up this way and ready for it. <laughs> yes, okay. Oh, thank goodness. What a difficult situation, a really tough world. Took me almost an hour to complete because of just some of those difficult levels, me getting really stuck on them. And as you can see, clear time is 120, and more importantly, we made it out of there. Every single level in World S7 done. We are moving on to the final world of the game. It is World Special 8, and it's been a long journey getting here. 15 episodes, this is the 16th one. It's super exciting, and I love this area because it's all golden, and it just has this cool music. You really know you're in the final world of the game. This is where the toughest levels will be, and each one of them, I believe, requires you to have a certain amount of star medallion, so our star medals, whatever they are. We need 230 for this one, we only have 276. The gap between what we need and what we have is getting smaller and smaller, even though we're getting everything. But as you can see here, let's get started. We have lots of levels to tackle, I'm sure of it. It's not gonna be easy, but it will be fun. So, let's get to it. Alrighty, so we're already starting with the level where we only have 30 seconds to survive, and I don't even have a power-up, so this first attempt might turn out a little bad. Oh gosh, yep, okay. I was sort of expecting that. It might just be easier to die, that way we can respawn and just have, you know, normal size Mario. There we go. Oh, 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 not bad, not bad, not bad. Gonna go across all of this, and here comes evil mini Mario of Doom. And then jump, 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 oh no, never mind. Okay, I tried to dodge that, but it didn't really work out. Oh, this thing's moving fast, but not fast enough for us. Okay, I'm gonna jump over evil Mario there. Really don't have too much time. This level doesn't give you many things in terms of uh, like clocks and stuff, so you gotta be careful. Whoa, oh, can't believe I actually dodged that. Ready, boom, just got some coins, not too interested. Okay, go, 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 got it. That's star medal number two. Keep going. Oh, no, I didn't even see that coming. Oh, well. Whoa, okay, I'm gonna have to skip out. Never mind, I was gonna skip out on that time, but it doesn't really matter. Got taken out. This is a tough level so far, for sure. Can I long jump over that? You bet I can, but then I lose all my momentum there. Okay, might as well just start over then. Sometimes long jumping can be a little bit weird in this game. I mean, movement in general can be odd on a circle pad that the, that the uh, DS games have. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna, no, no, that's not what I meant to do. This is not a good start to the first level. Okay, so far, so good with everything. I've been trying my best to, you know, throw some fireballs ahead of me. That way, if any enemies try to tackle me, I can just sort of deal with them beforehand. Whoop, there we go. Ooh, ooh, I probably, probably shouldn't have done that, but okay. What is going on with all that stuff? Ow, I don't know if that was a good idea then. <laughs> oh, there's the final star medal though. And now go into this pipe quickly. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Is he still chasing me? Oh, he is, oh no, that's uncomfortable. But, not anymore. If I have anything to say about it, come on, get back over here. There we go, now I gotta do this quick. I'm pretty sure if I do, you jump ever so slightly higher when you're in star power mode. So yep, that's exactly what I had to do. Sort of weird when you think about it. Probably could have long jumped as well, but if what I did worked, I'm not gonna complain. Alrighty, so there is that done. And as you can see, the first level of Special 8 is completed, which means we can make our way to the next mystery level. It looks like there's gonna be normal six levels in this world. 240 this time, so it's gaining 10 each time. It was 230 last time, now it's 240. That's sort of crazy. Alrighty. Well, this one looks a little familiar. We have all these spinning sort of uh, cardboard blocks that will have to survive. We should be able to handle it, though. Let's hope at the least. All right, so the only tough part here is just sort of sticking around, whoa, whoa. Sticking around long enough to make sure that there's no star metals hiding on like the backside of any of those platforms. Ooh, ooh, so that only stops for a moment. I think it'd just be smarter to do that. Yep, okay, watch it. Oh, you're throwing coins? Okay, well, I appreciate that a little bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. That's, oh, okay, I do see a star metal coming up. Right over this way. No, no, no! <laughs> That's a little awkward, don't you say? Yikes, okay. Guess I gotta try that one again. All righty, come on now. Jump for that, very good, and that's the first star medal. This is where we gotta, oh no. Wait, 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 this is where we gotta survive. That's, no, nope, that's not surviving. Oh, I really wish we had a Tanooki Leaf for this one. I'm tempted to go back and get one, because it would make this level like 10 times easier, but I'll keep trying for now. 
Okay, I'm back here again. I'm gonna land on this dude. I'm gonna jump over here, do the same thing to this guy. Whoa, whoa, hold on. This thing moves real fast. Oh my gosh, I could've fell there, but I didn't into this pipe. I don't know what's here, but we're about to find out. Ooh, wait, hmm. I don't know, ooh, okay, I'll take that, thank you. What is, what is this about? I mean, first off, I can do this, that's good. And that was star metal number two. What's inside of this one? We got a fire flower. I'll take it for now. And we'll try to figure out where else we can go. That was like a really weird situation though. Got it, got it. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to use this Koopa shell. To you know, some extent. I don't know, what's over this way? Like, did I just do some of that wrong? I, I, I suppose so? I don't know what that's, oh, you know what? I think it just loops around back to here. Okay, that pipe, oh! I didn't even realize that was an incline. Oh, that was so weird. Once again, that top-down perspective not really helping me much. Anyways, I have this now, which should make this entire level easier. If it doesn't, I'm gonna feel very silly, but in the meantime, I can at least just try to get through like this, and I should be able to do it real easy. Let's find out. All right, yeah, just go across like that. Get across to, oh no, oh, here. And then get across like this. Walk over and jump. There it is. Perfect. Still gonna get that second star medal again. But that should be much, much easier when I can just do that. Alrighty. So, let's do this first, just so that I can get it figured out. And then once we're back here, I will try to see what else we can get. That's a mushroom. And then here, if I keep another. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Awesome. See, all we actually have to do is just get across to here. I didn't even realize, but that's what's going on. But I'm, the weird thing is, is okay, there's a poison mushroom, and then I guess this is where we're supposed to be. Man, that moves fast, really fast. And I don't know what the dealio is with most of this right now, so I'm trying to be a bit careful. Oh no, no, okay. Oh, there it is, there it is, way over that way. Okay, we can get that, that's no problem. We just need to make sure we're right over it, just like that. And then once it's here, like that, perfect, go into this box, and that's all three star medals, which means we are done with this level once we get over there. What is going on with this? Um, all right, well that seemed right. I don't know what the other one was then. But anyways, it doesn't matter too much to me. I can get this, and we're done the level. Very cool. So that one definitely took a little bit of effort, but I think we did okay. I think we did pretty good overall. So there's two levels done out of the six in total, not including the uh, one mushroom hut that we have to get through. So that's pretty cool. Let us see what else is going on in level S83. We need 250, it is going up 10 each time. So for eight, S84 it should be 260, S85 or five, it should be 270, S8, you know, just far, farther and farther. And this is a castle, by the way. Why is it a castle? The world may never know. I don't understand, but okay, it's not the end of the world. Oh my, 30 seconds on the clock. I mean, things are looking pretty good so far, but just because I have uh, two power-ups, but I'm running out of them real quick. If I don't keep moving, I just wanted to see what was in there, you know, in terms of power-ups. So it's 30 seconds on the clock, and Shadow Mario chasing us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and we're like 10 minutes late to our doctor's appointment. And, and it's Tuesday. There we go, there's all the scriptures we need. Uh, let's go this way for now. And I don't know, oh, why'd I do that? Why am I doing this? Okay, you know what? Ah, dude, really? Really, was that necessary? Let me answer for you. Absolutely not, what is happening? I feel like I'm getting stuck on invisible things. It's like weird. And there was nothing up here to begin with. Oh my gosh, I couldn't have gone worse. So, I know for a fact now, don't waste your time, just run to the right. But first off, let me grab this. I know none of these give me power-ups though, so this is sort of like a really dangerous thing now. I might end up losing. If I lose this, I'm out of power-ups, which would really stink, so let's not lose this. Okay, going over this way. Got it, without too much of an issue, actually. Now I can move over here. Oh boy, I really don't like that top-down angle. I'm just gonna run to the right, 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 yeah! I ran to the right. There is... Oh no, a sore lack of uh, star medals over there. I don't like it. I feel like I may have missed something. Whoa, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was the second one though, luckily. 
So we're doing all right when it comes to that. Just, whoa, I thought there was a gap there. Once again, the perspective ruining me. I honestly thought there was a gap there, but instead I did. Apparently right is up now. What was that? Oh man, I'm getting so tired of the circle pad today. And now this is gonna be much more difficult than the first time because I don't have the power up I wanted. Oh well. Okay, so I'm back here again. Whoa, bouncing off that dude. I missed the clock, which is probably not gonna be all that helpful. What in the world is going on back this way? Is there anything? No, no there's not. Okay, no taken. Um, I would like to see any of these have power-ups, but chances are low anyways, so I might as well just keep going. Whoa, come on, Dark Mario. Really, you just can't give me like an extra second of time there? Oh, this one's tough. It would have been so much easier if I could have just held on to the darn Tanuki Leaf, but here I can't even keep on the big Mario. I just, nothing's going my way right now. I can't get this, come on there. <laughs> Jeez Louise, it took me 10 seconds to get it, then it's not so helpful. It only gives me 10 seconds. Ah. All right, here we are again. Let's long jump over there, and okay, I got that. We're still missing one more star medal, wherever it may be and I'm hoping that we can find it soon because this guy is driving me nuts. I don't see it anywhere though. Oh no, Mario, Mario, oh boy. I missed it on that clock though. So we need him to sort of, yeah, hug those walls to get by it. Where is it? Did I miss it? I feel like I missed it. I, I, I have this feeling in my gut that I missed it. Like maybe it's, no, but where could it be? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, okay. Well, ah. Okay, watch it. All righty, go back, go back. I don't have too much time now, I really gotta move it. Long jump, long jump, and get the extra 100 seconds. Yeah, we did it! Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Just tough level after tough level. I just, I can't handle it. All righty, let's get up here and then long jump. And there we go, we got it done. So, there is another level completed, and as you can see, we're done with half of this world. Only got three more levels to go, and then we'll be all finished up, and that is amazing. Okie doke, so 141 is our clear time. Nothing too impressive, but at least we have a mushroom hut, which will hopefully give us something good. Let's go in and find out. Right over this way, hopefully this time it even gives us a leaf. It usually just gives us a fire flower, which is, you know, Something, it's not bad, it's just not what I was hoping for. Oh, it's nighttime too. Very cool looking. Let's find out. Yeah, look at you, thank you so much. You're wonderful. All righty, so now that we got this, hopefully I can hold on to it for at least a little while, maybe a level or two. That'd be nice. Let's find out what's in the next one though. It looks like another mystery for now, 260. See, the final one's gonna require 280, which we only have a little bit more than that, so it's gonna be crazy for sure. Oh, it's another fiery, scary one with Kamek or a Magikoopa and a bunch of different moving parts. These can be tough. Is it gonna be Dark Mario? I don't know, but it will be 30 seconds. Are they all just like this in this world? Oh, Boomerang. I'm gonna take the Boomerang now, just because I feel like it's gonna be an okay idea as we try to figure out everything else. Okay, I thought that would grab this. I guess it doesn't. I mean, I also feel like it would be really nice to have the Tanuki here, but I feel like I should learn the lay of the land of the level before we move over to the Tanuki, where I can maybe get that figured out at that point. Oh boy. Okay, let's go ahead and make you do that. And then, yeah, get this dude out of here if we can. Perfect. But keep going this way. So, so far, the star medals are in the same placement they are in the original version of this level. We'll see if that sticks as we continue forward. Come on. Come on. Ooh, that's what I've sort of noticed about the special worlds is sometimes they really are just like the same level just with like a slight remix. It usually makes the level much harder, but still just a slight remix. So that just has coins. And then, oh yeah, I do remember this from the original. So getting these can be quite a challenge, but it can be very well worth it. And I got it. This time it's just a one-up. But I think that'll probably give us a Tanuki if we do it normally, like with no other power-ups, come on, come on, can I just make this jump? Oh, I could just barely, that was scary. So the next star medal should be coming up, I really need that time, because we're only down to the bottom 20 here, I wanna get that back up to 30, yep. Oh, is it there though? It doesn't look like it to me, it's actually over there, so we actually do need either a Tanuki or a, oh my, oh my, or, or a boomerang there, probably more preferably the boomerang. Come on, could we get this done in one try? That's the big question right now in my mind. 
All right. Oh, I missed out on that one. That's okay, it happens. So if there's any time to activate this, I think it's now, so that I can, whoa, try this, but I'm running out of time sorely right now. Sorely running out of time, what does that really mean? I have no clue. There we go, get an extra 10. Give me this extra time as well. Oh no! Oh, I instantly, instantly lose it. Oh no, it's right there, it's right there. How do we get to it? I think we gotta do this, right? No, I need the boomerang. I need the boomerang. To actually get it? I definitely do. There it is. Booty slam down. There it is. Come on, there's a little bit more left to survive. We get 100 extra seconds. Come on, don't fall off of this. Do not fall off. There we go. Yeah! First try through and through. Oh my gosh, that was, that was scary. Tough level for sure. I just got really lucky being able to get it done on the first try. Things just sort of worked out. All right, so another level done. We're going on over to the fifth one. Out of six, we're almost there. What is this one that's gonna take, of course, expectedly 270 star medals. We have 288. And look at this. Oh my, it's an airship. Airships are notoriously tough the farther we get, it seems. So let's see if this one's any different. I don't think it will be. Uh, oh, and it's Dark Mario. I wonder if we'll be facing any bosses then, because this just like wouldn't make any sense. I mean, I guess it could still work. Wow, that moves fast. Oh, I don't like that one bit. I don't like this one bit. Whoa. Okay, hey, watch it, please. Thank you, okay, all right. I don't like that. Okay, come on, come on, come on, ready, ready. Uh, oh, this thing's just moves so crazy quick. I don't like it. Oh, and when he walks on that, yeah, it's gonna break it. So we only have really one chance for that one. Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh. Oh no, I don't like it. Get me out of here. Okay, come on, oh, uh, 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 okay, wait, 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 what's over here? Whoa, okay, there was nothing over there, but I had to make sure. Man, oh man, what a crazy level. Go, 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 go. And then I need to, oh no, you can barely outrun the speed. It's like a treadmill set to too high. Never do that, it's very dangerous. No, no! Oh, I overdid it, and we had all the star medals too. Oh no. Oh well, gotta do it again. Okay, so far so good. Oh no, I hope it continues that way. Leave me alone, leave me alone, you big bully. Jeezy just doesn't let up to the very end. No! No, 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 hold on, one moment, sir. One moment, just give me one second. No, oh, come on! Oh, that's the worst. I can't believe he does that. What a stinker. All right, let's try this again. I'm normal size Mario, which might give me a bit of an advantage. I feel like, I've always felt like normal size Mario controls a little bit better in this game than tiny Mario, but there we go, we got it done. Wow, we that was ridiculous. But it, it still happened, we got it done. Dark Mario, I don't care how fast or how big you are, we'll eventually get away from you. All right, so for real this time, only one more level left, right? I hope so. 290 actually, Not they skipped 280. This was 270, this is 290. So you really do need every star medal before this to get into this level. It's crazy, but we earned it. We're finally here. And what will it be? Of course, another giant Bowser castle. Hopefully the last time we need to deal with Bowser, just for fun. For no, we're not, we're not saving a princess, we're not saving Luigi. We just wanna keep messing with Bowser. And we only got 30 seconds to do it, and probably Dark Mario too. Oh, actually no Dark Mario, how refreshing. There we go, got rid of those three dudes. But we do have to destroy Hammer Bros to actually get extra time here, I'm sure you've noticed. You know, I prefer this more than Boomerang Bros, gotta be honest. I mean, right now I'm just trying to get some power-ups, but nothing is coughing them up. That is a bit concerning, okay. Watch it, sir. Oh, so we gotta be careful here. If we don't time that well, we could land right in the lava things. Whoa, okay, that was a little wild. No sign of a, a star metal just yet. Well, this song's cool. It's like a little bit of a mix of what we've already heard. Okay, there it is. So let me grab this extra time. Jump up here, grab it, and then turn back around and hope I don't run into this, dude! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Watch it. Uh, yeah, double watch it, that was pretty cool. They didn't even mean to do that. 
Okay, grabbing all these, we get a one up for it. We've honestly lost so many lives. Uh, the last couple episodes, I was at 200 lives. I'm at 157 now. These have been a real challenge. And I mean, that's not a problem. I've really enjoyed the extra challenge it's been bringing. Um, the problem is there's no gonna be, there's not gonna be any checkpoints in this level, I can guarantee you. Yet yeah, here we are, being Tiny Mario on the final level. I don't know if it's gonna work out so well, you know? Anyways, we'll go through this one. We're still missing our third and final star medal, wherever it might be. I always saw it to the right. And here's Bowser, spitting out those blue flames. He's furious, he's like, Mario, you might have taken everything I've had, even my own skin, but you're not gonna win this time. Oh, I mean, he might be right. <laughs> Yikes. So here we go again, with this dude, oh no. He's jumping over this side. I do a lot of long jumps, but I honestly think, oh no, it's worth it. It's hard to tell if I was gonna hit them or not. Oh boy, I'm just gonna avoid this one, I think. I think it's just gonna be a better idea. Okay, ooh, getting across here. Oh no, excuse me, hammer bro. Well, I'd rather you just leave me alone. Uh, oh, there it is, there it is. Don't forget about the final star medal. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing if I just complete the final level and go, oh no, wait. Oh boy, okay. Great opportunity for me just to do that and then go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> we did it. See ya, Bowser. What you gonna do? Not much anything. See ya. Oh, so we finally did it. Bowser gets knocked out for the hopefully last time. And we can say that it's done. <laughs> we completed the final level of the final world of Super Mario 3D Land. That is, if we can go ahead and long jump. Yeah, there it is, alrighty. So look at that. We got a golden flagpole, all three star medals. And we're done. Course clear. Very cool. Honestly, that was easier than World 7. Oh, what's happening now? Another postcard? Who sent it this time? Definitely not Bowser. Oh, all the toads found it. Uh. What? Again? Wait, what? How'd they get her again? Oh, this cycle never ends. I don't understand how we got her again. Do we, what do we do now? Is there like a super special worlds? Oh, uh, not exactly. We have unlocked the final bonus level. So, so from what I remember from this level, it's actually rather short, but plenty difficult. So it might take us quite a few tries to get through, but yeah, this is the last thing we have to do in the game in this bonus episode. I'm sure it's gonna be a ton of fun, but like I said, maybe a bit stressful. We have 221 lives to lose, and we got some toads hanging out with us. They don't really give us anything now. But yeah, we'll do what we can to get through this. It's not like any kind of like rushed level. We don't have to beat guys up for extra time but I just wanna do my best avoiding everything so we can just keep moving forward. I would be so pleased, and I mean so pleased if we could get this done on the first try. Are you gonna give me any power-ups? I think they maybe only give us power-ups if we're like mini Mario. Oh boy, that was lucky. But the jumps here are treacherous. They are not easy in the slightest, and it's actually sometimes hard to tell how I can make that jump. So no, no, no first try for me. But you know what, if I can get this under 10 tries, I would be thrilled. I don't think that's gonna happen, and that's exactly why I'd be thrilled. We're gonna try it a couple times just as normal Mario and see how things go. Maybe I'd be able to use a Tanooki Leaf if I, I at least, you know, I could try to use a Tanooki Leaf. Okay, that seems to be going pretty good. Ooh, gotta be careful there though. So this jump, I don't really know how I'm supposed to make it. Yeah, you got a long jump there. But if you long jump at the bad spot, you'll just sort of donk your head. So that's a weird jump right there. First weird jump of the level. I don't think it's too long of a level. From what I remember, it's pretty short. Oh gosh, whoop, there we go. Come on. But it's sort of like, I mean, I guess it's not entirely tradition, but it's becoming more tradition for some of these, uh, especially the 3D Mario games that once you 100% complete it, you get like one final special level. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 were that way. Mario Odyssey was that way too. Once you 100% complete it, you got the final level, uh, the, the dark side of the moon. Oh no, that was not good. <laughs> Let's try that again. I mean, I guess you didn't have to get 100% for Dark Side of the Moon, but you had to get pretty close to it. You had to get like seven or 800 moons, which is pretty good darn close to 100%. But still, just that idea that there's like one final super hard level, it's always uh, pretty interesting. I really like that in some of the 3D Mario games, and this is this game's one, and it's tough. It's real tough, so let me try that again. 
I'm going to long jump over and then just keep running. Once you land on that, you can just walk over those, which is nice and helpful. So this jump's a little bit tricky because you sort of gotta keep your momentum. I can't believe I actually made that work. Now, I would love to check to see if any of these have a power up for me. Unfortunately, I'm being a bit silly with it. There it is, okay, so none of those had a power up. That's fine. I do have to be careful about this, so. Ready, jump, jump. Oh, whoa, what? Okay, I didn't long jump that time. And this is what I mean. It's gonna take a couple tries, but we're getting a little farther each time, or at least on average, and that's the most important thing, is that we learn and we improve. I feel like when it comes to you know final levels in a 3D Mario game, this one is sort of a little bit on the easier side. I've heard that the hardest one is probably Mario Galaxy 2, but I've never seen that one actually. I would love to see it at some point, maybe soon. <laughs> but for right now, ah, oh, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to making the same old mistakes. I don't wanna you know start cutting out yet. I wanna you know keep you guys along for the journey because it's the final level. And then we have like one or two extra goodies to check out. But beyond that, there's really not too much more. We'll be all done with Super Mario 3D Land. It has been quite the journey. I've had a lot of fun with this game, going down memory lane, playing one of the best 3DS games, in my opinion. And it seems like you guys have enjoyed yourself, too. So as always, thank you guys so much for supporting the series and just everything I do. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get over this way. Long jump, bounce, bounce, and ooh, you just barely land on that. It gets so scary. Okay, whoop. Not bad. And this time I can properly long jump. Oh no, the bees. Get out of here, Mr. Bee. Whoop. Whoop. That is so close. Now do we have to jump over this toad's head? We do. That is wild. Okay, what's next? Oh, a boss fight. Man, I wonder how tough this level would be if we had a Tanooki Leaf. It might not be all that much easier, to be honest with you. Some of these jumps are just sort of pinpoint. Okay, land on you. And then, ooh, dodge that boomerang. Dodge that one too. Dodge whatever ones I need to dodge. Oh, come on, I got hit by her shell. That stinks. Okay, getting over here now. I think it's gonna be smarter, as per usual, to get rid of boom boom, or pom pom first. Whoa, watch it. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. And I can land on you, just for good measure. So, now only, boom boom only needs one more hit. And same thing with Pom Pom, I think, right? Whoa, whoa, she's down. And, oh, ho, ho, not bad. I'm more down the Mini Mario, which is the big stressor here, because I think there's still more level left. Can't quite remember. Is there? Yes, there is. Hey, Toad, could you just be a, a pal here and at least give me a mushroom? Please? You're just here to hang out? You don't have anything for me? Oh, no. I feel like it would have been cool though if this level was sort of based around the the, the leaf. Oh no, ooh, just barely survived that one. That was a bit scary, gotta be honest. So I could, you know, zigzag through all that. I'd rather just, no, no! <laughs> ah, that was my own fault. I should have just taken it slow. Ah man, that was such a silly place to get taken out. Okay, so I was able to defeat these two without taking any damage this time, which is wonderful. So let's slam through this pipe and hope we can get to the other side okay this time. No silliness, we did it okay. We were just silly is the problem. I like all the falling stars around here. The problem is maybe this time it won't be silliness like that. I knew that I was gonna have, I had a feeling it was going to. It's just so tough, it's so tough. So no silliness, which means we're gonna go like this and then like this and then we long jump over. Oh, that was close. Could have turned out pretty bad. I definitely want to look to the right while I can. This is not fair. As small Mario, I don't know the blast radius is for bomb -um, so I'm back to where I started. Okay, so I gave it an honest shot, but I do think I'm gonna go at this level with some Tanooki leaves. It's tough, it's really tough. So I'll be right back with a couple of those, and maybe that'll make this a tad bit easier. All right, so I guess I'll keep you guys along for the ride with the Tanooki Leaf version of this. It's mostly gonna be the same for this first part, though. If I don't, you know, do anything too crazy, that is. There we go. All right, so this part's a little tricky because you gotta go out at a running start. So far, we made that turn out pretty good, though. And then I should just be able to, oh, no. See, this is where it can just be tough and you can make an accidental mistake, and I don't know why you didn't wall jump. The perspective is so bad, because it's a three-dimensional game with a 2D plane. There goes one of my Tanooki leaves. I just wasted so much time getting that. Maybe I should have not have used it, 
until like after the boom boom and pom pom fight. Cause like I can get past this part okay, just fine without it. So, well, you know, hindsight 2020. I got this one now, gotta make it work. There we go. Bounce off of that dude. Bounce off of that dude. Oh, don't jump too far now. There we go, okay. So this is the part I messed up on though. Like that stuff wasn't really too much of a worry comparatively. I mean, I could jump up here and that makes it a tiny bit easier. And then I should just be able to land over this way. Got it. Got it. Okay. Bounce off of Toad. Beautiful stuff. And slam in here. Okay. Pom pom. Boom boom. You guys are going down. And I really hope I don't take damage. Because that's the whole point. Is to have it for after this part. So. I will bounce off of you. I will glide over here. Oh, come on. Got it. Let's run around as fast as we can then. These two are just painful to deal with sometimes. There's power in numbers after all, and they're really showing that. Okay, so. Got one more hit on Pom Pom. Shouldn't be too bad. The big stress is just one, oh, miss jump can lead me back to where I started, which is not what I want. And there we go, they're both taken out though relatively easily. Where's that pipe gonna pop up? I think right over here, right? Yep. Boom, get into there. Okay, so this is where it's gonna be helpful to have the Tanuki Leaf, and hopefully we don't make any kind of crazy, silly mistakes, as long as we can just use the momentum of the thing. Oh my gosh, come on. Am I that silly all the time? Is it really necessary? I will tell you the answer. It's absolutely not. My least favorite thing about this game, absolutely, bar none, are these green platforms. I'm just, oh, I'm so sick of them. They just had to be in the final level, covered and sprinkled with bob bombs. Was that necessary? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't, Nintendo. You put this here. Thinking, you know, one day Zebra Gamer's gonna play this game. And, and he's gonna have a hard time. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. That's all you wanted, isn't it? Probably not. But, no, come on! We were getting really far there, too. Oh, it's treacherous. Okay, so I got through this boss fight. Let's just hope I can hop out of here, use this leaf, and hope I don't do anything silly. I might still do something silly. I do silly things all the time. Whoop, okay, okay. Not bad so far. Jump over that, excellent. So that was sort of the scary part. So if I just long jump right about now, I can really have a lot of control over where I'm landing, which is right there. I don't have any spare Tanuki leaves at this point, so I gotta really make sure everything works from here. And the best way to do that is just to spin like a crazy person. And we're spinning all right. Okay, get that one out of my sight. No! <laughs> you rude dude, you just gonna get out of the way. Oh my gosh, it's fine, it's fine. Because while I got hit there, there's only a tiny bit left. Tiny bit left, right? We might be at the end, we may not be. I honestly have no clue. Come on, no, there's more. There's always more. Give me a mushroom. Why else are you here? Just please, just toss me one. Come on, come on, oh boy. This is gonna be tough, but we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We did it. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh no. There's more. There's always more. Can't you just cough up one mushroom? Oh, and there's a Shadow Mario. What do we do here? Do we jump over? I guess so. Chain chomps. For a second, I thought they weren't chained to anything. Apparently, they're chained to my sanity and they're tugging away. Come on. So despite my efforts, I cannot get here without just being down to two health, or not two health, what am I talking about, one health. Okay, oh, I think it's over here. Whoa, excuse me, pardon me, <gasps> did we do it? I think so, I think that might've been the end. Oh my gosh, yeah, I think I stand on this platform, and there we go, that was so difficult, but we got it, I think it's spelling out thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, so that took me a ton of attempts, but I'm so glad to say I finally got it done. I mean, unless I accidentally fall off the platform or something, which I wouldn't be surprised if I did that. I've made plenty of silly mistakes so far in this game. But for right now, let's just go that way. And here we are! Well, can I have that propeller cap, little toad? No? Can, can I get that from you somehow? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think I can. Because I still have to get the golden flagpole, and I can only hope I can properly get it. 
Hey, can you give me that Tanuki leaf? No, nobody wants to be nice to me here. Ugh! Yeah, okay, we got it. I was gonna be so upset if I had to do the whole thing over again for another golden flagpole. But hey, I don't have to worry about it because we got it done. Every single level in Super Mario 3D Land has now been complete. We can say we've properly 100% completed everything with a clear time of 3.06. Not too bad, 